X MMA four. John Dotson, Francisco Rivera, will be aired live on this channel. Hit the like button. Get fired up! Let's go crazy! XMMA Black Magic is gonna be aired on this channel. The entire card. Come on! I can't hear you! Come on!
We're going to show the entire card on this channel. This man, John Dodson, Francisco Rivera, on the other side over there, are going to be going at it. Live, on a night with no UFC, we are going to be here with you, the people. Head Rush, XMMA, bringing this event to the beautiful people of the MMA Holes universe. We have an MMA hole in the building going uh, at in or New Orleans at the event, enjoying the festivities. And tonight we'll show the entire card. I'm looking forward to this card. It's going to be wonderful, wonderful. Jesse will be here very shortly. It starts in 23 minutes. So we decided to go on a little earlier to get pumped up, to get hyped up over here. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to put a timer. Ah, fuck the timer. All right. Um, so if everyone could hit that like button, it'd be wonderful, wonderful. I want to see who's in the chat bright and early. And I hope you guys are pumped up and fired up. I think this card's going to be very good. I was looking on the tapology. Tapology doesn't really have everything all together when it comes to the, uh, the order correct or whatever. But we're going to be uh, giving you guys all the details as we enjoy the festivities. Here's the card. Looks like there's how many fights on this thing? It looks like 12 fights on the card. Let me count them right now for you. Because, you know, I want to make sure. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fights on the card. Okay. Fourteen of the fighters are actually former UFC fighters. So we're going to see a lot of familiar faces. We're going to find out um, some new personalities as well. And I predict a lot of carnage tonight as we get ready to party on this channel. How is everyone Saturday doing? Let me know in the chat as I'd love to see your beautiful comments. It's Anzalone. Gone, but he's with us in our hearts. You Umos and Jess, thanks for the XMMA event tonight. Y'all are fucking awesome. To the holes, you all are WW. And to the new peeps, welcome to the greatest MMA community. B Man, thank you very much for being a top fucking dog. Thank you very much for the 1975 donation. Wonderful, wonderful. If you're new to the show, we're the MMA Holes. We've been doing this for five plus years. And tonight, we'll be showing you XMMA. This is the fourth time we've been doing this. It'll be on this beautiful screen right over here. We have the chat behind us. Say what you may uh, as we enjoy these fights. It looks like they have a little stain on their screen. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's starting in 20 minutes. The event starts. Big Moe's in the building. Uh, John Dotson bouncing back. And I got to be honest, that last John Dotson fight was kind of, ah, you know, I, I don't know. I, I expected more. This one over here, though, I think there's going to be fireworks. There's no possible way that this fight could suck at all. No possible way. I'm saying bombs in the hands of Francisco Rivera Jr. who came on the show and was, uh, you know, Pumped up with fighting John Dotson. Both guys, former UFC fighters. Both guys got fireworks. John Dotson is a man that won the Ultimate Fighter. Knocked out TJ Dillashaw, Show, for God's sakes. This man, John Dotson, over here looking to get it done as both guys are looking for a win in the main event of XMMA number four in New Orleans. I'm going to visit the people right now in the chat. I want to see what we got going on over here. Say hello to me now immediately. And thank you for the likes. Appreciate it. If you didn't share this yet, do so. Share the stream, please. Uh, John Dotson is an MMA legend. He kind of is, if you really think about it. Think what he's got. What he's done. He's never been a champ, but still, who he's knocked out, how he has ro risen as a UFC fighter. He's still keeping it going over here. So, yeah, I'm with you. John Dotson's not Jada Smith. That's 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 false. That's actually uh, incredibly. That's I don't think I don't think he has alopecia. 
Uh, hello, uh, Dat One Girl. How you doing? That food, that food can sniff a little snake in the grass. A little snack in the grass. Uh, Michael Redman's hanging. Hanging with the boys. With the Fukin boys. We got Guido saying hello. Hello, Guido. How you doing? B-Man dropping the carnage. Dotson versus Overeem is the money fight to make. Who knows? Maybe next, right? A little horse meat. Make it, uh, make it happen, XMMA. One's in the chat if you'd like to see that fight. John Dotson versus Overeem. A little, little, little bit of a size difference, but no big deal. John Dotson fighting a man in Francisco Rivera. John Dotson, the five foot three gentleman that has competed in that UFC, like we said before. He was training with Jackson Wink. Uh, I don't know if he's still with them. Let's see. Actually, yeah, it says he's still here on Tapology. I haven't seen much action about him training with Jackson Wink still. So I don't know how true that is. If anyone can confirm in the chat, let me know. But um, still a dangerous young man. This guy is subscribed. I don't know how to say your name, but thank you for the subscribe. Appreciate that. Welcome our new friend. That guy. Appreciate that subscribe. Thank you. We'll have Jesse with us very shortly. Oh, putting the baby to sleep. super chat. Uh, we got an orangutan coming over here. What do you got? Yay. Thank you, Ma Sanchez. W.W. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Silverback. Orangutan with the 499. Why, thank you, my friend. Appreciate oh, that. Super you got shy. the Zeus coming in with the 10. What's up, Holes? Having some family time. Sorry, I can't watch. I know you'll all have foo. Well, I'll see you on the replay. Thank you, Zeus. Drop it. Look at that. He's not even going to watch, yet he dropped a $10 donation. What the? The Zeus. Wonderful, wonderful. We'll let you know how it goes. Thank you, Zeus. Look at this community coming together, getting ready for some carnage. Wonderful, wonderful. The glove touch. Sorry I couldn't be there this weekend. You better be. I would love to run my dumb ass around backstage reaping the MMA holes. But I'm broke. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all can relate. See y'all at SMA 5. Hopefully it's not six fucking months away. Oh my god. Uh, listen. Glove touch. You'll be back in business. And if you're broke, you should probably shouldn't be donating. But thank you for that. We will get we will get you back in back on the uh, saddle. Ah, super chat. The follow up Zeus with the two. Fun, little terrible typing. <laughs> Listen, man, that was nice of you even to stop by. Thank you, Mr. Zeus. Uh, Zeus, Zeus, Zeus. Um, Listen, guys, this broadcast tonight is a little different than what we usually do. Usually, uh, during the week, we do our news shows. We give you our opinions, our picks, our predictions, that whole deal. On the weekends, we do our fight reactions. We put you in our fight. I'll show you. We put uh, we put the people in over here. And in our flaming box. And over there is where we have like the stats and the fights. And then we do have to run the best fight reaction game in the whole fucking world. Oh, there's a dragon flying by. I don't know what he's doing over there, but yeah. But that's what we do over here. You know, we, we have the, uh, the high-tech graphics. We are uh, top of the line, top tier MMA channel. So make sure you subscribe if you're not. But tonight, we're doing something special. This is our fourth time doing it. I'm very honored to be doing this tonight. As we take you into this room here, we will be showing the actual fights. Now, not many people are doing this. Actually, we were doing this first. Now, other people are doing it. And they understand the, the magic of YouTube. Right, YouTube's a great place. UFC has pay-per-views. UFC has um, their Fight Pass. They have their ESPN Plus, and we have ESPN Plus. But it's expensive. What XMMA is doing tonight is they're giving you their entire card for free. And that's pretty special. At a time where we're just dishing money in all different directions, XMMA, out of the kindness of their hearts, is delivering this event to you guys. Wait until you see their production. Wait until you see Big Mo in the center of that cage, roaring to the crowd and to the MMA holes. You're going to be delighted. I promise you. So stick around if you're new. And if you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe. Let's go, BK. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, can relate. TGT, keeping it real. Hey, holes. Moss. How you doing, Henry? Uh, audio is cutting out. Let me know if that is the case. 
Audio is cutting out. Oh, God. Is that really happening? Let's see. Let me look. I don't have my phone on me, but let's see. It was lagging? Oh, that's that's fantastic. That's fantastic news. Let's see. Let's take a look. Actually, we got to tell everyone in this house to get off of Wi-Fi. But let's see. Let's take a look. Actually, we got to tell everyone in this house no? to get off of Wi-Fi. All right, they're saying no lag. They're saying no lag, but Jess, get off Wi-Fi anyway. Let's go, BK. How you doing, buddy? Hmm, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's good. So, all right, here's the deal. Let me just say this. Um, if, if you're having problems with the stream, you might have to lower the resolution because we're, we're coming at you at a pretty high bit rate. So if you're on 1080p and it's skipping or lagging or whatever, you're going to have to dummy it down to 720. It all depends on, you know, your internet speed and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, let me know. Keep me posted if that is the case. It did look like it's coming through all right from here. Back on the saddle. But, yeah, it looks like it's going good here. But, yeah, let me know. Keep me posted. But, yeah, it's some people, you know, their internet connections, if you're on your phone, you might be on data or something like that. 4G, you know, it is what it is. We try to pump out the best quality that we can um, because we want to give you something pretty to look at. But if you can't get to that quality, just drop it down to 720 and you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, I got problems with the stream. The host is rude and very casual. Well, I am a casual, yeah. Casual. I casually watch too many fights. I need to get a life. Unfortunately, uh, hi as folk, uh, every two or three words, then it skips is Michael Redmond. Try lowering the quality, Michael, and let me know. Um, <laughs> you're all good. It's all their fault. <laughs> well, I want to hear the feedback because if you aren't, if you're having issues, we do want to know what it is so we can help you guys out. But yeah, but we will actually, I don't know where Jess went, but if Jess is watching every, let's get the devices off of Wi-Fi just in case. Uh, where's the fat bitch at? I mean, she's just eating. You talking about Jesse? Yeah, she's eating. She's just, you know, she's so obese that, um, she just can't help herself, but just indulge in delicious treats. So she'll be here soon. Um, yeah, but 11 minutes, the fights get started. I want to know in the chat, what's going on? What are we doing here? What are you eating? What are you drinking? Who are you excited to see fight tonight? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, let's see. The fights will be right here. That's correct. I try refreshing you geniuses. Yeah, I mean, I it could be uh, multiple things. Who knows? Uh, hanging with the boys, Henry. Hi. Hanging with the boys. Hanging with the Fookin boys. Yeah, baby. A little coffee and weed. Sounds good. Beer in the wings. It's pizza day. Drunk Savage says Saturday's pizza day. Here for the fight commentary and the laughs. We should. So the last time we did one of these streams, you know, people found our channel. They were looking for, like, teammates fighting and stuff like that. Let me just make this very clear to you guys. We will be showing the broadcast right here, the entire thing. But you're going to hear us. You're going to hear us talking. Now, post-fight interviews you'll hear. Pretty much all the other fun stuff you'll hear, too. The We just can't play the music because of copyright reasons and all that. So you'll see and hear the, the important stuff. But the commentary... Coming out of this face. And my co-host's face as well. So we're both going to be spitting our commentary out at you guys. So get ready for that. If you don't have a sense of humor and uh, you have a stick up your ass, well, you need to leave. Because that's not how we... We, we are loosey-goosey. We like to have a good time over here. And this chat over here is full of dad jokes and beautiful people. Phil Star, how you doing, buddy? I got your package here. In fact, I'll wait for Jesse... You know what we'll do? If you could shoot me a reminder. We have three packages here uh, that the people have sent us. We were supposed to open last night, but we got Phil's package. This thing is tremendous. It's a giant package. So I don't know what the hell is in there. But they found it at the UPS store. We have our box. Thankfully, I was a little nervous. And um, oh, super we'll open shy. it after the stream. Just remind me because I'll probably forget. I rebooted. Lag is gone. I okay. hope you know I was kidding. Um, I don't, uh, kidding about, what, oh, 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 the casual thing? Uh, yeah. That, is that what you're talking about, the casual thing? Yes. 
Thank you, Silverback. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, it takes a lot for us to to get all pissed off over here. If you're easily offended, stick around for our amusement. <laughs> yeah. So we were we we went into song like there was a guy walking out and we felt the need to sing myself and Jesse and it circled the interwebs. He's like, "Look at this shit. How could they do this?" Uh, let's see. Silverback has a stick if you need one. He was serious about the casual thing, kidding about the lag. I think that's a dad joke. Would that be considered? I don't know. Uh, how is your uh, baby doing? She's about ready to go to sleep. Although, we do have a young, uh, she's, uh, almost 11 months. I don't know what's today's date. She's getting old, this kid. Almost a year old. But last night, when we went to put her to sleep, well, Jesse put her to sleep. And she woke up twice, like frantically going nuts, like ah, screaming, and her under her eyes were pink, and it looked like she her arching her back. She looked like she was in pain, and we we're like, "What the hell's going on?" We're freaking out, right? So um, we almost had to take her to the freaking hospital, but Jesse took her outside, and uh, she just. Just chilled out. It was weird. Maybe she had a bad dream or grandma said maybe a gas pocket or something. I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened. It was bizarre. Yeah, she <laughs> it looked like a demon. She legit looked like she was possessed. She was like growling and shit. I'm like, what the hell is going on? It was crazy. But yeah, she wound up being okay and she's fine right now. So I don't know. So uh, I got the, uh, the cross. I rested ever so softly on her chest. I said, be gone, demon! And she went right to sleep. It was crazy, man. It's crazy. But how many people have kids in the chat? <laughs> Let me know how many people have kids. They're quite, uh, they're quite interesting pe uh, little uh, beings. You need to get Ellie a real pet. Snakes and spiders don't cut it. You need a guard. <laughs> no dogs, man. I love animals. I love dogs and cats and all that stuff. It just wouldn't be fair to them, you know. It, w it wouldn't be fair to the animal, the way we do things here. The poor animal would be by itself, you know. I'm not the type of person that just gets an animal, throws them in a cage. They're like, we'll be back, you know, or leaves them home and they're pissing all over the, fu the, uh, the carpet because we were out too long or whatever, you know. Maybe a cat, you can get away with that. But some people are like, yeah, I love dogs. And they're never home. The poor dog is in a jail cell. Roaming in its own piss. So, yeah. The cats don't need anyone. Yeah, you know what the problem with the cats are? So, I know this is an XMA stream. We got five minutes until we get into that. But we'll talk, I'll tell you my, my thing on cats. I love cats. I got a cat. My cat boy that died tattooed on me. But um, they destroy, like my last cat literally destroyed my couch, destroyed everything, right? So um, we already got a baby that does that. And declawing is, is inhumane. But now it's like illegal everywhere. Like you can't declaw a cat anymore. It's just a big no-no. You can't do that, right? And I don't, I don't really believe in it. My last cat wasn't declawed. But I said to Jess, if you're going to get one, we're ripping them claws out. I'm ripping them claws out of that cat. But it's illegal. Like, you can't even, you're not supposed to do that. So I was like, all right, now I have an excuse. So maybe when Ellie gets older and she's able to, like, dump some food in the bowl and clean some kitty litter, then maybe we'll do that. I don't know. But I was ripping them fingers right out of that cat. Anyway, we got five minutes until XMMA gets going. If you did not hit the like button, you are useless. You're a useless human being. You must hit that like button immediately. Let's go. Blast the like button. Let's get it popping. Make sure you share the stream. I am fired up. I am looking very much forward to watching Black Magic, the XMMA event that is headlined by Dotson versus Francisco Rivera. Now that you got my thoughts on cats, maybe perhaps I'll start talking about some, some fights. Uh, like goals? Yeah, let's do our like goal. 250. 250 is our first a goalie goal. 250. 250. We could hit that. No problem. Uh, would I get her a fish? Actually, we almost gave her a carnival fish. That almost happened. Birds are way better than cats. Uh, no. 
Th that no, that's that's false. A bird doesn't do anything. Right? I mean, and what's the best about us? We have so many birds in the backyard. We have you know uh, feeders for hummingbirds. It's fantastic. They just come, <laughs> drink, and get the hell out of its dodge. That's my kind of animal. Like, oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful bird, and then it leaves, and you don't have to do anything. You know, maybe fill some nectar. That's it. Cats are better than kids. <laughs> some people agree. Yeah, I have family members that probably would agree with you. I feel bad for seeing birds in a cage. Yeah, people like the. I love birds, and then they they, they clip the wings, so they can't fly. It's like. <laughs> I love kangaroos. Let me chop their legs off. Like, <laughs> what's going on? So you know, declawing cats. Clipping wings, which doesn't hurt the bird. It just can't fly. It's a, ho it's a weird thing. Now that you got my thoughts on that, let's get ready for some fights. Jesse, better get out of here because I'm just talking about anything but. Uh, birds are assholes. Moss uh, had trained birds, sat on my shoulder, and I only pooped in cage. Flew all over the house. Yeah, I, I, I know you could do that, right? And the bigger birds, they last forever. Another problem with a bird is usually they'll outlive you. And then where does the bird go? You know, like you're dead. You're in a grave. Then who's got to be like, oh, now I got to take this bird in? What do you do? Just kill the bird? Like, what happens? I guess you got to get a short life bird. <laughs> what a way what a way to start off XMMA4. But hey, why not? I mean, if you guys want to talk about birds, I'll talk about birds. I'm a bird with a broken wing and a beautiful song to sing. This is 60 Second MMA. Is someone in my neighborhood with really annoying parrots so loud all day? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't imagine. Like, like you take what you take the cloth off the cage, and they just start screaming. And sometimes you put the cage back on, cloth back on. You hope they fall asleep, but they don't. And you're yelling and screaming in there. Hmm. Uh, XMMA is in New Orleans, which I got to say, if you're in the New Orleans area, you can still go to the event. Get your ass over there. It's at the, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where, where is the location? The Fillmore in New Orleans. So if you're in the area, go check it out, man. Say the MMA hole sent you. Go check it out. They put on a great show. You'll see tonight. You'll see tonight, man. Their production's great. But even in-house, they put on a, a good time. So never get a parrot. Yeah, imagine we're doing a live stream. It's better if we got a baby scream, but we'll have a parrot. In the background you know <clears throat> that, that probably wouldn't be good for the show probably wouldn't all right here we go one minute and 12 seconds until xmma gets popping you guys excited in the chat we're gonna see some carnage look the crowd's going crazy down there they don't stop man they must have had their coffee before they got going maybe a little cocaine i don't know who knows who knows what's going on over there? Once the baby goes to sleep, JBM will be with us. Does XM may have uh, no champs? No, not yet at least. No champs yet. No belts or any of that stuff. I'm curious. I, I would imagine soon they're going to do something. What they, what I like what they're doing is they just have former UFC fight like 14. What the? The supper's ready. Uh, they have 14 UFC fighters, former UFC fighters, on the card. So it's like the talent is there. You know, the talent is there. I guess once they build some of these younger guys and they just want to put on good events. Eventually, maybe titles will be in play or I don't know. Maybe they'll have a whole nother thing going on. I have no idea. But I like the fact that they are uh, doing something on a night where there's no UFC. A lot of these organizations, you know, they do something the exact same time as the UFC. They at least try to make an effort to um, not do that. Here we go, baby. It's about to get started over here. Look at this production. Oh my God, there's, what the? Wow, that's amazing. Look at this, it got cartoons and stuff. Let's see. I don't know if I can play that song. Uh, anyway, I don't know if I can play the song. Flying guy punching in the belly. Look at this. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. That's, that's badass. Look at this. What the hell? This is not the UFC we're watching here. -na 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 -na. I can't play the song, but I'll sing along. That's pretty cool, man. I'm digging it. I'm freaking digging it. 
Look at this guy. He's walking here. And is there still music going? Let's see. Yeah, this guy's shredding on a solo. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go. No one does it like XMMA. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are back for XMMA 4 Black Magic. Black Magic. We're coming with some great action from New Orleans. Louisiana is the site. The Fillmore is the room where we're going to be coming at you. And I'll tell you what. They call it the Big Easy, but nothing is going to be easy here in the XMMA tonight. <laughs> Why they My name is Eric Apple, and there I am joined by none other than the former world champion, Gilbert El Nino Melendez. And Gilbert, we've got a lot of returning veterans and some really exciting fights coming up tonight. Yes, we do. We're in one of the greatest cities in the United States, and I can feel the basketball madness out here. We're down to the final four, and we're jumping into the madness with XMMA action. I'm excited to get started, Apple. I'll tell you what. Like I said, we have some returning heroes and veterans here. John Howard, John Dodson, all these guys really put on a show for us recently here at XMMA. And let's take a look at the undercard and talk about the ones we're excited about. Okay. Well, what I'm really excited is the last two fights on the undercard here. Yes. And I'm looking at Sasha Poliknikov versus Kyron Bowen. Now, Poliknikov had a very impressive debut in the UFC, trading elbows and strikes, showing durability with his Muay Thai style. Now he's taking on Kyron Bowen, a fighter who is a complete mixed martial artist and is looking to close the distance and grapple Sasha. This fight has a lot of implications in the division for XMMA. Interesting. They said division. For prior fights. But I know you're also excited to see Cole Smith and John Sweeney, who's returning here to XMMA. This is a very exciting fight. Cole Smith was a UFC veteran, and he had a lot of success in MMA by pushing his opponents to the cage, taking them down, and submitting them. Look for him to try to do this to Sweeney. But John Sweeney is a fighter who's on the cusp of being a very, very big star in mixed martial martial arts on the cusp of being on the radar he has a 16 win 16 second win in his last xmma fight that's the kid that trains out of uh stephen thompson's gym high level are actually on an undercard it's a testament to how good our fighters are now let's look at the main event i know there's two or three you're looking at starting with ange lusa and john howard yeah i'm looking at lusa versus howard right here these guys are great strikers and i think we're going to see a striking battle sometimes you see the grappler versus striker and you don't get to see the best out of the fighters but john howard is a fighter who has has over 50 fights or just about 50 MMA fights. Takes pride on his conditioning. Takes pride on being a complete mixed martial artist. Now, Lusa here trains with Henry Hoof at Sanford MMA. And there's a stable of fighters out there who are practicing their striking day in, day out. Look for this one to be a banger. It's quite a room down there at Sanford MMA. And I know Curtis Millinder and Jared Gooden has your eye as well. Absolutely. These guys are both UFC veterans. Uh, the cream of the crop. Millinder is just very long limbs. Uses them well. Teeps, I'm looking forward to that. Does fight. wheel kicks. That's cool, very man, huh? uh, cerebral out there in the cage against Jared Gooden. Gooden has very good head move, head movement. Looks to land an overhand right, but ultimately he's going to want to take Millinder down, control him, ground and pound him, and possibly look for a submission. What's up with this? And in the main gonna... event, we have returning. Both guys are veterans here, ex MMA. John Dodson and Francisco Rivera. John Dodson quickly becoming an ex MMA favorite. This guy is exciting in the cage and exciting outside the cage. He has a win over champion TJ Dillashaw. He's a tough champion. He always comes and puts on a great performance. Francisco Rivera, his opponent, has shared the octagon and shared the cage with many high-level fighters, such as Uriah Faber. Has a win over Alex C Caceres. Both of these guys fighting to campaign for what would be the XMMA title. Let's take a look at the rules here at XMMA. Okay. Give me some Very rules. similar to what you've seen in, the, in other organizations. Three five-minute rounds. Of course, there's never any striking allowed to the back of the head. No knees or kicks to the head of a downed opponent if they have more than two points touching the ground. You cannot stomp a grounded opponent. You cannot hold on to your opponent's gloves or their shorts. And, of course, we are sanctioned by the Louisiana Wrestling and Boxing Commission. Now, they judge on three things. Grappling, striking, as well as cage control, sometimes known as aggression or ring generalship. This is a 10-point boxing system, and we have three judges sitting ringside. Okay. And I'll tell you what, we've done all the talking. I think it's time to get some action. People don't want to hear us blab anymore. Coming up after the break, you are going to see our first fight of the evening. It's Justin Mead taking on Andrew Garrett. All right, so Justin Mead versus Andrew Garrett is the first fight on this puppy. Let's go, baby. You're fired up. Drop some fire in the chat if you're igniting your, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I uh, I like their production. I really do. I, I enjoy um, uh, Gilbert Melendez. I was a fan of him. 
Um, even though he's a cheater, I'm still a fan. Um, I, I like his lisp. It's pretty cool. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Apple has been uh, on the mic since day one with XMMA. So it's cool to see Eric Ac Apple back in the, the mix over there. So that's exciting. And, uh, yo, Anne's, uh, look, she's fired up. Phil Starr's fired up. Let's go, baby. We igniting this chat room before XMMA gets popping here on the channel. Come on, people. Light it on fire. Light that chat on fire right now. We got Head Rush. Shout out to Head Rush. We got 20% off promo code M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S. Head Rush. Oh my God! Is this un fuego? Look at you guys. You guys are you guys are going crazy over here. Keep it coming. I want I want the heat. Bring the heat, baby. Two hundred people watching. Bring the heat. Rub those sticks together. Let's get it popping over here. Put it on fire, peoples. Looks like two joints is lighting a dog on fire. Oh yes, it's nice and warm in here. It's nice and toasty. Oh boy, just just warming it up. All right, here we go. We got, uh, what's that? Oh, okay. All right, so we are about to watch XMMA, the first fight on the card. I got my little thing over here with very small writing. I don't know what the hell that's about. Andrew Garrett versus Justin Mead. All right, here we go. Let's see if they're on topology. Andrew Garrett, Justin Mead. There they are. Let's pull it over to this section right over here. And uh, Andrew Garrett is indeed Chuck Liddell. I mean Chuck Liddell. <laughs> Chuck Norris. <laughs> Wrong Chuck. Uh, and, oh, we got Big Mo over here. Here's our buddy, Big Mo. Let's see what he's got to say. Let's hear what he's got Gilbert to say. Melendez, Gilbert, you made the trip out from All right, we got to wait for this music to stop playing. So basically, you're not going to hear the music on this channel, but you'll see all the fights. You'll hear Big Mo. You'll hear the post-fight interviews, and you'll hear our ridiculous commentary. There he is. Look at him. He's looking all luscious out there. By the way, I, I think right off the bat, this one, when I'm just looking at this production, it looks like it's a lot cleaner than the last event, XMA3. So far, still, the first one has been my favorite. It's a, it's a big deal. My opponent is Andrew Garrett. See this one. He's got some uh, boxing experience, you know, which... I've been fighting a long time. I have really good jiu-jitsu, so if he thinks he's going to wrestle me, it's going to be a really bad night for him. I'm here to put on a good show. Uh, I want to show the world that Louisiana has some of the best jiu-jitsu in the world. It'll be like my last fight, and I'll break his arm in 16 seconds, you know. It'll be a great night, easy money. Uh, it's not always a perfect world, so we're going to fight about it. I like this guy. I really like him. So this is uh, Justin Mead. So Justin Mead about to enter the cage here. And here's some music. But uh, Justin Mead is 3-1-0. and oh. Justin Mead is on a three-fight win streak. He's fighting out of Louisiana, so my man has got the home crowd advantage here. For the Bayou, Bayou fighting. GC MMA. And I don't know what that other organization is. It's got a weird logo. But, yeah, three-fight win streak. He's 3-1-0. and oh. So first fight as a pro took an L, and then I guess rattle off three wins. Guy looks like a scary guy. I don't know. I wouldn't fight this guy. Five foot nine. He's thirty three years of age. So got in the game a little bit later than the normal people. Let's see. Let me look at the rest of his stuff here. So yeah, first fight was a loss, and then three in a row wins. Pretty pretty good when you're starting off a card. Got on a three fight at win streak. Okay, here he goes, coming in over here. Mr. Justin Mead, Lionheart, getting ready to compete. Scrap the first one. Let's see. When they get in the cage, we'll have you guys make your picks. Let's go, Gavin. Let's go. Let's get fired up, people. XMMA, we're about to watch some fights. Three, for, three or five bucks, buddy. Thanks for doing this. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Mr. Squishy. You squishy bastard. Thank you for stopping by. Little corner hugs over here. Give a little respect. How'd you just start making out with that guy? <laughs> Looked like he was going to go in for the kiss. Doesn't look like the type of guy that would do that, but it would be hilarious if he did. <laughs> just came and started tonguing down. <laughs> that would be so unexpected. All right, here we go. Justin Mead. This guy's all business. 
He wouldn't be making out his corner. It's unprofessional. <laughs> Welcome to the MMA holes. Uh, yes. Move the lords out of the camera view. The lords. We mean the lords. Team Justin, what do you think, B-Man? You team Justin? Justin's opponent, he's only 1-0, and so he's... He's undefeated. I will find out a little bit more about Andrew. Here he is. Justin's in the cage. Big smile in front of his home crowd. That's got to be fun. All right. Here we go. Here we go. New opponent is Justin Mead. And, uh, I believe his skill set is jiu-jitsu and wrestling. He likes to do a lot of grappling. I wrestled in high school, and I'm a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, so I, I think I will have a pretty even match on the ground. I do think my striking is superior to his, and I've done a lot of mental preparation, visualization, meditation, try to be mentally strong for this fight. I think that's where I've fallen short before, and my performance has been lacking. I wouldn't mind uh, getting a second round knockout just so I can get a little bit more ring time, get more experience, just to get a better feel and see how I perform myself. These guys are old business. They're old business. That's why they're tougher than me. I'd be cracking jokes and being all awkward. They're just like old business. Here he comes. Andrew Garrett. So Andrew Garrett's first fight. He's the Chuck Norris picture in Tapology. He won by a punch, it says. In 2019. Wow. So his first pro fight was 2019. And here he is in 2022 going for his second pro fight. How old is this kid? I guess uh, he's 28. Okay, so a little younger. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what happened here. Was it injuries where he's like, ah, maybe COVID? It's like, I don't want to fight during that crazy stuff. There's your uh, XMMA angels over there. Feel free to masturbate during the stream. <laughs> Is Dustin Poirier uh, in the arena? I don't know. I mean, you would think, right? I know Stephen Thompson's pops there. He's cornering Sweeney. But um, I think uh, poor. Oh, I see him over. He's masturbating to the ring girls. <laughs> poor, poor is behind them. Uh, stream the stream. It's kind of weird, right? We usually do just our play by play, but here we are actually showing the fights. I kind of like it. UFC, follow in line, man. You got to step up to the plate. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get to Big Mo. Big Mo is gonna kick it off. True professional. Can you hear me? No, I said New Orleans, Louisiana. Can you hear me? Oh. Welcome to XMA for Black Magic, live from the Fillmore here in New Orleans, Louisiana. We would like to thank. The Louisiana Athletic Commission, as well as the state of Louisiana, for hosting us during Final Four weekend. We have 11 bouts on the card, culminating in our highly anticipated main event of the evening. There but first, go. our first bout of the evening is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the bantamweight division, and is presented by Chain Mine. Let's meet the fighters first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 134.4 pounds. He holds a professional record of three wins, one loss. And he fights out of Crowley, Louisiana. Introducing Justin Lionheart Me. All right, there he is, Justin Me, baby. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135.4 pounds. He holds an undefeated professional record of two wins, zero losses. And he fights out of Alexandria, Louisiana, introducing Andrew Garrett. Okay, here we go. Round one, baby. About ready to go down. I'm going to give Mo the benefit of the doubt there. Because did you notice when they fixed the audio, he sounded perfect? I don't know what... what happened? I, don't, I don't know what to happen there. <laughs> Jess, you want to call this one since I've been babbling? Um, I will have to call the next one. Okay. Just because, so yeah. Mead versus Garrett. Here we go. Round one has begun. 
They touch on the gloves, and we are away. We are underway. Justin Mead, Andrew Garrett. So the blue wraps. I love the look at that little blue wrap, red wrap. Uh, you got the names and the time on the screen. So XMMA is giving it to you. And right off the bat, Garrett, whoa, slip and a fall down to the ground, right back up. No problems. Kick to the body coming in by Mead. A nice leg kick. That was partially kick, uh, checked. Nice left hand and a kick to the body. And here we go down to the ground and whoa, trying to pull that guard. Garrett says, no, 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 no. Let's keep it on the feet. So here we go. Nice leg kick over there. Coming in by Garrett. Garrett just waving out those hands. Being a little cool. I kind of like uh, Garrett's swag, man. Just trying to stay loose out there. Both guys looking pretty loose. You know, for a first fight on the card, doesn't look like they have really many jitters, these guys. Justin Mead missing with a couple over there. Good head movement by Garrett. Garrett's like, look at my head. Look at me move fastly. Oh, there we go. Almost caught, clipped him in the head and trying to pull him down here. Oh, boy. Oh, attacking on the leg. And oh, eating a beating. Garrett on top, unloading. Those heel hooks, I mean, unless you're Ryan Hall, they don't seem to work. Oh, here we go. Garrett is just punishing for that. He's like, you want to sniff on my foot? Take this. Garrett just unloading. Oh, drilling to the side of the head. Hammerfist, he's probably going to finish this thing. The ground and pound. That is it. Mr. Andrew Garrett, the man who hasn't fought since 2019, comes back in there and says, hey, for my second pro fight, I'm going to give you some carnage. Wow. Carnage. Lick the carnage. Yeah. Embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage. Make babies with carnage. Play jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Propose to the carnage. Enjoy pink cake. Now that is how you start an event. XMMA, bringing the carnage. Wow, his second pro fight. Quick stop is there. I think it's only about two minutes. We're gonna find out here a momentarily. Holy as cow! We have uh, all of our particulars in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 36 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO, Andrew Garrett! Come on! What a win! Pretty impressive, huh? Okay. Beat this guy Let's in his backyard. With our color commentator, Gilbert El Nino Melendez. Andrew, phenomenal performance. You got it done in under five minutes. Tell us how you're feeling right now. My hands hurt. <laughs> My hands hurt? Uh, I feel good. Uh, just landed some good clean shots and there it was. So. It looked like your opponent was trying to attack the hill hook. He was shooting, pulling guard. Your best jujitsu defense was to ground and pound. Tell us about it. Yeah, I knew he was good at leg lock, so we definitely practiced that. He got it close, so I had to turn the corner and put a little pressure on there and pull the head up and just make sure he couldn't get it locked in. Well, you're definitely on that ex-MMA radar. Is there anyone you want to call out, or what do you want to do next? No, I'm going to go back to the drawing board, see what my team has for me. Just, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Garrett. Here we go. I like this kid. So, remember what I was saying? He looks super calm in this fight for for that long layoff. He was just chilling there. He said he knew that this guy was gonna he was good at leg locks. He said he had it pretty good at one point. But my man just punched his way through it. He's like, I'm just gonna batter you with my knuckles. Oh my gosh. Boy, oh boy. That was a clean beating. This poor guy is taking the L right in front of his home peeps. <laughs> that was a, I mean, I tell you what, you see a guy 3-1-0, the dude was on a three-fight win streak in Justin Mead, and Andrew Garrett says, Fook your three-fight win streak. Ali Edwards versus Joshua Harvey's next. All right, here we go. Joshua Harvey in just a moment. Good stuff, man. Hey, I like this. Right off the bat, this card's kicking off in high gear. All right, I'm going to pull these guys up over here. What do you guys think so far? That was fun. Could have went a little longer, but I always like a good 
A good carnage. All right, so Joshua Harvey versus Oddly Edwards. I think we're going to see another carnage here. Oh, and one. <laughs> so you guys making picks out there? Let me know how you do in your picks. Yeah, I should have put my picks in too. That's awesome that you're doing it. Because he was fighting the scrub, dude. I, did you see what I? Did you hear what I said, bro? I don't think I don't think this guy heard what I said. Let me just show you the fight that just happened. So this is the fight. The guy that was one and zero. The last fight was 2019. Defeated the guy that's three and one in Justin Mead, fighting in his backyard. So I mean, <laughs> on a three fight win streak, Justin Mead is on. That's a pretty impressive win to me. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's go to this fight over here. So here we go. Harvey versus Oddly Edwards. Damn, Oddly Edwards. My man's my man's winning a lot here. Eight. They're both eight and one. But look at this little win streak here. One, two, three, four, five, six in a row. Last loss was in 2017. Uh, decision, ref stoppage, but it was unanimous, unanimous, unanimous. Uh, head and arm choke, Kimura, so he can submit you or put you out, win unanimously. This kid's good. Adley Edwards. Damn, is this really the second fight on the card? This is the second fight fighting a guy, Josh Harvey. Looking at Josh Harvey. Look, 8-1-1. and one, one. A man over here coming off a win as well, a knockout on 2021, 2021, excuse me. Uh, Jesse Erickson got armbar there. Dominic Jones, uh, Americana. We got the arm lock, the decision, elbows. Look at this win streak over here. All right, this is your second fight on the card. Quality athletes, quality stuff. I uh, we weren't doing goat milk, but you could. I mean, you could get you could pick if you'd like on Tapology. You still have that option. Here we go. So here's what's coming up next. Loving this. Listen, I'm a little biased. Because we're working with XMA, but let me know in the chat what you think. For uh, an organ, I think this is way better than Eagle FC. Right? Am I wrong? In fact, I'm going to say this is better than Bellator, for God's sakes. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, all right? I feel great. I think it's an awesome stage for me. Uh, talent stat card. And God, just hey, wait man, there. I'm here to perform. I think it's going to be a, a great opportunity for me to show the world a... Uh, what I've been doing. I think he's outmatched up and down the board. I think he's gonna come out there and feel a, a massive difference in skill level. And I think it's gonna showcase in a big, big way. If everything comes together the way it should tonight, I think you're gonna see a big, mean finish. I'm gonna put a stamp on it. I wanna make this guy pay for missing weight. And I think uh, everybody's gonna enjoy watching me do it. Is it me or is this guy give you a Tony Ferguson vibes? Whoa, uh, uh, it's got a great song. I wish I could play it. I'm sorry, I just, I just butchered that. This guy looks like, a, I don't know, I'm getting the Tony Ferguson vibes from him. So this is a featherweight fight, 145ers, 32 years of age. The guy's on some win streak over here. You got Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> you didn't even see the other guy yet. Uh, Eagle definitely had better presentation. I think XMA got better talent, at least matchups. All right. Okay. You got to remember the Eagle FC guy. I mean, they got some deep, deep pockets, right? That they're working with here. And you're looking at XMA. There's no like superstar face of the promotion. You know, pretty much unknown who's running this. Yet, look at the look at the rafters. Beautiful, right? Look at that chandelier. You don't get that in XMA. I mean, uh, in uh, Eagle FC. Look at that chandelier. Are we supposed to see? <laughs> Maybe he had cold feet. <laughs> Where are you? Oddly, where'd you go? All right, this his walkout. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he was walking in the wrong direction. Come on, Oddly, you could do it, buddy. We gotta take a shit. Uh, let me know in the chat where you think Oddly's at. Oddly Edwards. He's oddly not available right now. Now they sent someone back there to get him. <laughs> Big Boat's like, where is this guy? They, they're going to have to play the song again. <laughs> yeah, Where are you, Oddly? Come on. Get out, buddy. Don't be nervous. It's just the... Oh, there he is. He's here. He made it. He made it. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. This guy's in good shape, man. I don't know. He's like a mixture of uh, Tim Kennedy and Tony Ferguson. Like they had a baby. You just had to wipe. You had no be no bidets in in the uh, in the arena. All right, who what do you, what we got here? You guys pumped up? The first fight, we got a carnage. First round, first round carn. I should. We got. They gave us the uh, XMMA card, and you got to see. It's like microscopic. It's crazy. But I mean, at least we got it. I guess right. You make me feel. Mm -hmm. All right, so ooh, I don't have any room to write the stuff. Let's see. Let's put first round TKO. How is this one gonna go? All right, he's entered the cage. There he is. Oddly, I don't know. It's something about this guy I like. I like his confidence, and here we go. Let's see his opponent. MMA uh, in front of so many eyes is uh, a blessing, and I feel fortunate to display my skills. My opponent, Adley Edwards, is a, uh, a D2 All-American wrestler. I, you know, I think him and I have a highlight reel type of matchup. I think the big difference for me in this fight is going to be my acute striking and uh, pushing the pace. If everything goes perfectly this evening, I'll have my hand raised and one step closer to where I want to be. All right. A little socially awkward there. Might be that haircut. Um, <laughs> all right. Here we go. This is Josh Harvey. Josh Harvey is 8 1 and 1. So both guys 8 and 1. And here he comes, Josh Harvey. This dude looks fired up, though. Adley Edwards. I, I would have to, if I was a betting man, I would I would probably go in favor of Edwards. Although Harvey is the bigger guy. So they're they're fighting at Featherweight, but I guess I guess Harvey was was a 155er. We'll see the height here. This kid's 5'10. I don't know how tall the other guy is. Oh, did he miss weight? That's oh shit. Fucking A. Yeah, it says on Tapology 155.5. So, oh my god. This guy missed by 10 pounds. Is that true? We got to see the tail of the tape when it pops up. Oh my god, if that's true. That's El Kakui, the other guy. I think it's going to be a good scrap. I thought he might have went down to fight a featherweight, but we'll see. We'll see what the weights are. That'd be nuts. 10 pounds. That'd be crazy. Butter him up, baby. This could be a good one. Don't this is a don't blinker, guys. Don't blink. This guy looks fired up. That dude's gonna win. Which dude, Infinite? This guy or the or this guy? Who you got? You got El Kakui, Tim Kennedy. And don't open you up so much. Let's you see. have less of a chance of getting cut. The tail of the tape, like I said, both fighters eight and one. Although Harvey also has a draw. 32 and 31 years old, both around 5'10", 5'11". This is a catchweight fight. 73-inch reach for Edwards and 70 for Harvey. And now Okay, hold on. That fucking music, man. Um, they're saying it's a catchweight fight. He might have missed weight. Okay. T shut the music off, guys. They like that. Coach. They're not giving him his sound. All right. Uh... Next bout on the card is a catchweight bout. Scheduled <laughs> like for song. three five-minute rounds. Our referee in charge, Gabe Barahona. This bout is, is brought to you by Head Rush. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. He holds a professional record of eight wins, one loss, and he fights out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Introducing Adley Sunshine. Edward. Let's go. Wow, he's coming to the opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155.8 pounds. Wow. He holds a professional record of eight wins, wow. one loss, one draw. And he fights out of Newport, Rhode Island, introducing Joshua Hookon Harvey. Okay, I wonder how that works. 
10 pounds? 10 pounds? What? And the dude still took the fight? I wonder if he gets a cut of the purse or what? Like, oh my god. I gotta be honest, now I'm really look I'm rooting for a El Kukui. I know I'm supposed to be unbiased here, but... 10 pounds? Alright, anyway. Uh, so Edwards... In the blue gloves, Harvey in the red. Oh boy, Harvey going for the... Oh, is he gonna go for that guillotine over there? Trying to grab the necks, try to snatch the neck quickly. Nice shot by Edwards getting that underhook, pushing him against the fence. So Edwards in control here now. Let's see if Adley could get something with this. With the heavier man against the cage. That's wild. Trying to trip him down here, Harvey. It might not work as we got a hook in, but Edwards. They're tangled on the mat. And uh-oh. Let's see if the weight bully could get it. Oh, no. Edwards slips out and rocking some left hands in. Edwards looking to make him pay here. Edwards with the control, but nice job by Harvey getting back up to the feet. A little grab of the fence, no big deal. No biggie. It's in the wild that left just sliding under the arm of Harvey. So Harvey had controlled against the fence, and here we go, Edwards. Whoa, well, what a takedown by Edwards! Edwards does it, passes a leg over, but Harvey holding on around the neck. Okay, 348. Let's see if we can get an advancement of this position, some ground and poundage. What's gonna, what is Edwards going to do here? Can Harvey get back up as he's trying? Moving on to the side here. Harvey just hanging on. Maybe a Kimura? Nope, Harvey's pressed back down. Edwards doing some work. So an interesting matchup between the two. Bummer that there was a big weight miss, but show goes on. I'd be so mad if my opponent... Oh, here we go! Here we go! Get ready for the tap here as Edwards is locking up the head and arm with the mount. He probably has to go to side control, though, to get that. Ah, damn. Why didn't he go to side control? Ah, oh, man. If he had that side control position. So that didn't work out for Edwards there. Harvey stays alive. Harvey kind of reminded me of uh, Darren Elkins a little bit. I don't know why. Nice job by Edwards. Lifting that leg, pushing him back down. And now another attack on the leg. This time, Harvey's going for it. It didn't work for the first fight, and it doesn't look like it's going to work in this one. Edwards showing a little flexibility here, just keeping Harvey down to the ground. So now 238 left in the first round, and we're tangled up here on the mat. Those left hands sliding into the face. Slippery work by Harvey trying to get out, but Edwards too crafty, keeping him down on the ground. A little butterfly guard there by Harvey. Harvey just hanging on. Looks like he's going to attempt it for that arm, but nope. Here we go. Edward stands over him, trying to throw the legs to the side, and almost does. So Harvey does a good job upping to the face, but now settling back into the guard is Edwards ever so slowly, and now they're dick to dick. Edwards on top. Harvey in a little bit of a pickle here in the first round, as Edwards does a good job keeping him right firm in the center of that cage. The camera dramatically panning out over here. As Edwards is in pretty good control. Elbows! Cleave it to Diener wants to see. Throw some damn elbows! The chat is asking for it. Harvey looking for that arm. Trying to buck him off here. Rolling around from the ground. Now attacking the leg again. Maybe he'll use it for leverage. And does. Oh! Right back down to the ground. Edwards says no mas. Edwards says sit back down, son. Edwards in control here on the knees, and they are tangled up. Damn, that's like some pretzel stuff going on here. Put some salt on these guys. What is going on here? A little tanglage, a little scrambling by both. Harvey trying to be tricky from the mat. Edwards is like, well, it's like a fighting an octopus here. Oh, here we go. The first sign of blood tonight as Harvey is wearing it. And Edwards just slowly presses him back down to the mat. There we go, Edwards. Whoa, look at that cut. Over the right eye or on the side. I can't really see. But, oof, boy, that left hand coming in by Edwards. Harvey's still hanging in there. There's the elbow that people were screaming about. So a sliced open face of Harvey and a little bit of a problem here. The good news for Harvey is there's only 33 seconds in this thing. But can we get to side control there? Let's see. Oh, there we go. We're looking a little bit better here. Edwards is trying again, and 23 seconds to land it. 
Holding down Harvey. There's the tap. Here we go. Another carnage as Edwards now goes 9-1. and one. The man that weighs 10 pounds less gets it done. Hit me with the second carnage of the night. Let's go, baby. Woo. Come on. Carnage. Lick the carnage. Embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage. Make babies with carnage. Play jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Two carnages. Let's go, baby. Come on, XMMA. I like this kid. This is the guy I say keep your eye on. This guy, I could see this guy going right into the UFC, to be honest. I could, man. I could see a contender series or something like that. Maybe he stays into the XMMA farm system. I don't know. Declaring your winner by submission via a head and arm choke, Adley Sunshine Edwards! El Kakui's twin brother. Winner! Look at that. We're going to throw in the ring with our winner, Adley Edwards. He's with Gilbert Melendez. It's a nice win. I like this kid. Adley, you are pumped up, man. You're talking smack to your opponent. You said I was just getting warmed up. I was gonna knock him out. Tell us how you feel, what you make of your performance. Well, dude, the guy came in ten over. Unforgivable. I came in here wanting to punish him. I wanted three rounds, I was gonna wear him down. He's a wrestler. You can't out wrestle me, baby. I was gonna go three rounds and really put the pain on him. The dude broke in the first round. <laughs> dude, just getting started. I'm sorry guys. You're about to see a lot more out of me, but. He didn't have any fun. He didn't have any room for me. Hey, tell us more about your, your wrestling exchanges. You're a D2 All-American. He tried to do some submission attempts. You kept working your arm triangle. What do you make of all that? Dude, just way bigger than me. He just tried to squeeze. I didn't even care. I'm like, dude, squeeze. You're not even close. Wearing himself out. Dumb game plan. Dude, fight IQ, baby. All the way. I got the best coach in the game. We're not, we're not doing anything like that. Come on, dude. What is that? <laughs> What's next for you, Adley? Hey, man, I'm here to win. Give me the best guys in the world. Dude, I'm game. I'm ready. This I wanted to show you guys more tonight, but I'm sorry. That's all we got. Ladies and gentlemen, Adley Edwards. <laughs> Remember this guy here, Adley Edwards. This guy is Kakui reincarnated. This is what we've all wanted. He's back, man. El Kakui is back. Tony Ferguson. There is a new Tony ready to uh, delight us with carnage. That was amazing. Guy who's 10 pounds over got submitted in the first round. Holy smokes. Very impressive. Put some respect on Adley Edwards. Sunshine. He even speaks like him a little bit, right? Adley Edwards. Two fights, first round finishes. There we go. Check him out, man. Nine and one. Impressive. What do you guys think of Adley Edwards? A delightful fight. <laughs> I'm 150. I'll bang with it. That dude. Come on, Kyle. We can make it happen. We can make it happen. If this guy uh, can break dance, we are blessed. <laughs> thumbs up. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thumbs up right now. We need 250 likes. If you haven't hit that like button, let's go. We are showing XMMA 4 live on this channel. So hit that like button if you're having a good time tonight. Two in, two finishes. Good stuff over here, man. Good stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Premature carnage. No, no premature carnage, please. Holy cigarettes. Let's reach those goalie goals, man. I want to dance, man. The only way I could dance is if we hit the 250. So we got to hit 250 likes. Spike it up, friends. I mean, free fights, for God's sakes. Doesn't cost a penny, just cost a like. That's it. <clears throat> Jake and Logan Paul are wrestle at WrestleMania. <laughs> Born Mush, are you a gr what is going on? WrestleMania. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Bro, we're a bunch of adults here. What? Hey! 
WrestleMania. What the? Who the hell watches that? WrestleMania. I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pretend I forgot I read that. Never happened. Someone hit me with the Men in Black pen. All right, let's get ready for the next fight here. Who do we got next? Louis. All right, here we go. They'll show you right here. Big Mo's ready to go. They're just pumping these fights. By the time this is over, this will be over in like a half hour the way we're going. May just gave me the great opportunity. I hired the boxing coach. I hired a D1 wrestler, uh, Louis. Um, he's a black belt jiu-jitsu. Uh, I really respect jiu-jitsu practitioner with a black belt. And I'm pretty sure like he wants to drag me into the ground. I'm ready to fight anywhere, uh, on my feet, on the ground. I'm from the, the BJJ school, so all ulcers are pretty much like get me ready for this fight. But I do my game, and uh, I'm ready to make a big fireworks in the cage. Don't you even think about it, chat. Um, so this here is the sound on and off, okay? So we'll listen to them talk. When there's music playing, can't play it, of course. You know that deal. Gotcha. Jesse's in the mix. The baby sleeping? Uh, yeah, with a, with a fight. Okay. All right, so after this guy walks in, throw the uh, sound on of uh, his opponent. I got I to gotta take a little, you know, I got to take a little tank off. Okay, which, wait, which fight is this? It's, it's actually the third fight on the card here. Over here Louis Sanadakis yeah, versus Tateki Matsuda. They're not on um, Tapology. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. I found it. I just found it. Okay, here we go. Sanadakis. Just found it right now. So this kid's so on no a two-fight losing streak. By the way, last fighter, you got to check him out, man. He's, he's legit. He's fun. Uh, 32 years of age. He's on a two-fight losing streak in Brave FC and XMA2. So we've seen him fight before. I don't remember this kid. Do you remember him? Uh, I'm sure it'll come to me, Moss. Anyway, this is uh, we're, we're watching Matsuda walk out. He's on a uh, wow, 15-10. And oh, it looks like he's from China. Oh, Tokyo, Japan. Excuse me. China. That's not even the Chinese flag. Uh, Cage Titan. So this kid's fighting. Oh, he's a CES fighter. So we've seen this kid fight before. All right. Here we go. Tateki Matsuda has entered the cage over here. Tateki Very nice. Matsuda. Say it, Moss. Say it the way it's supposed to be said. Tateki Matsuda. That's how you say it. I'm Matsuda. Not, what do you think? I'm not Japanese? I mean, come on. Tateki. Other than work uh, a little closer with Farasa Abi this time. We worked oh, very us. closely, and I took my time a lot more, and I was a lot more patient. I think my opponent has a great skill set, uh, particularly in the stand-up department. Uh, I think he's going to try to capitalize on that. Coming out of TriStar, I definitely uh, feel a responsibility to represent my team, especially uh, for Asahabi, for all he's given me throughout the years and training me. However, it's going to be me in there, so i got to think about myself in that regard as well. I, I can't help it. Think what happened to the guy's goatee? What happened? Um, I don't know, Moss. Did Bam uh, Margera got him? <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Will Smith slapped it off of him. That was a good one. No? Come on, that was a that was a that was a good one, guys. <laughs> Come on, perfect timing. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, wasn't it quick, right? That was pretty good. Anyways, Moss will never give me the credit that I deserve when I drop a good zinger in there. All right, we're getting ready to start this fight, guys. How have the fights been so far? I apologize for my tardiness. I have a almost one-year-old who refused to go down for a nap. But, um, you know, living the dream over here. We got, a, we got Grandma over. She's watching, she's watching Little Miss Ellie today so that we can take part in XMMA. Uh, Will Smith stuff is a play that oh stop it drunk. Oh by the way, oh, you know, I'm not gonna get into it right now It doesn't matter. Uh Nice now. It's just the cool kids. That's right Trevor. Uh, looks like dude is wearing a giant Nicorette patch <coughs> Which one? All right, here we go to Teki Matsuda uh, 36 years old 32 for Louie five foot seven both no weight. Is this a catch weight fight? Is that what's going on here? Let's see Let's see if this is a catch weight fight uh, Bantam weight Bantam weight. I don't know. Oh, oh, no. I don't know why they don't have the weight on there. That's bizarre. Uh, 67 and a half inch reach for, for Tateki and a 72 inch reach for Louie. Uh, let's see. You're not tardy, just special. <laughs> 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 
Wonderful. Was, wonderful. I give you an A for effort on that one. Uh, your farting, fartiness is smelly, says two joints. Special needs, no need to apologize, says ice biking. Uh, no. Wait, what? No, they're just standing in the cage hopping around. Oh, uh, let's see. What's good, Jess? Wishing you health and wealth, girl. Love you all. Thank you, BK Rhoda. Wishing you the same. Good to see you in the chat, man. Fresh pimp slap of Bel Air. Fresh prince. Get it? Prince. <laughs> Fresh prince of Bel Air. <clears throat> all right. And he fights out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Introducing Louis Leonidas Santa. Set of Our referee in charge, Gabe right. Barahona. Alright, so we missed I'm sorry, Matsuda. We missed. Jesse was uh, too busy having a good cool. time. Uh <laughs> Jesse will call this one over here. So right. Matsuda versus Senadakis. Senadakis. Well we can call him Louie. Louie, hey Louie. Who do you think what, wins? What was this that? One? Hey Louie. Where are you from? Hey Louie. Why are you shaking your head no? <laughs> call the fight. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Santa Doc is in the red gloves. Tateki in the blue. Here we go. Circling around one another. Tateki looking to tap the gloves a little bit. Coming in with some rights on the face of Santa Docus. Tateki looking quick out there to start off this fight. Three five round fights. Is that what's going on here? Calf kick coming in by Tateki. What? Three five round. Fight. I mean five minutes. <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> five minute fights. I didn't. You know what I meant. <laughs> Shut up. No, it's yes. It's a three. Ra- <coughs> three. Three five, rounder. Yeah. Five minute fights. Three five minute rounds. What are five. you? Ta- <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Moss, it's hard to like weasel your way into the yeah. into the show when you've been out of it for the first hour. You know. All right. It's difficult. All right. <laughs> Already almost through the first minute of the first round <laughs> over here. Nice kick inside the leg coming in by Louie. Tateki showing off that movement. Trying to stay loose out there. How tall? What's the size difference? Calf kick coming in here by Louie. They're both 5'7". It looks like Tateki is way shorter. Looks like both of these guys are really going to try and chop each other down with the kicks. More than anything else. Here we go. Louie coming in with another kick upstairs. Tateki hopping around like the Easter Oof. Bunny. A nice left and then a right coming in by Tateki after Louie lands right. We just missed with that. Kick upstairs there. coming in by Tateki. Louie starting to inch his way towards the outside. Tateki keeping that pressure. Looking to play inside the pocket a little bit. He does not look like he's the same height. Two rights by Louis. No, yeah, Louis looks taller. What are they saying that they're telling the tape? Uh, I can't remember. I read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I read it out loud and then I forgot Just it. Right out the window. <laughs> if anyone, anyone remembers, what was the heights on the tail of the tape? Because it says on topology they're both five seven. I Tateki looks like he's he's like four inches shorter. Here we go. Kick upstairs coming in by Louis. That was a that was a snapper, but it didn't land on Tateki. That's my new word tonight, Moss. A snapper. We're going to use it multiple times, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. Nice kick to the body coming in here by Louie. Detecki's still trying to keep the pressure on the outside. Going in for that kick, but misses. So they're saying both 5'7". Wow, that, that seems quite off. Nice left coming in here by Detecki. Kick to the body by Louie. Halfway through the first minute here. Both guys throwing some shots, but... Conserving that energy for the next two rounds. <laughs> Louis has a very long neck. Maybe that's what it is. He looks like a noodle. Got that giraffe neck. Like a llama. Two minutes left of the Oof. first round, and Tateki coming in with a couple of shots here. Nice kick inside the leg, but misses for Takashi. Tateki. Minute 45 seconds on the clock. Tateki circling around. Comes in with the kick inside the leg and misses. Matsuda. Louis showing off that good footwork. Coming in with two jabs. I couldn't tell if those landed from this angle. Could you tell, Moss? It didn't look. It looked like if it did, it wasn't anything of significance. There's the MMA Island in the front row over there. That could have been a glove touch. Beautiful yes. rights coming in here by Louis. Ooh, that Tateki right hand. turning it up. Yeah, landing on the chin of Louis. Now Louis 
Moving towards the outside again to Techie, keeping the pressure. All right, this might be the first one to get out of the uh, first round. Whoa, Oof, Techie right. eats it right by Louie. <laughs> Son of <Dalkus. laughs> Nice kick to the body coming in by Louie. Only a minute left of the first round. Not a bad back and forth so far. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they're they're staying active, but they're still trying to, you know, preserve that energy leading into the next two. There was a nice left that came in here Ooh. by... Whoa! Spinning kick by Louie. And Tateki just eats it, absorbs the shot, continues to move forward as if it doesn't even phase him. Nice calf kick coming in here by Louie, looking to chop at those legs. What guy do you think looks like Sloth, Dr. Whisper? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh god what do you mean i don't know he said one of them looks like sloth so which one and tataki coming in with that beautiful right looks like he just grazed the face of of louis kick upstairs coming in by louis misses who do you think is, who do you think wait what the fuck why the ref stopped he like it? no, that was, no the he, end, that was the end of the it was five seconds left oh well the ref stopped it oh like, was there an eye poke one, no one no i guess the clock was off oh Chat, you watch WrestleMania? What idiot watches WrestleMania? Same guy in chat. I can't wait for the, these fights to be over. I need to level up on Elden Rings. <laughs> uh, is that what they actually said, or is that was that a joke? Thank you, Kainoto, for the two dollar donation. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. You're watching WrestleMania. I don't know what to say. I don't know. It's it's whatever makes you happy, though. I guess right. We're not here to criticize. We're here to watch fights. Although it is quite comical. So I don't know. Who do you think won that first round? We don't have any live stats, but um, it's a close one, right? I'm going to go to Kashi 6 9 for the win on the first round. He's moving forward majority of the time. Here's Faraz. Faraz is, is in the corner, so we got some celebrity corner men. It feels weird not having to do the timer. XMMA is on point. Is that is that one of those like fake tattoos? I think that's like one of those fake ones. Why would it be fake? You see the red around it? It looks like the ink is smearing. Why would he put a fake tattoo on himself? Some people do that, like advertisements and stuff. Um, Are they allowed to do that? I don't know. Well, that just looked like a Japanese, like, the red little circle. What are we waiting for you? I don't know. What is that? Looks Can't real. See. I don't know. So then why is it all red around it? Like not, Maybe he got punched there. No, no, not like from a punch. It looks like ink red. I oh, forget it. <laughs> it's the first dumb conversation of the night. Get, stand, stand by. You'll, you'll, you'll right. witness more of those. Second round has just begun. Once again, Louie moving his weight towards the outside to start it off. Nice kick to the body coming <clears throat> in here by Tateki. <laughs> like a seal? <laughs> yeah, it's like a wax stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Why is, so what are we taking all the real estate? Can we put your legs down or not? I like touching you. I know, but this is a long stream and I need you to... You don't like it when I touch you? No, because my leg's going numb. It's not even resting on you. <sighs> just please. Just if I ask... It, it would be nice if you just stop invading my space. It's like snuggle time. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. 420. Light him up. Smoke him if you got him. Both standing in the center. Tateki circling the center now. Looks like Tateki's a little more active here than Louis. I don't know. Maybe Louis's just trying to, to keep the pace. He's trying to maybe looking for a mistake counter in on something yeah it looks like yeah maybe you're Oof. right maybe he's trying to capitalize Man. on uh to opening up here to techie landed a nice combo though Beautiful. yeah in and out problem is to looking real good so if if louis not careful he's just gonna let to kind of ride this to a win i mean he's got to do something here here Ooh, we go there Keeps we go the body coming in by louis without that right hand by to techie thought it was the better in the exchange now nice kick inside the leg coming in here by to and here we go, Louis trying to return a calf kick. Looks like actually may having a little problems with some of the graphics. You're having a problem with graphics, Moss. No. Yes. I'm not. That's true, you're a professional. <laughs> kick inside the leg coming in here by Louis. Come on, boys. Yeah, I see sense of urgency. Yeah, we, we need someone to push the pace. I mean, Tateki is, is, is the one that's more aggressive. It just yeah. doesn't, even though he's landed some nice flush combos and whatever. He's also more active, though. Does he have the power? I mean, he's landed some pretty good ones. 
but it doesn't even look like it looks like the guy's f swatting a fly here. What's interesting here is now the tables are kind of turning a little bit as Tateki's circling the outside, and Louis looking to put the pressure. It's kind of like they're switching off on cat and mouse. Here we go. A couple shots coming in here by Tateki. Louis lands a counter left, and then a beautiful body kick coming in here by Tateki. Kick inside the leg by Louis. Still trying to, to do his part. But I got to say, I don't think Louis winning this fight. This should have been the first fight. Yeah, BK, right? Well, it's not a bad fight. It really is not. But it's just one is staying, you know, easily more active than the other. It, to Techie's movement is just frustrating the hell out of his opponent here. Like, it's, it's just kind of crazy, right? Well, He's doing Louis a good job. Uh-oh. Here we go. Nice kick inside the leg coming in here by Tateki. Louis kind of backs up, but he absorbs a shock. Beautiful body kick by Louis. See, Louis does, even though he's not as, um, I guess, mobile, he's still landing some pretty decent, pretty heavy shots. Son of Daukis. Kick to the body coming in by Tateki, and Louis with the counter in the calf kick. Those leg kicks are looking pretty good. Yeah. yeah, he's been chopping at him for the, fir for the whole two rounds so it's probably far. probably the only thing that's, that's working out in his favor. Nice kick to the body coming in here by Louie. Tateki with a beautiful right landing on the chin. Louie acts like it doesn't phase him. Continues to move along the outside. Tateki coming inside the range there. Going for a few more shots upstairs. I got to say, though, with as many shots as Louie's taken, he's relatively calm. Beautiful counter left by Louie as Tateki... Gets a little too close. It would be hilarious if Santa Dogs just plants him and knocks him out right That's here. what I'm waiting for. There's got to be a reason Louis is is not engaging the way Tateki is. There's got to be a reason. Well, that's because Tateki is just good footwork. He's mixing it up. He's yeah. moving around nicely. He's easily winning the fight, though. Here we go. Louis landing a, quite a few calf kicks here. Tateki makes his way back to the center. Left there you and go. then a right comes in by Tateki. He's using the power of his wax stamp on his chest. <laughs> Kick inside the leg by Tateki, pressuring Louie to the outside. He's staying very active, though. I got to give him credit. For yeah, that. he looks great. He looks great. Louie's got nothing. Kick to the body coming in here by Louie. Whoa, Tateki plays in the range, gets a few shots in, but Louie lands a nice counter. Hold on, I got uh, Senadalkis' corner. We actually have some audio from Faraz. Here we go. Do something! Do oh, there he goes. See, he listened. <laughs> <laughs> That's Faraz. Wow, okay. That's that the end over. of the second. I'm going to give it to Tateki 2-Zip so far. What do you guys got? Yeah, I would have to agree. Tateki 2-Zip, right, Moss? Yeah. Hey, guess what? This is your weenus. Did you know that? Okay. No, I did not know that. W did you do drugs before you came on? <laughs> Wine? What happened here? I'm just um, That's my elbow. making up for lost time. <laughs> You don't have to. Uh, XMMA does the thing of the two ring card girls. They look better that? than the uh, event that we just watched, uh, the other ring girls with the pants. Yeah, CES. They can't. I'm, CES, I love you guys, but XMMA don't got... Don't put pants on got, your got, ring girls. Got better ring girls. Better clothing. The whole X, deal. XMMA Angels on Instagram if you guys want to go follow them. Got some juicy booties over there. Uh, if we let you guys keep voting, we will all have that tat of China on our chest as Viagra Dealer. Dude, your name's Viagra Dealer. Well, Come that's on, the, bro. That's the joke. Uh, she's got some cheeks, says Jim. Snapper. That was a snapper of a round, wasn't it? There's a lot of dumps on the trucks tonight. If you notice that these these angels, they're packing a lot of heat down below. It's a lot, <laughs> a lot of booty. A lot of dumps on the trucks? A lot of dumps on the trucks. Where did you hear that? What? Dumps on the trucks. What, you what? didn't make that up. Thighs like what? What, what? <laughs> Baby booty butt. butt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, 15 seconds into the third and final round over here, and it looks like Louie's really turning it up with some shots, pressuring to Techie towards the outside. Louie comes in with the left, and now he's shooting for a takedown. Look at this. Pressuring up against the cage with Techie. Louie trying to wrap around both legs. Wraps the right leg around. Here we go. And trips the techie to his butt. Look at that. What, what in the butt? Four minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. And now Louie lying in half guard position on Tateki. Tateki trying to show some of that defense off, but Louie landed boy. the rights. I knew there was a reason. He had to be conserving the energy for something. Well, for us, to wake the hell up. If Louie doesn't finish this round, I would suggest he loses the fight. Yeah, look, he rubbed his tattoo off, Jess. <laughs> 
Did you just see that? No. Look at his chest. All right, Louie transitions to the back of Tateki. She never believes anything I say. Oh, yeah, you're right. What do you mean I never? I just didn't see it. You said you didn't see it. I didn't say I didn't believe you. I said I didn't just, see no, it. No, I'm saying beforehand when I say it's a fake tattoo, just oh. trust me because I'm mystical. Okay. All right, Louie taking the back of Tateki, wrapping around the, the waist, locking in tight. Holy shit, here we go. Is Tateki going to tap? Tateki tucking that chin under the left arm of Louie as Louie tries to go for a choke here. Tateki practically biting Over. the forearm. He's not even looking for the neck. He's like, I'm just going to crush your freaking face. And here we go. Tateki does great work getting some wrist control here, pushing that arm overhead. Three minutes and 23 seconds on the clock. And Louis going for the choke again. Could you imagine if this becomes a draw? Like if he 10 eights him right here? Tateki working on that, that leg around the waist. Three minutes left. Tateki once again. Oh, what are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> it just, you know, it adds a little spice, you know? Well, we know what the next fight's going to be. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert, boys. All right. Tateki still trying to field the pressure of Louie on the ground right now as Louie has a beautiful triangle around the waist, tightening it up, restricting that breathing of Tateki as Tateki's working those arms. And I got to say, Louie looks great in this round. What makes you say that, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Tateki doing good job with the uh, wrist control. Here we go. He might spin into the guard. Able to get back up, but nope. let's see. Look at that beauty. Going right to the backpack. Yeah, right's coming in here by Louie. Oh, uh oh. Nah, Tateki's going to tuck that chin again. He's yeah, really he's good about tucking the chin. Good hand fighting. Very good hand fighting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Tateki's still under complete domination by Louie. This is MMA Island, Jess. Look at him. Why there do you keep is. pointing out MMA Island? Because he's right there. He's right there. That could be. That could have been glove touch. Oh, here we go. And here we go. Louie has the the arm locked around the neck. The ref's just standing there like... Man, oh, man. Un unpleased. Was that a word? Unpleased? Not pleased? Unentertained? You know, good, good hand... You know, fighting off the hands to Tacky and the whole deal, like, keeps on peeling it off. Yeah, he's doing a great job. But, um... If he could just turn inside the guard, he could have an advantage here, but it looks like the triangle around the waist by Louie is so tight. He's got to start hitting him, though. Like if I like right, Louis guy start hitting him, loosen up that freaking face. This way he's not. He just goes from one arm to the other arm. Yeah, he's not gonna choke him. Yeah, Tateki, I guess all you could really give Louis right now is control time. We don't know how much time's left in here, but I'm assuming the round's nearing an end. So we're in the third and final round, and you gotta land some strikes here, man. This please, thank you guys for correcting my grammar. This pleased. There we go. He listened to me, Jess. Look. Yeah, some hammer fist coming in by Louie from the back, but not enough to really do anything. He just went right back to trying to choke him out. Eventually, either Louie's arm's going to gas or Tateki's going to gas. I wish I knew how much time was left. Oh, yeah. Look at the ref I'm standing curious. there like, come on. What am I in here for? What, what, what are we doing in here? Yes. Tateki's still pushing that arm overhead. Tateki's being a real squirmy. Here we go. He's trying to turn inside the guard now. Louis not going to allow it. As yeah, he... that's, he's doing a good There we go. Yeah. Here Lefts we go. and rights coming in from over the shoulder by Here Louis. We go. Elbows oh, slicing there. in. Beautiful work by Louis. But Tateki kind of squirms his way out of this one, and that's how we end the third and final round. Hmm. What do you guys think? I mean, uh, clearly. Did you see that? Louis won for a, hand, a handshake, and Tateki just ignored him. Well. Tateki won the fight. I don't know what the problem is. Unless they give that a 10-8 round. I don't think they would. I don't think it is a 10-8 round. I would, I, would, I would definitely say. A unless, draw? Who knows? You guys think it's a draw? That f you got to remember that. Get out. You got to remember that <laughs> first round was very close. <coughs> there's, there, there's a good chance. There's no. The first round. <coughs> you dying? The first round's actually a kind of a close round. I, I would still give it to Tateki. Tateki wins. But. um. First and second round. There's no way that's a draw. No, I'm not saying draw. I'm saying, no, I mean, saying it could draw. be a draw. But, but don't be surprised if it goes in favor of uh, Louis, babe. Louis might get it. 
Louis not winning this fight. I'm sorry, it's not happening. He might get it. He might get it. I'm telling you. Don't be surprised. Uh, 10 8 round can be given if more than four minutes of control, if I'm not mistaken. He's got to do something with it, though. He really didn't do much until the end. Four. I mean, it's possible. I mean, if they gave him a 10 8 in that round, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, be shocked. And if we have all of the uh, particulars, I'm not sure. Big Mo, are we good to go? Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judge's scorecard for the official decision. Judge Allen scores about 29 to 28. Judge Sherlock scores it 29 to 28, and Judge Sherman scores it 30 to 27, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. Wow, 30. Louis Leonidas Santa. Are you joking? Come on, these judges. One judge gave it 30 27. We're going to jump in the ring with Gilbert Melendez and Louis. Louis did not win that fight. What did I bro? tell you, though? Foreman's in the fighters' meeting, you said you wanted to he stay calm and collective. Unreal. Is that what you did out there? And what do you make of your performance? Yeah, I think I stayed calm and collected, especially coming off uh, back to back losses. I'm trying to get back in the win column. So I played a little bit safer than maybe some people would have liked. But uh, I did what I had to do to get the job done. And I'm happy for the opportunity. Very good opponent. And I want to say. Uh, I dedicate this fight to my grandfather who recently passed Aww. and also another guy who's got the biggest fight of his life right now, my Muay Thai coach. He's battling cancer, so oh, uh, boy. I'm dedicating this victory to him. I couldn't lose because uh, I was thinking about him tonight and I want to thank my family for everything. Oh, that's nice. Well, we heard the judges. They said 29, 28, 29, 28, 30, 27. So it really came down to the last round. What did your coach tell you in that third round? And did you know you wanted to go for that takedown in that third round to seal the deal? Absolutely. For us, as a, a genius in there. He knew exactly what he was talking about. He told me, take it down in the third round, solidify it. Because treat one and one, like, uh, treat, treat it like what it was one and one. And uh, that's exactly what it was. So, uh he was right, and uh, good thing I did that. I, uh, yeah, thanks a lot to my team and my family. Is there anything you want next? What do you, who do you want in ex-MMA? What do you want next in your career? I'm not big on uh, calling people out. I'll take whatever comes to me. Uh, I'm ready for the next one, though. I'm excited. I'm not hurt. Uh, I feel good, and I feel like I'm uh, back to my old self. Ladies and gentlemen, Louis Sanadakis. Okay, Louie with the win. Unanimous. Gilbert has like a vice grip on that microphone. See what I was saying though? Like that first round, I'm not shocked that they gave it to him. It was a close round the first. Just, I mean, Tateki was aggressive. Tateki was winning. But, you know, that doesn't mean it. significant strikes mean something. So I guess they went in favor. Here's the question 30 27? What, what was that judge thinking? 30 27? Like that one there is just every round? Because that second round, no. No. But it is what it is. We move on. All right, Moss. Let's move on. Ah, oh, super chat. Zeus. Really not sure why my membership keeps going away. Why are they doing... Oh, it's back it's now. It's happened to multiple people. That's weird. But I heard that, like, once you... If you just... I think maybe if you're inactive or something for a certain amount of time, maybe they they remove it. I don't really know, but I do know that if you, like, try to, like, bring it back, you're back where you left off. It doesn't start you from the beginning. Let's um, let's uh, give a shout-out to our sponsors really quick over here. What do we got here on MyBookie? MyBookie.ag. Bet on all of your favorite live sports, including NFL, NBA, MLB, and of your your favorite MMA. Use promo code MMAHOLES. That's MMAHOLES for up to 100% match on your first deposit. We got Sheath. Well, treat your jewels like royalty. Why spend all your money on generic underwear when you can slip into a pair of sheath underwear? Head over to sheathunderwear.com. That's S-H-E-A-T-H underwear.com with the link in the description below. Use promo code MMAHOLES. That's M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S for 20% off of your entire purchase. And James says the judges hate a Asians. I don't think that's what it is. Uh, head rush. While you're wearing sheath underneath, make sure you're wearing head rush over it. Head rush apparel is provider of the highest quality authentic apparel for lifestyle MMA and action sports enthusiasts. Head over to head rush with the link in the description below using promo code MMA holes. That's MMA H O L E S for 20% off of your entire purchase. And if you want to watch next week's UFC 273 card, we're going to be doing a reaction once yes, again. Yes, sir. Watch all of your favorite live sports, including UFC Fight Nights and UFC pay-per-views. Head over to ESPN+. Plus. But when you head over to ESPN+, Plus, make sure you don't use any link. You use our link. 
Use the link in the description below. When you use our link, you help out the MMA holes. So make sure you use ESPN Plus to watch all of your favorite live sports. Okay, we are broadcasting XMMA for Black Magic live on this channel. Thank you to Head Rush. Thank you to XMMA. Let's bring it back to Big Mo. Fourth fight of the evening. Let's meet our first fighter making his way to the cage. It's Tyrick Malval. Or let's meet the Man, fighters. This opportunity is the biggest one I had so far. You know, I've been waiting on an opportunity like this. Like, my style is pretty adaptive. You know, I go out there and I feel the fight, fight out. So I'm pretty sure I'll adapt quickly to his style and I'll uh, be able to get my stuff off. I don't really feel any pressure to, to live up to a certain standard because it's kind of all, it's kind of already in me. So it's either you're gonna bring the fight or you're gonna have to get up out that gym, you know? So it's kind of already embedded in me. You know, I don't care how I, I get it done. I just get my hand raised, hopefully I finish, but I don't care how I get it done. All right, here we go. Tyrick uh, Movo, is that how you say his name? Movo? Malvo? Uh, is on a three fight win streak over here. He's uh, in fighting in front of his home crowd, Lafayette, Louisiana. Got a submission in his last fight. A uh, knockout before that and a submission. My man's a finishing machine. And when you heard him talk, did it remind you of Eddie Murphy, Buckwheat's been shot? I don't know what you're referring to. Let me know in the chat if you know. It's an aged reference, but um, <laughs> I don't know why I got that old Eddie Murphy bit in my head. Buckwheat's been shot. I don't know. Uh, here we go. Ty Reek. Malvo, Malvo, I would say. That's probably how you say it, right? Malvo. Malvo. Right off the bat, though, I think this kid's going to win. I don't know. I feel it. I have that feeling. I have that itch. We'll see what his opponent looks like and sounds like as we get Malvo in the cage. He is ready to roll. My opponent and I match up pretty oh, well. Um, you know, I, I have good grappling. I think he has good grappling. I think he's a wrestler. Um, he's got some power in his hands, but so do I. So it should be interesting to see who can implement their game plan first. I want one of those fights where people are talking about it. It's hitting the web. It's going viral. Um, you know, win, lose, or draw. I want something memorable that my daughters can look back on and say, man, my dad was a badass. So this guy... Uh, Weston Wilson, WW, Mr. Wonderful, Wonderful. Wonderful, Wonderful. Is six foot one, fighting, uh, fighting uh, his opponent's five eight. So six one five eight. And this is, is this another weight miss? They're saying he's one fifty six. His opponent's one forty five point five. Is this another ten pounder? Almost eleven pounds. That's crazy, man. If that's the case. Catch weight. Thank you. Brooks has been become a member. Let's go, Brooks, baby. Come on, Brooks. Featherweight. Mr. Brooks. From the featherweight. Thank you, Brooksy boy. Well, he might have just re-upped, but thank you, Brooks. Yeah, it looks like he re-upped. Appreciate that. As well against Brandon Bashaw. And now it is time to go into the ring for intros with Big Mo. Big Mo. Big Gentlemen, our fourth bout on the card is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the XMMA featherweight division and is presented by Black Ship Poker. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 144.6 pounds. He holds a professional record of six wins, three losses, and he fights out of Lafayette, Louisiana. Introducing Tyreek. Manoa Malvo! Malvo! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet one inches tall, weighing in at 145.6 oh, okay. pounds. He, he holds a professional record of six wins, 12 wins, six losses. And he fights out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, introducing Weston Wilson! Our referee in charge, Rob Sherman. Okay, so they did hit weight. Tapology's a little wrong here. Here we go. We're gonna kiss. All right, who do we got in this one, Jess? Who would you pick if you were? A I'm gonna go lady? with Malvo. Malvo. Yeah, I kind of think Malvo too, although he is kind of undersized here. So Weston Wilson, the long, lanky, uh, red wrapped guy, and then Malvo with the blue, five eight statured wraps. Here we go. Starting off with some leg kicks here, Malvo. Nice job to the inside of the lead leg of Wilson. 
Wilson's got that hoppy Wonder Boy style. Look at that. Someone in the chat says he trains with Wonder Boy. If it's Weston Wilson with a left hand, I would not be surprised. I mean, he's got a very Wonder Boy esque approach. Look at that. Very loose on the feet. Loosey goosey. Hopping around over there. It's almost like a complete carbon copy. Just trotting around. Nice kick. Oh, that was almost to the nads. They collide with legs, and there we go. Spinning around. So, oh, that right hand to the left. And then a right hand by Wilson. Both guys land, and a triparuski down to the ground. Nice job inside the guard. Malvo eating those elbows, though, huh? Let's go, Malvo. Malvo trying to get some work done here. Wilson's got him inside the guard, looking to get those legs up high. All right, let's see. Am I allowed to be biased in this fight? Yeah, why not? I don't care. Why? Good, you better not care, because I wasn't going to care either. So why'd you ask? I don't know. Show us that triangle. All right, so let's see if uh, we can get some stuff done here with Malvo. Did you get off uh, internet? Is everyone off Everyone's off, yeah. Okay, cool. Do you have my phone or no? Oh, shite. It's all right. It's, it's okay. downstairs. I took it that off. computer's off? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just make sure everything's off. So still working in the guard here. Oh, he's looking to pass that leg. Malvo almost got it. Malvo lifting up on the leg and right back up to the feet is Wilson. Wilson gets up and separates. Nice job. Big man getting right back up. Swiping away a kick to the body over there. Whoa, shoots perfectly. Timed that one beautifully. Malvo with the takedown. Wilson looking for the neck. Oh, boy. Is he going to guillotine this puppy up? Wilson getting tight on that thing. Looks like he's going all in. Oh, shit. He just fucking submit him. Out cold. Malvo is out cold and wilson does the victory lap and mal oh my gosh that was nasty that was nasty wilson wow carnage lick the carnage embrace the carnage go on a date with carnage vote for carnage make babies with carnage play jokes on well, that's three in a row for Wilson. Damn, that was smooth. Malvo shoots for a beautiful takedown. Oh, yep, there's uh, Wonder Boy's pops. So Wonder Boy's team has multiple fighters in here. Oh, uh, man, oh, man. That's crazy. Hold on, I'm doing, doing a little work here behind the scenes. A little work here behind the scenes. Okay. By submission, by a side choke, Weston Wilson! That was beautiful, man. That was a beautiful finish. And as, as I thought... Uh, Weston Wilson does train with Wonder Boy in his game. Weston, amazing performance out there. Got it done in one round. Did everything go according to plan? Yeah, man. Uh, I did it on a two-week notice. Wow. A vacation in Orlando, Florida the week before the fight. Made weight and got it done in a round. So Tyreek <laughs> went in for a double leg, and your counter was Press. a guillotine choke, which is beautiful. Was that a no-arm guillotine we saw in there? And is that something you work? Yeah, I'm, I'm known as a guillotine specialist. When I get a guillotine, you go to sleep. Um, actually, it's my only second guillotine win. But in the gym, everybody knows I'm a guillotine specialist. Yeah, why do you when say side around, choke? You don't wake up. Well, I'll tell you what. When you have striking like that, guys are going to fo be forced to shoot on you. Is that something you expect? Every time. Every time. Upstate karate, everybody's wanting to take shots. So I have a mantra of being proactive, not reactive. So every time someone's taking a shot, I want them to react off of my whatever I'm setting up. I don't know, I can't even think right now. 2-0 and o in the ex-MMA cage. Who do you want next and what's next for you? Uh, ex-MMA five, Matt Sales was supposed to t be here. Hmm. I took his spot. Uh -huh. Let's make it happen, Matt Sales. Sales or whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, like Weston that. Wilson. I like that call out there, Matt Sales. So Weston Wilson getting the win here, Upstate Karate. And they said side choke. I don't know. They're passing Big Mo the wrong information, I guess. That was definitely a guillotine. But boy, oh boy. Oh, my God. Malvo went for the takedown, lands it, and look at this. I mean, he did get twisted there. 
So I guess the way his head get, went, I don't know. Who knows? Here's your next fight here. Plotnikov versus Bowen. Man, oh man, there have been a lot of finishes on this card. So far, we are... Hold on a second. Only four fights in. And three of them are finishes. Three finishes so far. I mean, you can't really ask for much more. So here's your last fight. Weston Wilson gets the submission in the first round, cranking on that neck. Says, you're going to take me down. You're going to suffer the pain. All right, so we got Bowen versus Palachnikov. Let's look at the next matchup here on Tapology. Here we go. As they're playing some commercials, we keep the party going. See, that's how we roll over here. That's how we roll. Got head rush. Shout out to head rush. 20% off promo code MMA holes. Link in the description. Head rush is the best. But uh, check it out. Cryon Bowen versus Sasha Palatnikov. Mr. Bowen is on a three-fight losing streak. If you've noticed, the, the contender series may look familiar. He got submitted over there, then went over to PFL, and that didn't work out well for him. Well, here he is in XMMA. So had a big opportunity for the UFC. Has not worked out. PFL, another opportunity that, you know, he could be a millionaire, multi-millionaire. Uh, that didn't work out. And here he is in XMMA, so looking to bounce back. 28 years old, coming from Illinois. It's a welterweight fight. Sasha Palatnikov on a two-fight losing streak, and he may look familiar because he's from the UFC. Look at this. Two submission losses over here. Knockout and his last win. His last win was one year and three months ago. So in the UFC, he got a knockout there, and then before that, uh, he got a finish in uh, UAE, whatever that is. So... Okay, two guys over here looking to get it done. Let me know who in the chat you think is going to get the dub. A little Usher. My opponent, Kyron Bowen, um, I'm familiar with his recent run in the PFL. He looks like a tough, long guy. I just think that my experience and time in the sport um, is just something that has put me at a level now that I'm just so comfortable in the cage. The past year has been a rough year for me uh, personally, but now coming in, new year, new me kind of thing, and I'm just ready to go out there and just take it to them. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling very well-rounded, and uh, this is going to be a good uh, platform to put that all together. Okay, here we go. So this is – there are two more fights – and then the undercard is officially over. We go into the main card over here. So XMMA giving you guys some free fights. And this is Sasha Palatnikov looking to bounce back in the win column. Uh, Steven Langone, thank you for the subscribe, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Subscribing to the channel, baby. Make sure you hit that like button, friend. One more like, and we hit oh, our goalie goal. Super chat. Yappy the DK. What's going on? My boy Wilson better get that knockout. My boy Wilson got the submission. So there you go, Yappy. Wilson got the job done. Thank you for the donation, my friend. Wilson looked pretty good. Short notice, collecting a neck, and a check. All right, here we go. We're going to see the next trot out here. XMMA4. Man, this card has been way different than the last card. The fight on this platform, it's um, it's amazing, man. You know, John Dodson, somebody I grew up watching as well with a few others on the card. Uh, John Howard, it's the guys I looked up to, and I'm uh, definitely inspired my MMA journey. My opponent has a great skill set, man. He's very active on his feet, has active hands, active punches. He's um, uh, from when I seen a cardio machine. The fight goes perfect tonight, just how I want it. It's going to be a TKO or submission about midway through the first. I'm going to get some reads and make it easy. There That's we all. go. All right, so this is Chiron Bowen walking out right now. He's on a three-fight losing streak, looking to bounce back here at XMMA number four. I have some fantastic news. We hit 261 likes on the channel, on the stream, I should say. Let's hit our goalie goals, baby. I got the goals, I got the goals, we hit the lock, we hit the lock, goals, 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 lock the goals, we got the 
like, 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 like the ghost. I slap the likes, slap the like button, and slap the likes. I slap the like button, we hit the goals. We hit the goals, we hit the like. We hit the like goals. Okay. Scheduled for three oh. five minute rounds in the <laughs> X MMA welterweight division and is presented by Isaac Mayer Fine Jewelry. Let's meet the fighters. First, Fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet one inches tall, weighing in at 169.6 pounds. He holds a professional record of six wins, four losses, and he fights out of Hong Kong, China. Hong Kong. Introducing Sasha Pelatnikov. Who the and his opponent <laughs> fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170.2 pounds. He holds a professional record of nine wins, seven losses, and he fights out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Introducing Kyron Mamba Bowen. All righty then. Charge Rob Sherman. Okay, here we go, guys. Bowen versus Palatnikov. Getting ready to go down and throw down. Hit the like button for 20. We dance again. 420 likes is the next goal. Jesse's going to take this one away as they got the... Listen, it's only the fourth event, so you got to cut some slack here. So far, so good. All right. Stepping into the center are both of them. A left coming in to start off the round by Bowen. Looks like a Mrs. Palatnikov showing off that footwork. Steps out of the way of a calf kick by Bowen. Kick to the body exchanged by both fighters. This is a welterweight bout between the two. Nice exchange there coming in by Bowen. Kick to the body by Bowen. And then a calf kick. Here we go. Bowen with the uppercut lands on the chin of Polotnikov. Whoa, Polotnikov with the head movement ducks under that kick upstairs, but it looks like it still grazes the top of the head. Bowen charging forward with a combination hurt, of shots man. on Polotnikov. Oof. Now Palatnikov trying to show off some semblance of a counter as Bowen falls back and Palatnikov falls back into the half guard. Or half guard. Did he <laughs> want to pull guard there? Was that part of the plan? It was like a butterfly guard and then he fell into the guard now. No, I'm saying Bowen. I don't think like, oh man. No, he tripped back and Palatnikov fell on top of him. Oh boy. <laughs> and Palatnikov dodged the bullet there. Bowen looking to wrap around the back of the neck of Palatnikov. Or he's going to go for the arm, it looks like. Three minutes, 53 seconds on the clock. Oh, boy. And Bowen is, yeah, holding onto that arm. They stand up, break off. Polotnikov lands that left. Head movement after Bowen throws a right. Against the cage, it looks like Polotnikov is showing Bowen how much Oof. pressure he can give. Drags Bowen to the ground. Inside that guard again, looking to inch up the body of Bowen. Bowen trying to regroup here. Lots of blood coming in. Is that from Palatnikov? Looks like it. Looks like it's dripping down. I wonder what tagged him there. It was a it was a little razor blade like in the WWE where they sliced yeah? their head. Yeah. Damn, I missed it. I think it's Palatnikov. It looks like it's dribbling down. Yeah. Maybe it's coming out of the nose. Palatnikov doing some work on the ribs as he lies overhead. Now he grabs onto the back of the head of Bowen. Yeah, I don't know where it's coming from. Elbows are coming down from the top. Mm -hmm. Bowen working the wrists here. Palatnikov stands up, tries to, tries to switch up his position as he falls into half guard. Bowen just kind of feeling the weight of Palatnikov right now. They both stand up. Oh. Kick to the head coming in by Bowen. Palatnikov tries to catch it. Brings Bowen to the ground. Bowen now face down on the mat. Folded up as Palatnikov looks to take the back. It looks like the cut's on the left side of Palatnikov's head by his eye. Oh, no, maybe right side. It's by one of those eyes. Bowen trying to protect the head as Palatnikov comes in with those clubbing blows. Yeah, right side. Oof. The momentum completely swung in the other direction, huh? Oh, here we go. Yep. I spoke too soon. Bowen going for the leg now. Gonna slice some calves. Trying to twist it up here. Oh, man. Blotnikov with a great defense, though. Triangles it around the foot. 
This is pretty entertaining to watch, right? Look this at this. Is, this is, I mean, this is so great groundwork. It? No. A right coming in there by Polotnikov. I like watching men scissor, Jess. It's fantastic. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say they're scissoring. <laughs> oh, boy. Polotnikov wants that neck, but it looks like Bowen is not really in the position to give him that advantage. <sighs> oh, Left's coming man. in by Polotnikov. Oh, those are brutal. Oh, he's going to... Oh, this is going to be done. Those are beautiful oh my elbows. God. And there we go. The ref stops the oh, fight. Oh, my God. That he's was seen a enough. That was a beating. That was an absolute beating. Mother Russia from Hong Kong. A Hong Kong Russian. You don't see many of that, but the experienced man gets it done as he's wearing some war paint. Oh, boy. What a finish, baby. Here we go. A Chinese carnage. Carnage! Lick the carnage! Embrace the carnage! Go on a date with carnage! Vote oh. for carnage! Make babies with carnage! Play Please. jokes on carnage! Masturbate with carnage! Ejaculate the carnage! Propose to the carnage! Enjoy pancakes with the carnage! Celebrate the carnage! Well, snapping that two-fight losing streak over here. Now going to 7-4-0 and oh, is Sasha Palatnikov. Very dominating win. As the, the beginning of the round wasn't really going his way. Oh, I guess not. This ref's like, oh, <laughs> where am I? It looks like he made a wrong turn somewhere. That's your big, big bow. <laughs> He Ladies like and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO, Sasha Palatnikov! Palatnikov! Come on, baby. Winner. You fight. Take us through that fight, man. That was crazy. You got head kicked, but you recovered. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm happy I won, but uh, full credit to my opponent. He uh, landed a couple of shots I didn't expect to see oh. and it cut me up, but I had to take him down, had to let him feel all that wrestling I've been working on and was able to get it done. Yes, we know you as a vicious striker and we've had some setbacks in the grappling department, but you showed you are improving on your grappling. How's your training been at, been at Syndicate with Coach Wood here? Has that made the difference? Is something you've been working on? Absolutely. Uh, you know, John Wood has been with me from the beginning of my career in the States. And of course, my management, Daniel Rubenstein, has been, you know, making sure I do everything I need to do to be ready here. Frank Hickman, shout out. He's been with me for the past eight months wrestling, and I think it showed today. This guy doesn't sound rough. Absolutely, it did show. You're in ex-MMA here. What do you want to see next in this ex-MMA cage for you? Another good challenge. Uh, just another good fight where I can put on a show for the fans. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to get back in there again and compete. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sasha Politnikov. Politnikov. It's Politnikov, Gilbert. He says Politnikov. It's Politnikov. Gilbert, whatever Gilbert says, we listen to. But yeah, the beginning of that first round was getting a little hairy for him. And then, boom, the whole momentum changed. Politnikov was just brutalizing this guy. Oh, my God. Those elbows... Even though he was protecting himself, it didn't matter, man. Those elbows were just drilling right through that guard. So one more fight on the undercard, and then we have a five-fight main card. So one more on the undercard. This man is John Sweeney. Well, actually, hold on a second. Coach, for us. Coach, have you XMA 4, 4, 4. Man, how do you feel? Obviously, we had a big win from Louis Jack as your fighter. That always makes the event easier and makes, makes, a, makes it easy to coach, yeah? I'm really happy for him. It was a great night. Excellent performance from a, you know, you fought a UFC vet out there. At this level, you know, you can't make no mistakes, so I'm really happy. And it's how do you Tom feel Holland. about XMA? I mean, they're putting on a huge, huge show, Black Magic, here from the Fillmore New Orleans during Final Four weekend. How do you feel about this event? I love the energy. Final Four is making it really uh, electric here. The XMA, I can't say anything but good things, man. They've treated us so well. I love the competition. I love the venue. I love everything they did. They treated us so well. But most of all, I also want to take a minute to give a shout out to Muay Thai Master. He's battling cancer. He's the guy who trained us all, Jamie. You know, he trained you and everybody. And everybody behind that camera also trained with Muay Thai Peter. He but I'm like telling, Tom uh, Muay Thai Master. But I'm telling people, Peter doesn't have cancer. The cancer's got Peter. You know Peter. You know he's going to kill that thing. 
Easy peasy. He's going to kill that thing. He's, yeah. He used to tell me when I was a kid, he was never born and he's never going to die. And I'm going to hold him to it. <laughs> That's amazing. So who you got quickly in the main event between Rivera and Dodson? I'm going to go with Dodson for sure. You know, yeah. he's, he's family Dodson. We trained together back in the day. I'm 100% team with Dodson. Thanks a lot, guys. Back to you, Eric. Thanks for us. So Faraz, uh, his YouTube channel is blowing up too as well. GSP's coach. Um, his, his guys were, you know, kind of full and flat, but it looks like they're turning back around again. Cole Smith versus John Sweeney. John Sweeney's another upstate karate guy, and I think if John Sweeney gets another win here, there's a good chance you could see this kid on the Contender Series, um, unless XMA can hold on to him. John Sweeney's got, he's a pretty interesting prospect, 26 years of age. His uh, opponent, Cole Smith, may look familiar because this is another UFC fighter competing. Now, in his UFC run, three fights in there, one win, and then two losses over here. Miles Johns and Hunter Azure. So here's Smith now trying to compete in front of the XMA, X, XMMA fans under the XMA lights. What do you say with this fight, Jess? I'm going to go with, let's see, because Cole Smith desperately needs this win. So... Can I see how Sweeney's... Can you go over Sweeney's last three wins real quick? Uh, decision, cage uh, combate. He fought in XMMA as well. We saw it with a ref stoppage. Ref stoppage! Dunk the stoppage! And then a submission strike uh, all right. got over there. All right, all right. And how were Smith's losses? Decisions? Uh, decisions. Oh, okay. Uh, but then Sweeney's got the age advantage. All right, I'm going to go Sweeney. I'm going to go Sweeney by KOTKO. Okay, there's Jesse's mystical prediction. Let's see what the chat oh, has to say here as we have a Zeus super chat. Glad I got to come back. Best card I've seen in a long time. Hey, let's Thanks go. Thanks for streaming this. Mace and Jess. Whoop, 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 you got to admit, the, this card has been pretty wonderful, wonderful, right? It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, heck yeah, man. This is an XMMA free card that they're throwing your way, and we've seen some interesting finishes. Uh, we've seen one decision that, you know, some people disagreed with. But still, uh, interesting decision over there. Uh, been a pretty good card. And we are not even in the uh, main card yet. We are still in the undercard. So, good stuff over here. XMA is killing it. Shout out to Head Rush over there. I saw Faraz rocking Head Rush. Maybe he's working with them as well. That's great news. If so. We got the New Orleans Chandeliers over here. If you're enjoying the stream... If you like watching free fights, make sure you hit the like button. Those likes help us tremendously. Keep smashing the like button. And if we can get more likes on this thing, it gives us the opportunity to do more of these streams. So very important. Showcase my skills in XMMA. Um, living and in, in training in Thailand was, was a unique experience because you wake up and train. You're, you're there twice a day. There's no excuses to be tired or, or hurt. I know he's pretty heavy handed. He's got some long arms. Um, I know he comes from a karate gym. Um, I just feel like I'm a little bit bigger than him and, and a little bit more experienced. You know, I fought really good guys, and uh, it should be a great fight. All right, here we go. Unfortunately, we can't play the music on the walkout because of copyright reasons, but we will show as he walks out for the first time in XMMA. Cole Smith. Eleven. Nine. All right, back. Cole Smith. There he goes. He, now he, it's funny. Upstate karate. He's like ah, striking, and that's what everyone thinks with Wonder Boy's gym. Then we saw one of the you know the, his teammates earn a submission. Perhaps Cole Smith should be worried about the submission because let me just say this: Sweeney does have a submission on his resume in that three fight win streak. Uh, three fights ago, he did catch a sub. So I hope that Cole Smith trained for everything, not just striking. Just, just saying. Uh, flying high like a kite in British Columbia. Shout out to two joints. This is Tropic Tom. Uh, welcome, everyone. If you're just jumping in, welcome to the stream. And thank you guys for watching as we have XMMA going on right now. Some people, this might be the first time witnessing XMMA. Let me know in the chat. Actually, I'm going to put a poll out there. Is this your first time watching X MMA. All righty. Okay. 
You know, he's got okay stand-up, and he has okay uh, ground game. But me, to be honest with you, I think I'm on a whole different level. I see myself um, finishing this fight in about 37 seconds. <laughs> Train my ass off all my life and for moments like this. And to show the world that I'm a true martial artist and I have true skills to pay the bills. Damn. My man's got swag. John Sweeney got some swag. I'll tell you what, Mrs. Sweeney, if you get a submission or a finish in this first round... We're gonna drag your ass on the show. We're fit, we're Instagram friends with you. We'll we will drag you on the show. But John Sweeney with a dramatic walkout over here, all fired up, getting ready to go. He's he predicts like thirty second finish. What do you think? I'm I'm gonna say yes. Wow. Confidence. Thirty second finish. The power of the Thompsons in his corner. There he is, Sweeney in great shape, flexing to the crowd. Moss, would you ever go on contender series? Of course. If they did like a YouTube contender series. Of course. You I would mean, do it? The, the problem is if I go in there, I mean, it's just like a guaranteed contract, you know? Yeah, you think so? Oh, you yeah. destroy everyone I mean, that you're fighting geez. up there? With this advanced age, I mean, yeah, so much experience. There he is, Sweeney bouncing around. Getting buttered up. Okay, it's going to be a scrap. This kid looks pretty fired up. I mean, he's fighting a guy that did compete in the UFC, you know? So, guy's been at the... The biggest of stages, but Sweeney looks like he is unfazed. The youngster getting ready to rock here tonight. Where is he from? Hollywood. Your is butt. His name? He's from my butt. <laughs> oh, we get a tell of tape on this one. What do we got, Jess? All right. 32 Smith, 26 Sweeney, 5 foot 10 Smith, 5 foot 7 Sweeney, 70 inch reach for Smith with a 2.5 inch reach advantage. It's 72 and a half inches for John Sweeney. Why don't they ever put the weight up here? I don't know. Oh, well, 136 is Sweeney, and 135 should be Cole Smith. Big Mo will say it. He's also three inches shorter, but he has a little bit longer reach. And now it's time to hear from Big Mo and get this thing started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your final bout on the undercard this evening. It is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the bantamweight division and is presented by bookmaker.eu. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 134.8 pounds. He holds a professional record of seven wins, two losses, and he fights out of Squamish, British Columbia, Canada. Introducing Cole, the Cole Train Smith. All right, Cole Smith. Smith. Seven, two, and his no. opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 134.8 pounds. He holds a professional record of nine wins, three losses, and he fights out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. Introducing Hollywood John Sweeney. All right, Sweeney versus Smith. You guys ready in the chat? Drop Uno's in the chat if you're ready to rock here. As we have the referee in the center. Looks like he he looks like a marijuana smoker. I would say, right? Wow, Mom. I don't know. Can you move this for a sec? Thank you. Uh, Sweeney versus Smith. Here we go. Round one has begun. And right off the bat, shooting for a takedown is Smith. Sweeney says, no, no, no. Checking on the kicks. S he's Smith is right, though. Sweeney is Jeez. looking a lot shorter. Smaller. Sweeney coming in with the left hand, trying to catch Smith on the way in. Smith saying very calm here. Man was fighting in the UFC, switching on the stances. Catches a leg, shoots him for a takedown again. Sweeney shoves him away again. Sweeney definitely looks like the quicker of the two. So it looks like Smith really wants to get this thing down to the ground, switching on the stances. Sweeney's like, nope, we're going to keep it up here. There's the right hand again by Sweeney. Who's the height on this thing? 5'7 to 5'11. <clears throat> Both guys colliding with those kicks. Kick to the body, Smith. And Sweeney coming and just missing with that hook. Looks like two different weight classes watching these guys. I feel like you've said that with every fight so far. Nope, first time. But um, I did com a comment on the the size difference in the uh, two, what, two fights ago. There's a nice right hand by Sweeney coming in. Oh, another right there following that left. So Sweeney finding a home for the fist. He's feeling it. So that 30-second prediction not coming through. But Sweeney definitely throwing with some meaning. Oh, the head kick grazing on the arm. 
and the face. Now shooting for a takedown here is Smith against the fence. Sweeney kind of huffing and puffing, staying calm, looking for an underhook. Let's see if Smith could land a takedown here. Leveling down to the single. Lifting up on the crotch, and Sweeney says no mas. Good job getting that underhook. Almost there. No, not quite. All right, so Sweeney wrapping around the waist. Has him against the fence. Sweeney showing that size. Knee to the body, knee upstairs. That One of the knees looked like it could have been low, but ref doesn't see anything bad there. He's got a better view than me. Sweeney showing some good balance here, but Smith still on top of him, trying to drag him down. I think there's nut shots. Yeah, so it yeah. looks like Sweeney... Yeah, so that's the second time. Sweeney's like, yo, man, separate us. He convinced the ref this time. And now Smith is... He's probably calling bullshit. All right. So Mankind separates the guys. Where's the Sako? Let's go. This, guy, this ref is like, what, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know Smith was like, he wouldn't back up. The ref kept trying to get him to back up. But he why did he, up. like, walk between them, then whimsically turn around and pull? I don't know. It was weird. Maybe he thought the camera was there. I don't know. Anyway, okay. So Sweeney's fine. Fix it on those shorts. Smith just throwing things out there. Oh, there we go. The three-piece combo by Sweeney. What happened to that 30-second knockout, Sweeney? I mean, he was lying to all of us. Sweeney's, he's definitely throwing heat there, though. Bouncing Smith off the cage. Nice leg kick. Viciously coming at that lead leg. Smith is unfazed. Looking a little slow here. Sweeney is looking to pounce on him, though. Look at this, man. He is staying on top of him. And Smith circling that cage. I like uh, Smith's got the simple jack haircut. It's pretty cool. Big fan of Tropic Thunder. Sweeney backs up after that kick coming to the body. Smith comes forward. Nice leg kick. Oh, boy. Both Whoa. guys landing beautifully. Sweeney was unfazed, though, huh? He got cracked. Sweeney's oh. going for that. He's, he really is just hunting down the knockout. Smith throwing those bitch slaps. Now coming forward. Trying to humiliate him with those backhands. Now looking to take him down here. He might get it. Smith is trying to tangle up. And, oh, almost. Not quite. Sweeney keeping the balance. How is Sweeney still up right now? Smith drilling left hands into his face. Smith is really trying to get this guy down. Almost. There it is. Smith relentless. Beauty. Now he's got Sweeney on the ground. On top. Sweeney trying to stay patient here with 50 seconds left in the first round as Smith is in control. Agent Smith trying. It looks like he's going to try to go for that back there. But Sweeney is aware of this and uses the cage to keep him in the position of safety. There we go. Back up to the feet. Knee to the body. Now Smith makes him pay with a combo. Sweeney just eats it and says, give me some more. There we go. Nice job getting back up to the feet. Sweeney avoid some carnage here. With 20 seconds left in his first round. Who's going to win? Whew. Nice right hand by Sweeney. This could go either way, really. People are standing up in the crowd. They're all fired up in New Orleans. Here comes Smith chasing him around the cage. Nice leg kick by Smith. Sweeney just eats that. Nods. And there's a nice kick to the body. I tell you what. I think Smith might have won that round. What I'm going to go. I'm going to go Sweeney. Sweeney? I mean, he. I would say the beginning of that round was Sweeney, but I don't know, man. Mm, that's close. It's very close. Another one that could go either way. Another one that could go. What do you guys say in the chat? Let me know up here. Let me know. Smith or Sweeney? Drop it unless you're distracted by the cheeks. That are, they're, they're, she's going to fart on me, Jess. You got to be careful. Mm -hmm. You have ever ring girl fart on you? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes. Yes. Yes, bitch! Yes! Let's see what's going da, on in this chat. Da, da, what's going on in this chat? Da, da, da. Smith 10 9, Cole 1 zip, Fat Brown, Snapper Sweeney, Snapper Sweeney, Sween 1 zip, Smith, Smith, ouch. Ouch. All right, so Sweeney did not collect his prediction, but still looking for a finish here. We are getting ready for the second round. Mankind says, get back to your corner, Mr. Smith. Smith is anxious, trying to get that edge. <laughs> So Excuse me. <laughs> nice punch to the body coming in by Sweeney. Sweeney coming in with that kick. Smith avoids that one nicely. So here we go. Man, who the hell got that first round? I, th I think Smith got it. I think. 
But if that's what you want, you want close rounds. Woo, here we go. Sweeney letting him go. Doesn't look like Sweeney's pop is really affecting Smith. I mean, he's landed him, though. Oh, there. I mean, like, look at that shot. Smith is just walking through him. Holy cow, we got a barn burner here. Smith coming forward. Sweeney letting him go. Whoa. A nasty cut underneath the eye of Sweeney. Did you see the shot that cut him open? Beauty flurries. Whew. That was fire right there. That's Damn, man. What an exchange. Mark. Yeah, Smith is showing no respect anymore. Look at that one-two by Sweeney. And somehow Smith just absorbs it. Sweeney's looking... Like he's huffing for air out there. And he's throwing everything into those punches. Smith is just, he's just unfazed. That's the one thing with hunting for the knockout only is you don't focus on any other part of your fight and then you gas yourself out looking for the knockout. Yeah, well, he wanted that 30 second KO and now here we are in the second and the fight's still going on. There's a nice kick to the body. If I'm Smith, I keep on doing that. Really start lowering the gas tank. So Smith just bounced it around looking very loose and there's that kick to the body again. I would keep on throwing him there. Just tire him out, you know? Then when you get a chance, shoot. Push him against the cage. Because, yeah, Smith, Sweeney's huffing a little bit here. Sweeney coming forward. The cut doesn't look like it's anything that's going to affect him in the fight. So Sweeney coming forward there. Smith is... Whew, there's the right hand. So Smith trying to engage. Sweeney looks like he's just kind of just staying patient. Oh, the little Michael Jackson there. Nice. Sweeney is controlling the center here. There we go. Nice right hand by Sweeney. Damn, that was a beauty. How is Smith? Doesn't he, he doesn't even have a scratch on his face. People in the crowd are standing. Another one landed. Well, regardless, it's a good fight. Sweeney switching on those stances. Smith is just mixing it up here. Here comes Sweeney, charging forward. There we go, peppering him to the face. And Smith is stumbling. Sweeney capitalizing on it. Smith down to the ground on his knees. Here we go, Sweeney looking for a finish. Smith driving right through it. So it looked, did he roll his ankle or something, or was it from a punch? I couldn't tell what, what bobbled on Smith. Smith recovered nicely there. But it does look like he has a little knot right on the side of his head, and his nose is busted now. The bridge. Here we go. Let him fly, boys. Oh, that knee was a beauty by Sweeney. There it comes Smith with a stiff jab to the face. Kick to the body. This is a good scrap over here. What a way to end the undercard. Both of these guys came to delight you with their skills. There's those kicks to the body. See how Sweeney's getting frustrated by that? I can't feel good constantly eating him over to the belly. Smith staying active here. Nice camera angle there, too. And the your back. Oof! Yo, that Sweeney right hand came in, leaping in. And Smith, the power's not phasing him at all. It's going to be very frustrated if you're Sweeney. I mean, here we go again. The right, the left hand. And Smith is just like, whatever. Still a minute. Nine left in the second round. Sweeney coming over top. He is throwing heat. It's a really good scrap here. Both guys doing some work. Sweeney backing up over there. Who do you give this round to? I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go of, Smith. I see. I, wow, we are reversed on everything. I kind of give this one to Sweeney. We'll see how this one ends. We got well, either way, we'd reversed. both be 1-1. One, one. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Well, that's usually how judging works, right? Oof, nice jab there by Sweeney again. I just want to see this knockout he was talking about. <laughs> I'm sure Sweeney wants that too. A beauty right at the end of the round. Collecting the leg Smith, but he's got to do something with it, and he doesn't. So that's in favor of Sweeney right I could do better than that, Sweeney. Oof. You know what, Smith might... This is a beautiful job by Smith. You know, controlling the end of the round. If the judges were teeter-tottering on who wins it, take him down again. Beauty. All right, I'm back in Smith's favor. It's going to be two zip in my opinion. Beauty, nice takedown there. That's just like that's like a veteran move. Even though Smith got more, uh, Sweeney's got more experience in pro fighting. Smith looks like more of the pro. He looks like more of the vet. Just fighting a little more intelligently. Okay, two in the books. Two in the books. I'm gonna go two zip. I was gonna say say Sweeney in that round. I think Smith stole it. What do you say? You're saying? Well, actually, you're two zip. 
Sweet. Wait, oh no, you're you're Smith Aaron, so you're one one. Yes. Yeah, you're one one, I'm two zero. One one going into the third. Okay. Let's see what we got. DLC round uh one one. Unanimous got it one one. We got almost six hundred people in here. Make sure you hit that like button button. We need four hundred and twenty. We're showing the fights for free. We're working with X MMA number four. We've done this for four events straight. And if you keep on hitting that like button, we'll do it for number five. Right. Smash the like button. That's how you guys can help us out tremendously. And share the stream. Tell your friends about it. Share it all over the interwebs. We could use all your support. We're going into a third round of a pretty fiery fight. Here we go. See some one ones. I see some two zips. Love it. Smith two zip. One one because I have uh, Sweeney first. Okay, here we go. Round three, the final round. Sweeney coming in hot with those fists again. I mean, he is really stepping into those punches. And boom. Oh, there we go. The defense by Sweeney. A nice roll out of it. And he gets up and starts swinging again. Say what you will, man. Both of these guys are very fun to watch. Good matchup here. The matchmaking for XMMA tonight has been fun. Unlike Eagle FC with the, <laughs> un, with the completely lopsided Russian matchmaking. Beautiful counter right hand by Sweeney. Now here comes the jabs peppering in. And here comes Smith with the retaliation. Whoa, a right hand. Smith paying for that takedown attempt and still driving through it. So Smith completely committing. Sweeney looking for the neck for leverage. But there's another takedown by Smith. That's a massive one. Damn, Smith is just too big for Sweeney. That's that's the uh, that's the story here. Exactly what Smith said. His size was going to benefit him. And here we go with the grappling on the mat against the fence. Sweeney in trouble. The three-fight win streak. He is trying to grind his way back up the fence. He is almost there, and there he is. Sweeney once again shows the heart. So no denying the heart of the kid, and he just presses him off. Sweeney comes in to swing again. A dramatic shoot by Smith. Just trying to stay on top of Sweeney. And here we go. Sweeney letting him go again. One of the judges has a baby face, Moss. Yeah? Baby face judge. Oof. Man, what a fight. It's just the, the, the punches by Sweeney don't have the sting that's affecting Smith. And Smith is just kind of walking through it. Look at them uppercuts over there. Bang. And there's a knee. Another knee. Oh, man. Smith. Is just working here. Beautiful underhooks, throwing him to the fence, just bullying Sweeney. There's that knee again. Oh, man, Sweeney is having a nightmare of a round here. Let's see if Sweeney could swing it around in his direction. He does swing Smith to the cage. Those underhooks, though, he needs to get him on his own. Just trying to use some strength to stay on the feet. Nice knee by Sweeney. And Sweeney now going for the grind approach, using the lower center of gravity. Damn, both guys looking exhausted now. They are shot. Two, three, five left in the third and final round. Let's see if Sweeney can do something here. I think Sweeney will land a takedown. Boy, oh boy, these guys looking exhausted. So upstate karate in the corner of Sweeney, former UFC fighter Smith. How many Sweeney Todd jokes do you think he gets on a daily? I mean... It's not, oh, that joke is as relevant as G.I. Jane. That was a beautiful takedown by Sweeney. Well, would you look at this? The momentum completely swaying in the other direction. Sweeney in control and trying to do some work. Man, oh, man, right back up to the feet is Smith. And back down, Sweeney again. Here we go. Whew, what a crazy fight. What a, is that James Kraus? Oh, shit, that is Kraus. So Krauss is in the corner of uh, Smith. I didn't even notice Krauss before. So Krauss, who's been a pretty decent coach, now has Smith in trouble. Damn, man. Smith is grounding himself, trying to get back up here. He does so for the time being, but Sweeney, man, if it's if it's scored, if the judge is scoring this thing the way Jesse scored it. Sweeney could have grinded out the win here. This is a crazy fight. As these guys are exhausted, but somehow Sweeney is just digging deep. You got to give credit to the kid for his heart. This man, it, there is no quitting him. And they have a stalemate here. And then going for the takedown again is Sweeney. Sweeney says, 
Screw you. I'm going to scoop up a double. Here we go. Oh, beauty. Nice job by Sweeney. And Smith gets beaten at his own game. It's not just karate. They clearly know what they're doing with the grappling as well. But the bigger man getting back up, bent over, exhausted, has a Sweeney draped over him. 33 seconds left. Will this go to a decision as Smith is trying to peel off a grinding Sweeney attack? What do you think Sweeney's whispering to him? Psst, sweet nothings. Psst, I got you. I got Sweeney you. Sweeney nothings. Now, the question is if he, I mean, did he win one of those first two rounds? I don't know. Sweeney won, Smith two. I don't know. Here we go. A very dominating finish by Sweeney. Congratulations to both guys for putting on a beautiful performance. Beautiful. We got a new subscriber over here with squiggly line name. Don't know how to say that, but thank you for hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys. Appreciate that. That was a very good scrap. Very good scrap. Paul saying 2-1 Sweeney. Uh, Tropic Tom one, hitting one, us with a $2 donation. These are good fights. Friends don't let friends watch WWE. <laughs> Share the link. Share the link, guys. Share the link. Oh, XMMA. XMMA number four live on this channel. If you'd like to watch some more fights, we need you to like the stream and share the link. Like away. We need 420. We're only at, almost at our goal. We got to hit 420 before this is all said and done. Let's 420 go. likes drop in the box. 420. 420. Uh, I'll donate $100 if you help check. me knit. Make sure okay. that the arithmetic knit. is correct. And once they do, you, we will have a winner announced here momentarily. Who won? But I'm a young kid, and I I needed that. So that was six so fights here in the prelims, and we have four finishes. I like that. He says, I'm a young kid, and I need that one. He needed that time, that cage time. I like that. I like it too, Moss. <laughs> this kid wants it, man. He's hungry. It looks like we have our decision. The judges' scorecards have been added up, so let's hear what Big Mo has to say. Is that the guy from Bro Bro Plata? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> after three full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for the official decision. Judge Gerhardt scores about 29 to 28, Smith. Judge Barahana scores it 29 28, Sweeney. And Judge Allen scores about 30 to 27, declaring your winner by split decision. Hollywood! Sean Sweet! One judge is clearly on crack. I'm not I'm upset with the Sweeney decision. Judge. But 3027? It's gotta be baby face judge. Hollywood <laughs> Sweeney, what a performance! Split decision! Did you you knew? Did you know you had enough to get it from the judges tonight? Yeah, I did. To be honest with you, I knew that guy Cole had a hell of a gas tank, and I seen a lot of his fights, watched a lot of film, and every single fight, man, I mean, he fought some dudes who, who game is the same as his, crazy gas tanks, and he made those guys tired. So that second round, he put the pressure on, turned it up. I got a big drop, big power. That third round, I knew he was a little nervous in my hands, Man, I wrestled since a kid, and I knew, hey, if this guy think he can wrestle, I'll show him some wrestling. So I did that for my dad, got him down, impressive. hold him down, and uh, that's what he wanted to see, so that's what I did. Very impressive, Josh. We just thought you were a karate practitioner, but you are a well-rounded mixed martial artist. Tell us what you want next here in the XMMA cage. Hey, I, I know a little something about the next one, but... I won't say too much, but these guys don't have no titles yet, and I know it's still early in the promotion, but hey, let's do, everybody would love to see me fight, so hey, let's do a vacant bantamweight title fight if they want, me for the fight whoever, for the 135 title. Uh, if not, I mean, I'm open for everything. All options my way. I'm, a, I'm staying ready, staying in the gym, and I just need another fight, baby. I got, I got a family to feed and people to take to the top of this mountain. 
Well, he said it all. Ladies and gentlemen, John Hollywood Sweeney. This guy's got vision. I like him. One more thing before I go. I love all my team. Coach Ray Thompson, like a second dad. I got my brother Brad, who's been teaching me the Jitsu game forever. Teammate and brother Weston. I got a whole lot of people who support me. I mean, everyone. Thank you, and I love you all. My fans, my haters, my soon-to-be fans. And, hey, New Orleans. Hey, I love y'all too, man. It's a hell of a city, and I'm ready to go have some fun, baby. There we go. I like this kid a lot, man. I'm gonna get him on the show. I'm gonna we we follow each other on Facebook on uh, Instagram, so let's uh let's work it up. What do you say? Should we get Sweeney on? Nah. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just like I'm, just I'm kidding. not impressed. I'm just kidding. You said thirty <laughs> seconds, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him about that. You said what's what up with that thirty, 30 seconds, seconds bro? Sweeney? Well he said he needed that cage time. There you go. But you know what? I I do like the fact that uh, upstate, upstate Karate, they got some wrestlers over there, too. This dude Smith was coming in saying, hey, you know, these guys are known to strike, this and that. And look what happened here. The guy dug deep and was able to out-wrestle him towards the end. Yes, sir. That's actually kind of shocking, you know, considering how that second round went down. So that's very impressive. I love when guys, like, they understand that they have to dig towards the very end. They have to, you know, dig into that, you know, hit that, I don't know. Like Izzy did with Kelvin Gastelum. Hit that you know? what? That, that, I don't know, that reserve tank. You know? When you're gassed out. You mean the backup generator? The backup generator. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you freaking out? Let's go. I thought that was pretty good. I don't know. Did you have caffeine today? Or no. Not? no. <laughs> show, show the people what you showed me. What? I just said, you mean the backup generator? <laughs> Check out Jesse's shirt. What kind of shirt you got Big on? Big right? Mo, baby! Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh man. So a decision on this. That's the final card for the undercard over here. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a little bit of a break. And what I'm thinking that we're gonna do is let's hit a, a commercial break on our end, okay? And then when we come back, we're gonna go into the main card. So we got a decision. Over here, this kid now three in a row, uh, four in a row for John Sweeney. The next fight, the first fight on the main card is Kyle Stewart versus uh, Zach Otow. Otow. Zach Otow. That may, name might sound familiar to some. Let me show you guys over here. Did we hit our goalie goals yet? Hold on a second. Before we go to break, we got to hit our goalie goals. Go go go! Wait, hold on. So there, this goals. is not the co-main event anymore. So they switched it around. Oh, Gooden versus uh, Millinder. Okay. Yeah, so they moved it around a little bit. All right, so Otal versus Stewart. This is the next fight that will be on the XMA card, the first of the main cards. So if you're just jumping in, you're here for the main course. You're here for the actual main card. You came in just in time. So hit the Fukin like button. Now, right now, before we go to a break, we need some help here. We need to get to 400 and 20 likes. Can we get it done before the next fight starts? If you hit the like button, drop a wonderful, wonderful in the chat. Jesse. Jesse. Can we do it? We can do it! Oh boy, it's nice and big on the screen. We can do it tonight, but we need your help. I am nervous, Jesse. Who hit the like button? All right, wonderful, wonderful in the chat. If you hit that like button, who do we got here, Jesse? Leo England, cleave it to Diener, Charles Williams, uh, Rocket Surgeon, Billy S, Sean Hart, and Ann. Uh, let's see, we got, oh, hold on, I missed, I missed a couple names. Guido and the Speedo, MMA Reality, Billy S over here, Tropic Tom, uh, Matthew Jones, EDEA5, Charles Williams, Dan Jones, that one girl, Ice Viking, Francis Marshall, D. Cook, Matthew Jones again. A lot of head movement in the chat right now. Did you hit the like button? Yes, you did. Thank you very much, chat room. Appreciate that. We need 420. 420 likes is what we're looking for. Completely free. It's a thing called the thumb. Hit it. 
All right, here we go. Let's see what we got going on here. Sam Dacus did a very good job of staying calm and composed out there and listening to his corner for uh, Faraz from TriStar. Who Does Gilbert Melendez have a lisp? I don't know, but he always seems nervous to Listen me. Listen to his coach, switch gears. To Maybe it's the microphone. Maybe it's, it's, it's peaking. Back from his loss in XMMA. It's been, it's been quite an event for just an undercard. Like, I'm... I'm worn out and out of breath. That was amazing. But I guess what? Uh, we have James Boom Boom Mancini who's back with another what? amazing interview. Boom Boom Mancini. He's hanging Mancini. out with John Wood. James, what's going on? Hey, guys. We're live from New Orleans. Come it on. is XMMA 4. We're here. The stars are here. The top coaches of MMA are here. And we have syndicate MMA's John Wood. John, how you feel, man? Uh, very good now. It's yeah, you feel good. I mean, look, like for us, you know, we, boom, the coach boom, are here, and you guys both got winners. I mean, Sasha had a great performance out there. Palatnikov just finished a guy with ground and pound. How was his fight? How do you feel as a coach? Uh, great, man. You know, he showed that he's, he's evolving as a MMA, you know, martial artist. Um, everybody thinks of him as a striker, but he's been working his ass off in the gym to make sure that his wrestling and his jiu-jitsu and all that stuff, you know, being a complete MMA artist, you know. So that's what we worked on, and he went out there and showed. Well, all right. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> we are hanging out here at X MMA four, and uh, we are James talking to John Wood there, coach over at Syndicate here in Las Vegas, and that's a gym that's doing a lot of things in this sport. But uh, Gilbert, like we said, some great action here in the first six fights of the night. Uh, Justin Mead and Andrew Garrett. What did you think about that fight? We saw Justin. He was a guy who had a quick submission his last fight, but it didn't work out for him this time. Yeah, Garrett is, definitely has power in those hands, and he showed it tonight. He also showed his composure on a huge stage like, like XMMA. And like I said, Meade was trying to go to the heel hooks, trying to attack the legs of Garrett. But Garrett did a great job of staying composed and landing some vicious shots. Place. And he ran with it. He went, and he grounded pound hard, and he did a phenomenal job. Now we saw Adley Edwards. A guy who felt really, really confident yesterday in the interviews. We talked to him after the weigh-ins. He took on Joshua Harvey, who missed weight by 11 pounds. Adley Edwards said he wanted to make him pay, and I would say uh, he did that. We check out the replay. I definitely say he made him pay, and he was very pumped up after this fight. He said, "I wanted to torture him more," but did a great job using his uh, his all-American status in wrestling to take his opponent down. His all-American status to ride his opponent and ultimately move into this arm triangle choke. He wore his opponent out, goes to the side, gets the finish. Oh, that's the first attempt there. Yeah. He bailed on it, stayed on top. Again, he rode him well. He grounded and pounded him. And here's the finish right here with the arm triangle where he moved off the mount. He kept his left shin in there so his opponent couldn't take off the pressure and did a great job. Again, not as a phenomenal wrestler, but he's training with UFC vet. Marcus Davis, yep. his striking is coming up. He's a well-rounded fighter. Look for him to have some really great success in XMMA. I can't wait to see, can't wait to see what's next for him. Yeah, definitely a lot of impressive guys. Our third fighter of the night, Tateki Matsuda, the Japanese fighter from Boston, taking on Louis Sanadakis of TriStar Gym. And this was a very cerebral fight. It was one-to-one -one going into the final round. And Louis Sanadakis changed gears at the behest of of his coach, Faraz Zahabi, got the takedown and controlled the entire time for the back. Yeah, Tateki did a really good job of moving laterally at first and, and having some really good blitzes with his strikes. Uh, but again, uh, Louis was landing some big kicks, big to the body, uh, spinning back kicks. And it was a very competitive fight, but he did listen to his corner and ultimately pushed his opponent to the cage, took him down, and had very good back control, was able to ride the back for, for five minutes. That takes a lot of conditioning to be able to do that to your opponent. He did that to his opponent, listened to his coach. He had a loss in his first ex MMA debut. Now he has the W. He said he had to play it safe to get the W. Now he's on track to winning. Great for him. Can't wait to see what's next as well. Yeah, really, really good fight. After that, we saw Weston Wilson and Tyreek Malvo. And Weston Wilson, another guy from the Carolina area, trains along with uh he trains along with John Sweeney, and we saw his karate stance as well. And his fight worked out very well, didn't it? And Wilson with some great karate stance here. Said he was going to manage the distance. Uh, Tariq didn't like what he saw, so he switched gears, became a forward fighter, shot a double leg, which is beautiful, but Wilson is no stranger to the game and countered the takedown with a beautiful guillotine choke, no arm in, finished his opponent, put him to sleep. Wilson, impressive, 2-0 and in ex-MMA. Great job by him and his team. And we talked about that no arm guillotine uh, that he, Weston Wilson got. And you know, one of the things with that was there was no sweat. It was early in the first round, and because of that, it 
makes one of those chokes in the first round like that, they're really locked in, aren't they? Yeah, of course. Your opponent's dry. It's a very good time to go for the submission. Uh, you got to be smart as an opponent who's not into jiu-jitsu as well to stay away from the submissions early on in the fight. Moving on for the on the card, Sasha Poletnikov, the UFC veteran, great striker, originally from Hong Kong, now living in Las Vegas. He took on Kyron Bowen. Kyron was a guy that we were kind of excited to see because he felt real confident. He was feeling himself as well. But Sasha Poletnikov took a couple of big shins to the forehead, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, Bowen with the beautiful punch that made Poletnikov slip into the kick, rocked up, but ended up getting the takedown while he was all foggy and was able to control Bowen on bottom and showed that his grappling has improved. Showed training with John Wood and Syndicate is helping him. And again, his signature vicious elbows from the top position gets the hook in, pins the opponent down, elbow after elbow. Bowen covers up. The ref seen enough, stops the fight. Beautiful, Sasha. Sasha Great performance. Sasha Plitnikov was a guy that we noticed, I noticed in shadow boxing, throwing a lot of lead uppercut elbows. He's really a guy who, who properly learned in Thailand. A lot of fighters could go from America to Thailand and they don't pick up the elbows. It's not something they really use in their fights. Sasha is an, is an example of the opposite of that. Yeah, he well, really likes to use those elbows. Well, what's really hard about elbows in training camp is you don't want to throw them to yeah. your training partners. You can cut them and hurt them. So yep. You really got to practice them on the pads, and you have to have the right training partners to work with, wear elbow pads, head gears. It's a very controlled training session when you're throwing elbows. So when someone does throw elbows the way he does in fights, you know he's practicing them. You know he respects the Thai culture, and he's doing certainly, the right thing. Certainly, and um, I'm sure his coaches in Thailand will be very proud to see how well he used those elbows. Moving on to one of the greatest fights on the undercard. Man, the one we just saw. Cole Smith and John Sweeney back and forth with the full distance. Amazing. Yeah, back and forth is right. This fight was very competitive, and it's great that Sweeney won this last round because it was 29-28, and two of the uh, two of the referees are judges' decisions here. Well, these bo both these gentlemen did a great job. Sweeney with the power, power in the hands. That's what really rocked Cole Smith. Cole Smith kept pushing forward. James Krause, the Allen, a push forward, push forward, but it was in that third round where Sweeney really showed his conditioning that he is a true professional fighter, that he can actually outwork the man who's known for conditioning. So he came in ready, showed amazing strike and amazing karate style, but also showed that he can switch gears, take his opponents down, and ride them, and ride them for the whole round, basically, is what he did. Well, at least the second half of that round, and a, a very spectacular uh, job by Sweeney. And what a backflip off the cage. Uh, yeah. I get upset when guys have so much energy after a fight with myself. Where do you get that energy from, John Sweeney? <laughs> Dang it. I'll tell you what. Uh, John Sweeney is, has uh, met every single challenge thus far in XMMA. All right, so if you're yeah, just sure. jumping in, we are watching XMMA number four. This is the MMA Holes broadcast tonight. We are closer to the 420 likes. We got these guys killing some time because the main card is probably going to start in about 12 minutes. So now is the time where we have a little fun with the chat. How's everyone doing out there? You guys watching these fights? What do you think so far? What do you want to see? What did you see? Let me know in the chat what you got. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time for the main card, I believe. Can't stand show-offs like that. Weed and whiskey should be mandatory like vaccines. And here we go. We got some interviews going on here. They call that the, you just finished the undercard. Under what undercard? That was right. an incredible fight. One of the best fights I've ever seen, actually. How does that feel to get a win like that, man? That was a crazy back and forth fight with Cole Smith, who we know he's a veteran. It feels honestly, man. It feels great. Like I couldn't. I wanted to finish him, wanted to take him out early, but sometimes God gives you what you need, not what you want. And that right there is what I needed. He's fought a lot of UFC guys, win in the UFC, split decision in the UFC, and a loss to a tough guy. But one thing that kid got is cardio, and a lot he separates himself from a lot of great guys with his cardio. And I, I showed that my cardio and my the dog in me prevailed tonight. The dog. Hey, Coach Thompson representing Simpsonville. How'd that feel to have a fighter, you know, a young guy like this, go out there and beat a veteran like that? It was amazing. Uh, we uh, Wonder we, Boy. Simpsonville's a little small town, <laughs> and uh, excuse me, my throat's kind of hoarse. Oh, yeah, you a little small town, and to have somebody like. Uh, John Michael here, Hollywood, this get out there and represent and put on an excellent <laughs> fight, uh, dog fight. Not only does he have skill, he's got heart, like as him. does Cole. Uh, so it was an it was an amazing yeah. fight. Uh, and coach, you're two and zero. You got Weston Wilson out there. How's that yeah, feel to have an event like a, the uh, interviewer? Yeah. 
You like Tom Holland? Yeah, he reminds me of Tom Holland. <laughs> Uh, they're having some uh, issues. Technical difficulties. Uh, damn, this is the second interview. Well, we're back. And uh, <laughs> I think James he's is so excited. He's just like, it's so right. much energy going on in the interview. I think he broke the camera, <laughs> broke the playback. <laughs> floating back there. Damn, he's right. Boo with that <laughs> eye contact, looking into the soul of everybody he's interviewing. Man, you could just see how much he loves this sport, how much he loves these fights, and how much he loves his job, right? He's a boy, boom, boom. He's pumped up back there. And just in case you guys don't know, He's let us know multiple times that we are in New Orleans at XMMA4, just in case we weren't sure. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> They're just tearing this dude up. <laughs> Watch out, so I actually like him. Like, I would totally yeah, bring him maybe, on maybe the team. Maybe that's a future matchup at 135. Let's get Boo back in here, man. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he looks like he's got the energy to do it. This dude's all coked up. I tell you what, this kid's on speed or something, but he's having a great time, so that's all that really matters, right? Amazing, amazing fights. We got five. All right, so they're just killing some time over here. That's actually pretty fun. Uh, Moss, I love this stream so far with uh, showing the fights. Can you do this more with XMMA? We do it every XMMA event, man. Well, no, here's the thing. We won't be doing it unless we get some likes. That is very important. We need likes and we need some shares. And yes, we will do it more, but we definitely need some help from you guys because the more traction we get with these shows, the more times we can show it here on the channel. So very, very important to hit those like buttons. Also just had a win in, uh, in the Bare Knuckle MMA organization that George Mosquitoff is doing down there in Florida. He knocked out he knocked out Crazy Horse. Oh, wow. Well, I don't want Stuart. He just... He called him by don't the name. Don't say the name, bro. You just said the forbidden name. You said name. The, you, he who shall not be named. You can't, you can't do that, bro. You cannot say... It's felony Charles Bennett, not the... Not the CH. You can't be saying that. We got a celebration here. We hit 425 likes. We hit another goal. Come on. No, it's in my bad arm. Why? Why? You can't hold it straight up in the air? It hurts. Oh, when you do that? Yeah, I got All right, let me come to the other side. Why? Because someone said I had a longer reach than you. I want to see. Well, this is my longer arm. You might. Shoulder to shoulder. You might have a longer reach. Almost. Well, we did reach. We did this. And your reach was what? I can't remember what it was. I can't remember either. We actually did like you reach. You have Connor's reach. Stream. Right? Yeah, I have, this, I have the same. Height and reach. No, I think I have Artem Lobov. I think I have short arms. I think that's what it is. Um, it really hurts to lift this arm above yeah, your head. It's, it's not the best. Really? No. Yeah, it's hurting today. I had three surgeries and I thought that was one. over though. I didn't know that was. Still nah, like... it's like if I put them both up, yeah. like this one hurts a little bit. Yeah. Where? I can't like put it straight up, and and this arm is actually. What does it feel like? A nerve? Like it feels like nerve pain? No, I get no because you're gonna think you have it if I say it. it's like. No, it. no, no. I don't. <laughs> I, my shoulders are. I've got loosey goosey shoulders. Nah, but my, my right arm is bad. I got a bad right arm. Three shoulder Weird. surgeries on that arm. Three shoulder surgeries and a broken collarbone on top of it. Yeah. This arm, his, this side is taking a beat. And bad. All right. Back to business. <laughs> 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 My brother has short arms. We call him T-Rex. I have a friend that we joke around. We say he can't reach his pockets. Who? Can I, can I guess and you tell me if I'm right? You'll know. You got to know who it is. All right, guess. Well, I have two in mind. We'll say it. Pigeon or Diaper John? Neither. 
What? Yeah, neither of them. Has we used to joke arms. around. We'd be like, <laughs> "Who of your friends has yeah, short arms?" Yeah, we used arms. to make a lot of jokes about it. We said he couldn't reach his pocket. He couldn't get his wallet out of his pocket. I can't. I can't. And he used to get upset about it. There's a friend of mine. I met I him. I, yeah, I don't know how you would know. He just got over cancer. He doesn't have short arms. <laughs> he does. No. He does. When he walks around, his arms, he's like, they, they tickle his belt. His fingers tickle his belt. No. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I've never noticed. That's funny. Yeah, it's true. Hey. Uh, I knew it's a n newer organization that's really showcasing uh, veterans of the sport, and I'm very privileged to be one of those here fighting on this card. If everything goes perfect tonight, I'm looking forward to a second round stoppage. My opponent has a really well-rounded skill set. He's a tough fighter. I know that he's a Marine veteran, but I think I'm just a better fighter no matter where the fight goes. And I'm very good at figuring out what tools my opponent's bringing me, and I just take those tools right out of his toolbox. He's bringing a toolbox to this fight. All right, here we go. Let's get ready, friends. We are back in action. The main card is starting a couple of minutes early. Like, ah, screw it. We got a Tropical Tom donation. One, one, what up, Tropic Tom? Moss has the same height and reach as Connor, but Moss's wife is smarter and hotter. Probably younger, too. Jess is a proper 12. Hey, oh. Let's go, Tropic Tom! Oh, my God. Dang, killing it. Tropic Tom. Okay, the next goal will be 700 likes. Now, it's going to be an ambitious goal, but we believe here on the MMA Holes that we can hit it. So if you haven't hit the like button, 700 is what we're looking for. The first contestant, Zach Otow versus Kyle Stewart. They look the same. These guys look exactly the same. They could be a long lost brothers, Mom. Which one's which? I'm uh, assuming this is Otow. What do you right? mean, which one's which? No, shit, for real. You can still tell the difference. I can't. The old white people look the same, Jeff. Well, Otow has a receding hairline, and uh, Stewart they, doesn't. They kind of both do. No, Otow has. This is Otow we're looking at, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, yeah. All these white also, people Otow look so has like a, like a bridged eyebrow. White line. gingers look alike, man. I don't know. I don't know what you, you want to say. You look just like them. You I guys know. could be triplets. I, like, I feel like there's three of us here. There's three of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh boy here anyway. we go otow is in the cage trotting around over there wipes the sweat from his brow i'm much happier to be back in xmma my last fight did not go my way i fought chris curtis who's gone on since being an xmma to do great things in the ufc i want to do to him what chris curtis did to me uh. beat him up tag him up make him wrestle He's a jiu-jitsu guy. He, 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 uh, the way all my fights go, this guys normally try to take me down. And when he finds out how hard I am to take down, he's going to have to shift his game plan. And if he's not ready to hand me on the feet, I think I put his lights out. Oh, boy. We got a U.S. Marine over here, Mr. Kyle Stewart. Semperfy. Guns up. Got smoked by Chris Curtis. Went to Cage Warriors, collected a win. And the CFFC... Lost a unanimous decision, but here he is with a mask on, Jesse. What do you think about this mask? It looks like uh, something uh, what's-his-face would wear from Slipknot. Yeah, he's pushing his fingers into his eyes. But I push my fingers The mask's a little low, though. Eyes. Should push it up a little bit so we can see. It's the we'll only it thing that slowly stops the end. Look at this, kissing the family. Wouldn't it be funny if those are strangers? Like, he just starts kissing strangers. It's COVID. <laughs> he just starts going up to a bunch of strangers. Give me a kiss. Just, just kiss me. Kiss me. I'm going to fight. Hey, why is that? Why is Good the fighter time. kissing me? It's, a, it's really weird. <laughs> so this is Kyle Stewart. Kyle Stewart trying to collect a W here against a Zach Otow. Super chat. MMA ref guru. Jews are great people. They sure are. Yes, Thank they you. are. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> that? Hoorah. Welcome to the MMA holes. <laughs> Does the Marine get it done, Jess? What do you think? Marines always get it done, Moss. I'm going with the Marine on this one. Gilbert, 20 and 7 is a record of Zach Otto, while 14 and 5 is the record of his opponent, Kyle Stewart. 35 Otto. years old versus 33. Zach Otto just an inch shorter at 5'11". Both at the middleweight limit. Kyle Stewart with a 4-inch reach advantage. Let's head set it in to Big Mo, the official Big Mo! Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to begin our main card of the evening live on the Fight Network. 
Our fighters are ready. Our referee and judges are ready. Are the fans ready for the main car? <laughs> no, I said the Fillmore. Are you ready? Ah, hit me, Bob. Our first hit me, Bob. fight on the main card tonight <laughs> is scheduled Bob. for three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division and is presented me, by Ladab. Let's meet the fighters. First. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185.6 pounds. He holds a professional record of 20 wins, 7 losses. And he fights out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Introducing Zach the Barbarian. Otto. Otto. I like Otow better, but. And his opponent Otto fighting good, out of the red corner. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 184.4 pounds. He holds a professional record of 14 wins, five losses, and he fights out of Mesa, Arizona, introducing Kyle Guns Up Stewart. Oh, Our referee in charge, Nick Sherlock. Okay, here we go. Let's go with the Marine on this one. You want to call this one? This one, feel, I feel corny. You want to call this one? Or yeah, you want let's me? do it. Well, I'll tell you what. I feel, uh, I feel some carnage in this fight. These guys look like they're going to kill. All right, here we go. Otto in the blue gloves. Stewart in the red. Stewart coming in with that left. Start off the round. Looks like he's going to immediately start pressuring Otto towards the outside. Nice kick inside the leg coming in by Stewart. Showing some pressure here. Otto staying calm, staying patient. Nice calf kick coming in here by Otto. I feel like this is a don't blink fight, Moss. Yeah, they had that 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 look, that feel. Going it's because they're gingers. Pages. Ginger. <laughs> the ginger Power knockout. The gingers. Four minutes and 23 seconds on the clock. A calf kick coming in here by Otto. Stewart showing a little pressure here. Comes in with a couple kicks. Blocked off by the forearm of Otto. Already a minute into the first round. Kick upstairs coming in by Stewart. Otto with the overhand right. Looks like that grazed the face of Stewart. Otto threatening that knee. Doesn't really come through with anything here. Eats a left by a, a Stewart. I don't know why I'm getting their names mixed up. Because they both are the same person, Jess. It's really quite bizarre. Kick upstairs coming in by Otto. Stewart blocks it off. Now Stewart delivers a kick. Blocked off by Otto. Ooh. Nice right coming in here by Stewart. Landing on the temple of Otto. Yeah, it was a blazing right hand. Stewart trying to come upstairs with a kick again. Overhand right by Otto. Misses. Thank you. Thank you. Optimistically Cynical has been a member for 11 months. My what, man says best financial. Yo, shout out to the members in the chat, baby. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. This is a middleweight bout. We're two minutes into the first round here, and it looks like Stewart's been keeping the pressure on Otto a little bit. I would say that the fight so far can go either way. Both guys looking good here. Otto coming in with that calf kick. Oof. Kick to the body by Stewart. Otto looks to catch it, but doesn't get anything from it. Stewart's still on his feet. Otto pressuring him to the outside. Stewart going for that kick to the body. Halfway through the first round, my friends. Jose Madrid says announcer dude looks like Max Hedrum. We actually said that when he came on our show the first time. That was a couple of events back. We made that joke to him. He had no Apple? idea who that was. No. Oh, Big Mo? Yeah, Big Mo. It's Max funny you Hedren. say that. All right, two minutes left of the first round. We got a kick coming to the leg here by Stewart. Nice kick upstairs by Stewart, blocked off by the arm of Otto. Professor Otto. Nice right coming in by Otto. Both guys meeting back in the center here. Spinning kick Ooh. upstairs coming in by Stewart. I couldn't tell what that landed. No. Otto kind of moved out of the way of that one. Oof. Nice head movement by Otto. Ducking under that right by Stewart. Stewart coming in with the left. 
I don't know. I think Stewart might be winning this round, Moss. Yeah. Calf I would kick agree again with that. by Stewart chopping at those legs. Stewart very much controlling. USMC. Calf kick again by Otto. Whoa, that's a club coming in. <laughs> My man came in like a Viking. Stewart coming upstairs with the kicks again. Otto unfazed, continues to move forward, trying to keep the pressure on Stewart. There was a nice kick there by Stewart with only a minute left of the first. Left by Stewart, another left as Otto tried to come in with that counter. Calf kick by Otto. I think Stewart might gas himself out here, Moss. Think so, huh? He's starting to huff a little bit. Oof. He's looking good here in the first round. But he is huffing. Or he's just fighting with his mouth open. Ginger's wow, nice jabs coming in by Otto. Chelsea. Yeah? Yeah, they need What's more Otto, Then why is Otto huffing like that? Because there's more of a purebred. Whoa! Whoa, nice left by Stewart lands on the temple, knocking over Otto. Like, Otto is like more like me of a ginger, you know? Where it's not, I'm not full blown. Like He's like blonde ginger. You're like brunette ginger. Yeah. A right coming into the body by Otto. This is live, guys. This is happening right now in New Orleans. 10 second warning on the clock here. Otto lifting that knee. Okay. Yeah, I would go. <laughs> Uh, in favor of Stewart. Yeah, I'm gonna go Stewart round. as well. Stewart one zip. Yeah, I would say Stewart got that one over there. He takes he takes a stool. Uh, let's see what the chat says. Who you got in the first round? Oh, Moss, I could have done better than that. Takes a stool. Uh, go Ginger Nuts says buys on weightlifting says New Orleans. Uh, let's see. You got wait. I could I missed what the comment was. Something about could make commentary deal something. Uh, yeah, scored and knocked down Stewart so far. Says Red Legs. Gavin says USMC one zip. I think the Game Marine won that. <laughs> says Brewster. Weightlifting says Ralph Mouth. Red Beard is Neanderthal Scottish. Says Duke Chronic. Bad Fuzz says Stewart has good kicks. 206 says what channel? This channel. Matt W says Stewart just needed a warm up. Now he finishes. You think so? Well, I'll hold you to that, Matt W. Okay, here we go. Second round, about to get started here. Let's see what Otto could do in this one, as the first one probably did not go his way. All right, round two has just begun. Whoa, spinning kick coming in by Stewart, landing on the head of Otto. Otto just eats it. Calf kick coming in by Stewart. A right by Otto, but it looks like it didn't really land on the body. I could expect a more aggressive auto in this round. Do you expect a more aggressive auto, Moss? I do, and if I don't get it, we riot. Immediately. Riot? Whoa, Stewart tried to go for the combination there, but that didn't really fare well for him. Ended up on the ground, but it looks all right now. I don't know. I don't know if I like this one, Moss. Oh, Whoa, nice jab. shot coming in by Stewart. And Otto takes a stumbling few steps back. Stewart threatening that right coming in. Kick inside the leg by Stewart. So Otto's got a three fight win streak in jeopardy here. Oof, there we go. Three minutes and 58 seconds on the clock. Whoa, kick to the head coming in by Stewart. Otto's Oof. on the ground. Stewart coming oh. in with clubbing blows to the head. Here Otto we go. covering up. Otto protecting the head as Stewart tries to come in with multiple shots. Now Otto oh, tries to lock the arm up. No luck. Stewart mounts him. Yeah. Coming in with hammer fists and lefts. Three minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. Stewart has plenty of time to work here. He heard you complaining, Jess. He was like... I complained? <laughs> said you weren't liking it. So Stewart's like, posh. shut up, post. Watch this. Damn, that was some flurry. I like the defense, though, by Otto. How he grabbed his leg there. He was about to get choked out. Defense. Beautiful defense. Stayed defense. alive a little bit longer. I don't know how much longer it's going to last here. Plenty of time for Stewart to get something done. Three minutes and nine seconds on the clock. Stewart wrapped around Otto here. Here we go. Otto turns over onto his knees, face down on the mat. 
Stewart holding on to the back like a backpack. Nice knee coming in to the thigh by Otto. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. A knee coming in again by Stewart. It looks like Stewart up. tagged him with that left, yeah. Halfway through the second round here, Otto's now trying to throw the right, trying to pick up his game after being mauled here in the beginning. Stewart coming in with a couple lefts. USMC for the win so far. Oof, man, the nice pace overhand is really right, up. undercut by Stewart. Stewart's looking good out there. Oof. Head kick coming in. Otto tries to block that off. Two minutes left. Stewart's just constantly on top of him. Yeah. Doesn't give him a chance to breathe. Otto's pretty resilient, though. I mean, with everything that's been thrown at him so far, he's still standing, still coming forward. A minute 43 seconds on the clock. Stewart trying to put some pressure on Otto a little bit. As Otto goes for that kick inside the leg, Stewart doesn't care, continues to move forward. He really wants to keep that pressure on Otto. He knows he can capitalize on a weak spot. Ooh, here's nice. the counter. Yeah, that was a beautiful head movement by Otto, too, ducking under that right. Minute 22 on the clock. And Stewart is backing towards the center. Otto might have the opportunity to put a little pressure on him here. Ooh. Whoa, a right knocks down Otto. And Stewart says, get back up. I, I want to play with you a little more. Wow, man. If I was Otto, I would have taken my time getting up there. I would have made the ref let, you know, like if I, because now he put himself in a bad position here. You know what I think it is? Oh. Yep. Stewart knows he can t clip him now. He comes in with those he shots, up. lands the hammer fist on Otto. Otto laying on the ground, eating oh. shot after shot, tries to wrap around the neck of Stewart. You know what? Stewart should have capitalized, though, on that knockout. He should have done it. The fact that Stewart was letting him up there, if I was Otto, I would just kind of chill and waited for the ref to stand me up. Well, I think I think regroup. Stewart knows. Because as soon as he got back up, Stewart got on him. Stewart you know? transitions into half guard. 22 seconds left on the clock. Oh, boy. Well, he might live to see another round. Stewart had opportunities, that's for sure. No doubt about that. Definitely a two-zip fight. All right. So this clock apparently is a little bit faster, I guess, than the actual their clock. Stewart ready for a, a third round here. Huffing and puffing. Getting ready to go. Okay. We're two in the books. Does Otto wake up, or is it going to be the, the uh, dominating Stewart performance? I'm going to say it's a dominating Stewart performance. Round three is going to go in favor of Stewart for sure. Herbal Wardeen is jonesing for some bows. Uh, how about those outfits? Way better than CES from last night. Yeah, that's what we were uh, talking about when we first saw the, the ring girls. That There's no pants on them. Jer Jeremiah's giving them a 10-8 in that round. I mean, uh, yeah, he caught a beating. There's no doubt. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah. All right, can't yeah, see? Yeah. All right, so we're in the main card, 562, smash the like button. Free fights on the MMA holes, thanks to XMMA number four going down right now. This is the third and final round. That man should be up to zip, unless there's someone crazy in the chat. I couldn't, I couldn't cur. All right, here we go. Round three, and inside the center are the two of them. Otto going for that kick to the body, blocked off by Stewart. Otto looking a little... We'll run down here, but ready for some action. Stewart coming in with that right, pressuring Otto towards the outside. Come on, boys. Oof. Whoa, Stewart with the overhand left. Landing on the temple of Otto. Otto still standing, surprisingly. Comes in with the kick to the body, pressures Stewart back a little bit. Stewart doesn't care, though. Looking to play. Goes for something spinning, Damn but man. I don't think he was able to follow through with what he wanted. He's kind of laughing it off here, talking inside the cage. A minute into the third and final round of this middleweight bout. A left coming in by Stewart as Otto comes in with that right. Calf kick by Stewart. Yeah, yo, Otto's gotta he's gotta wake up, man. He's gotta he's gotta put the pedal he to the no metal. He has no chance at this point. He's gotta do something here. He's down two zip. 
Stewart's looking to make him his bitch. Come on, Otto. Let's see. Let's see what you got, buddy. Otto trying to pressure Stewart on the outside. Stewart comes in with a push kick to the body. Oh, Left, here we go. Right, and then he Otto now turning it up on the body of Stewart. Stewart kind of nods it off, gives his respect. He felt that. Calf kick coming in by Otto. Kick inside the leg coming in by Stewart. Does the U.S. Marine get it done in this final round? Stewart moving along the cent the outside of the center. Oof. Otto trying to come in with a couple rights. Oh, All right by Stewart. Chat. Oh shit! What up, Jesse? How you doing? Great setup for live streams. Impressive. Thank Stuart you, Stewart is a better fighter. Yeah, I fake. mean, Stewart. It's a fake, Moss. You think it's fake? Yes. Three minutes on is the clock. Is that a fake? Auto thank you. Whoever that is, thank you. Stewart back towards the cage. Stewart just kind of holding on I, here. I tell you what, man. I Otto, told you it was going to gas. If Otto can... Oh, my God. Could you imagine he, he capitalizes here? Well, he's not going to get a finish in this round. That's for sure. How do you... Do you how do you know? There's two minutes and 40 Otto, seconds Otto left. I will not finish this fight. Okay. Jesse's confident here. I'm 1,000% I'm sure. <laughs> Ask me again. Ask me again. He says not, he's not fake, I Jess. don't believe you. <laughs> we want proof. Two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock, and Stewart turns this clinch around, pressuring Otto back against I think, the cage. In fairness, I think I've seen him. Uh, I think he's commented on our community section, I think. Well, I don't care. Uh, two minutes and ten <laughs> seconds on the clock. Otto's back against the cage. It's like a Jesse war here. Well, no, I don't wish Jesse him any on Jesse. ill will. You know, like best to him. But I mean, there's a, I, you know, <laughs> I'm focusing on a fight. You don't think it's him? Nah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Life's coming into the you just dropped ten dollars, Jesse. What the hell? It's man? a fake Jesse. Fake You're saying it's fake, fake Jesse. Fake ten dollars. So that's Jesse. Someone kind of get on the fire. counterfeit marker. <laughs> All right. Reveal yourself. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. All right, here we go. Stewart on his back. Otto got him to the ground. Good work by Otto, but I really I don't see. I hope Otto finishes him now to, to make you eat your words, Jesse. <laughs> I don't see much advantage coming in here, <laughs> simply because um, Otto's getting extremely tired. Stewart's tired too, though. I I, I gotta you know, Stewart is tired, but I think he's dominated those two rounds well enough, and he's worn Otto out well enough that he's not. We're not gonna see any finishes in this last minute of the round. What about? What about this? If they didn't do a 10 8 in the last round, what about a draw? Did Otto do enough? Absolutely in this round? not. Stuart, why are you kidding me? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that draw. I got to say. Oh, it's a draw. Hold on. It's a, a second, draw. Jess. Chill out. Jesus Otto, Christ. Entertain other opinions, for <laughs> God's sakes. I mean, you're just shutting the I, will, us all I down. will not entertain the draw you're, opinion. You're making fun I of think fake that's Jesse on fire. You make a, you're, you're, I blame fake Jesse on fire. <laughs> the, um, uh, what's it called? Because the judging's been all over the place. You got that one guy yeah, that's going three. Babyface judge. Babyface judge is going to be the reason that this fight gets lopsided. But in favor of Stewart so far, Otto's doing great in the end of the third. But not a ten-eight round. Yeah. But he is. He's dominating though. Yeah. He is. Yeah. A lot of control time. Yeah. Moss, you know they have chocolate Teddy Grahams. How about this fucking going for his leg over here? Yeah, I know Look it's at crazy. This shit. Yo, I don't. Oh, Ten they're rolling, warning. baby. They're rolling. It's not enough time. I was looking for it. He wants to crank the shit out of that leg. He just farted in Stewart's face. Okay. Hey, that was a good, that was a nice scramble at the end. That was fun. All right, round, fight over. Who won? Mm. Otto just a little bit uh, too late. Look at, oh, is Stewart going to yes. kiss him? Kiss my biceps, Moss. Kiss it. It looks like Stewart's going to plant a big, uh, big smooch on his plant face. Plant a big smooch on my bicep. Jess, are we doing two different shows tonight, or <laughs> give me one? You had caffeine. Mm -mm. Not a doubt in my mind. You had I, caffeine. I can't have caffeine. So what did you have? What did, did you have? Sugar or something? Like what happened? Apple juice. Apple. There is, must be the apples, the sugary apples. I don't the know. Apple juice. <laughs> Talk to me here. Yeah. This fight, the third and final round. Okay, we go two zip going into this third round. Yes. Otto wins the third. Is there any craziness? No. What do you think? Stewart one two one. Okay. No craziness, guys. Okay. All right. What do you say in the chat? Let me know what your thoughts are before we get into the uh, official decision.
All right, here we go. Uh, kiss for the win says Duke Chronic. Jesse on Pepsi tonight. Bleh. Nobody drinks oh, soda. Super chat. Uh, I think he has autoimmune disorder. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> No, yes. I was going to do the... Um... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very wonderful, much. Wonderful. All right. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. In the hands of Big Mo. <laughs> Come on, Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judge's scorecard for the official decision. Judge Allen scores a 29 to 28. Judge Barahona scores a 29 to 28. And Judge Godot scores a 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Kyle Guns up! Unanimous decision. Stewart. Hold on. There was another 3027. Who is that judge? Who is. How the fuck did Otto not win that third round? Is the guy. And Gilbert Melendez is going to catch up can with Kyle Can someone Stewart. help me out here? That's the third fight. Kyle, amazing they performance. They got it right, but what? Your first fight in X MMA was a loss. Totally redeemed yourself tonight. How are you feeling, and is this what you expected tonight? Yeah, hey, my first fight in XMMA was a loss. I fought Chris Curtis. I fought four opponents. That man fought in the <laughs> UFC eight times. I went 0-2 in the UFC, got cut. I should have been done a while ago. I'm a grunt, man. <laughs> I didn't come up wrestling in college and like the rest of these dudes. I'm a Marine Corps grunt. And I'm too stupid to quit, man. That's how I feel that it goes. That's all you need sometimes. I'm fighting killer after killer after killer, and I swear to God, the story doesn't end here. If y'all want to hear the story about the 33-year-old washed-up MMA fighter, cast aside, cast out in the purgatory, climbed out of hell, passed it, ripped, flipped the whole fight game on his fucking head. Stay tuned. The last chapter's just getting started. And the ending's going to be lit. <laughs> Kyle Stewart, beautiful <laughs> head kicks to drop your opponent. I know Straight I was, right, I overhand was, um, right. You dropped him three times in that second <laughs> round. Talk to us about that. Yeah, man. I, just, I You know, I talked to Rob, my corner right there. Sometimes, man, it's in your fucking head. I'm a bad motherfucker. When I show up with an A-plus mentality, I can fuck with anybody in the world, I promise you. If I show up my D-minus mentality, I'll lose to some fucking amateurs. If I'm right up here, ain't nobody fucking with me, I promise that. I got all the tools. Jared Cannon here's fighting Izzy. That's my boy, that's my number one training partner. Trust me when I tell you I know I'm at that fucking level. Well, Kyle, you're pumped up here in the XMMA cage. You have someone to call out? What do you have next here? I'll tell you what to call out. Arizona, XMMA. Sorry, he's from Bring me, you like my mouth right here on the mic right now? Bring me to Arizona in front of my home fucking crowd. Let's go! I will light that place on fire. I haven't fought at home since before the UFC. I miss that, man. I miss that energy. AZ. I miss my fucking fans. I got my family here. God, they pump me up. My stepmom, my dad. And I say stepmom. There's no, that's, that's my other mom. My stepmom, my dad, and my girlfriend. That pumps me up walking in here. I'm sorry. I'm too loud on the mic. I love you guys. I love New Orleans, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, mm. Kyle, the bad mother effer, Stewart. Oh, boy. Hey, he won me over. He's from Arizona, Jeff. He's from AZ. Actually trains a couple <laughs> exits away from us. Yeah. He's training with Jared, Jared Cannon here, so might have to get this guy. What's, his, uh, what's, his, what's Kyle Stewart's... Uh, what's Guns his, up, probably. What's his IG? Guns up. I'm going to go follow him now. Put your guns up. What do you guys think? Kyle Stewart, 30-27, I don't know about that, but the first two rounds, not a doubt in my mind, Stewart won. There's one judge that's clearly on crack. Uh, if you're jumping in, we are watching XMMA number four. Thanks to XMMA, we are allowed to stream this on our channel. It is a pleasure to do this. I know a lot of people don't know what XMMA is. This is only their fourth event, but we've had the pleasure of doing this for all four events. So working with XMMA, working with Fook and Head Rush, the best clothing brand in the world. Look, I just touched her butt. Whoops. That's my fault. Um, 20% off promo code MMAHOLES. Links in the description down below. But uh, let's get Kyle Stewart over here. Unless I follow him already, do I? I might. Who knows? Uh, I'm linked off with that call. Cleave it to Dean or Duke Chronic says, yeah. Mad Pickens says, good deal. MMA holes is my first is Delton. I would have gotten a cooler USMC tattoo on my back. Oh, and. <laughs> oh, and. Uh, he said the judge is clearly on crack. Aren't we all? Aren't we all on crack? You are, Jess. You are on crack. 
I'm making jokes, but I'm not mad at the guy for doing his thing, and I appreciate his service for our country. You fucking better, Brewster. Okay, we followed you him. You better Jess. fucking appreciate it. We got him, baby. We got him. We followed him. A Z. We gotta we gotta get more of that A Z swag going here. You know? <sighs> we gotta get that A we gotta get that A Z movement. All right. So what do you guys think so far? Out of ten, ten being the greatest card of all time, one being the worst. We still have plenty of fights to go on the main card. Doomsday is next, baby. Doomsday! John Howard, who was on the show not too long ago. This guy has some story. If you want to know an in-depth story on John Howard, Doomsday, PFL, uh, shit, man, uh, UFC, CES, XMMA, go check it back on our channel. Wonderful. I left my kid strapped to a baby changing table for two hours, but he's still black. He's still black. Some good, some good scores in the chat. I see some eights over there, 7.5, 9 out of 10. Wow, you guys are really digging XMMA. I got to say, man, like, it's tough for us because, you know, we're part of this. The last event was good, not as good as this one. This one's been way better. It's fun. This one's great, it's Moss. It's been two years. I'm, they're trying to put me on, so I train with the best, and I've been ready for a while. I'm younger. I'm stronger. I'm faster. So I'm just going to bring the fight everywhere. I know a lot about my opponent because he's a legend, obviously. I respect him a lot. I'm just excited to test myself against a guy like him. Okay, here he is, Curtis Millinder. Oh, not Millinder, excuse me, wrong black guy. <laughs> uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Anglusa. It wouldn't be an XMMA event unless we mixed up the fighters. Anglusa is fighting John Doomsday Howard. He's coming off a loss from Switzerland. My man is 5'10 versus the 5'7 Doomsday. Doomsday's always fighting guys that are... Seems like younger and, and bigger than him. And my man is walking out strong here, looking scary. So it's a welterweight fight. His last loss was in the Contender Series, which I don't even remember. Do you remember him in the Contender Series? Uh, I don't know. No, that, I don't. Is that Cheeto Vera in his corner? Is that Cheeto? This guy over here? I don't know. Probably not, but looks like him. And there's uh, Matt Sarah. Matt Sarah is actually doing the um, the Vaseline, but you didn't know he was there. What? That's Matt. That's Matty Meeples. Sometimes, Moss. Sometimes you deserve a nice flick in the head. Fishlock forty seven says better than Bellator. I agree with that. That I am a hundred percent on. This has been way better than Bellator. Here he is. He's in the cage. Angelusa. We're looking at his cabusa right now as he trots around the cage. You do you have a better cabusa than my cabusa is very nice. Anglusa. I have a very surprisingly nice cabusa. Can we see? One, I kind one, of one. went back to my old school way, like the way I used to train for. When the you US. don't have a dog in the race, watching really fights striker, turns into something fun and thing, entertaining. I'm, I'm well this fight card has been fun to watch. Seven tenths because of those hot ass Latinas showing their arrows con polo thighs. Going toe to toe and try to kill each other. So I'm excited. Sorry, John Howard. I apologize. This poor guy can't catch a break on our tat channel like the one donation that slips through <laughs> the last time we had doomsday on i hit him with this by accident gay lord it played at the end i was like ah i don't know what to say now we call him a gay lord then we have a donation coming in on his talking over here john doomsday is a legend and now here he is back in the xmma cage looking to bounce back on a two fight skid thank you kainoto he doesn't get any respect here at doomsday what's that you need you need something are you trying to stay awake or what's you're freaking me the fuck out? <laughs> like what is wrong with you? Why are you acting so weird? <laughs> it's like this weird switch flips when XMMA is on and she gets like like crazy eyes. Look at the, look at I'm, what I'm looking so at here. excited about XMMA. You get like you start to start like don't switching fuck and shit. With me. <laughs> I don't know, is it the big lights of XMMA? What is it? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's such an odd pull. All right. Doomsday. Well, who's going to win this thing? What do you say? Doomsday, of course. He hasn't won an XMMA yet. Yeah. This man knocked out Ray Cooper, for God's sakes, and Uriah Hall. One of the 
scariest strikers in the division, so we know he can hang with anybody and bang with anybody on the feet. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. 7-2 versus 29-18-1. 38 years old, 9 years the senior is John Howard. John Howard's 2 inches shorter. They both came in at welterweight. John Howard has a 2 inch shorter reach of 72 as opposed to 74. And let's hear from Big Mo in the cage for the final introductions. Okay. I think I should take Apple's place Howard on doing the Next bout on the card is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the XMMA welterweight division and is presented by bookmaker.eu. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170.6 pounds. He holds a professional record Big of kid. seven wins, two losses, and he fights out of La Chaux du Fond, Switzerland, introducing Ange, the last ninja, Lusa. Lusa. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 170.2 pounds. He holds a professional record of 29 wins, 18 losses, and he fights out of Boston, Massachusetts, introducing Sean Doomsday Howard, our referee in charge, Nick Sherlock. I tell you, Doomsday is a great guy. Super nice dude. We had a great interview with him, and uh, I'm a fan of Doomsday. I'd be lying if I wouldn't say I'm by and by a little biased in this fight. But Lusa looking young and hungry. They touch gloves. Both guys in tremendous shape. And here we go, round one, five on the clock. XMMA, the three round fight. Doomsday coming in with a late kick. We got Mankind back as the ref. Whoa, Lusa, nice left hand, then a foul by a right hand by Doomsday. Checking on the kick of Lusa. Lusa looking like he wants to pounce on him. Threatening to throw the jab out there. Has that right hand cocked back. There's that leg kick again. Lusa, another leg kick. Sneaky coming in there. Here comes Howard charging in. Shooting for the takedown. Bang, gets it. Lusa with the takedown early in the first round. This has happened so many times lately to Doomsday. My man's been getting taken down by some of these bigger guys. The one thing about Doomsday, though, he always finds himself up back on the feet. So let's see if he could pull a Harry Houdini right now. Doomsday stuck on the mat. Lusa with a quickie of a takedown. Looking to loosening up the left hand to the face. But Doomsday blocking it for the time being. So here we are in the first round. Lusa. On the ground, inside the butterfly of a John Howard. John looking very patiently to crawl up that cage. And Lusa drags him back down. Lusa showing some strength here on the ground. My man from Switzerland. Strong, strong fighter here. Doomsday's like, oh, damn. It's like one of those movies where it starts like this. You ask me how I got in this position. Let's start from the beginning. The freeze frame. <laughs> and then we go like... And then we like, go 40 like seconds ago. The, yeah. <laughs> Just 40 seconds back. So Lusa doing a great job holding him down here. He can't get much going, though, as Doomsday's kind of tying them up. There's a left hand slipping into the face of Doomsday. John Howard eats it. Howard coming from a rough background. How do you know streets. Lusa's not coming from a rough background, Moss? Because he's from Switzerland. In Switzerland, everyone lives great over there. Nice left hands coming in. Lusa dragging him to the face of Doomsday. Doomsday stuck on the mat some more. So Doomsday in a tough position here in the first round. Just slipping shots in. Looking to get back up. Lusa just holding him down. Using that size on the smaller Doomsday. So here we go. 2.30 left in the first round. And we are still planted on the mat. Lusa just... Keeping those lefts coming in. Doomsday trying to scramble from the bottom again. And Lusa says, nah, nah, stay, stay here. This is where I prefer you to be. Wow. Lusa's strong, man. Here we go. Some more lefts coming in. And John Howard now sits against the cage. Ah, let me take those hips away. Howard back to the fence. So what do you guys think so far? As Doomsday gets back up to the feet, finally. Finds his way back up. The pushing 40 gentleman up against the cage. Lusa holding him there. Just grinding on him with some knees to the body. More knees coming into the breadbasket of Doomsday. John Howard eating him here. 
And another knee coming in. Man, they, that cannot feel good. Lusa just drilling him to that midsection. John Howard eats him and then sprawls off. So Howard gets off the cage. And Lusa shaking his head back and forth. A right hand coming in by Doomsday. So we got the action reset back towards the center of the cage. Lusa with a nice leg kick. Beautiful right hand. And then Howard looking for a takedown. Driving to Lusa. Oh, boy. Nice knee by Lusa. Separates Howard. Lusa looking good in this first round. Smooth. Coming in with some more jabs. John not impressed. Just walking through. Blocking that head kick. There's a drilling right hand by Doomsday. So now under a minute left in the fight. No, first round. Excuse me. Lusa bouncing around over there. Howard. Has his right hand cocked back, ready to be unloaded. More jabs coming in by Lusa. I'm in. Go Doomsday. Fook him up, says Mr. Sober Carl. So is age a factor in this thing? Does the youngster's cardio hold up in this fight? Like what happens here as this thing unfolds? What are you guys predicting after this first round is getting close to a finish? Here comes Howard coming in with some body shots. And Lusa back to the center. Nice chop and kick to the chest. Rights and left hands coming in. Here we go. Lusa pushing to the... I mean, uh, Doomsday pushing to the fence. So here we go. Doomsday in control. Now, with Lusa, with most of that control time in the beginning of the round, was it enough to win this thing? I mean, it's kind of close, this fight. Nah, I'm going to go Doomsday. Really? Yeah. So you're gonna go you're gonna go John Howard the first round. I mean one zip. So so you, you mean yes, right? Wow, those are those are big rumps that what the whoa, watch Mom, out. Stop looking at their rumps. They keep you're making they, them she took me out. Jess, she almost took me out with the guys, you gotta give me a warning in the chat. She goes, oh, watch out, the thing, she's coming again, Jesse. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you could take this whole crowd out with that caboose. What do you say in the <laughs> chat? Howard's an MMA hole. Love to see Howard get the first. Very close round, in my opinion. I'm going to go Howard. One zip. Okay, Jesse goes Howard. I might go Lusa first round. But um, let's see what the chat says as the dumps are on fire tonight. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Big Booty owes what uh, up with it? What are you looking at? Chat. Oh, okay. Uh, the thicky thick baby got back. Nice. Look at those icky butts. Yuck. What's icky about them? Those are Gross. voluptuous, juicy booties. Jesse poop comes out of there. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. Uh, she all about that base arse. More cakes than Duncan Hines. <laughs> <laughs> Tropic Tom coming in. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you guys for the donations. Really appreciate it. Kevin Lee says he sees holes in the Swiss's cheese. Ah. Sees holes in the Swiss's cheese. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Here we go. Shooting for a takedown here is Lusa, and then there's Doomsday. Now Lusa in control against the fence. Battling for position here closely to the cage. Chopping left hands by Lusa. Followed by lefts by Doomsday. Lusa in control. Mr. Blue Raps holding on to Doomsday. It's been a lot of this, man. The latter end of John Howard's career. Oh, nice right on the break with Lusa. Damn, Lusa making him pay. He's like, I'll separate, but you got to eat my right hand. Here comes Howard with the right of his own. Whew. Here we go. Machine gun punches to the face of Howard. Howard just eats him. Comes forward. Unfazed is Doomsday. The veteran creeps in. Shooting him for a takedown, though, is Lusa. And lands it. Going for a guillotine is Howard. I don't think he's got anything with that. How and do you he know? Doesn't. That's how I know. <laughs> Lusa on top. Now in control on Doomsday. Back to the mat once again. Oh, boy, Howard. On top, half guard is Lusa. Oh, boy. Oh, Howie. Lusa doing a good job with control. That first round, I mean, you know, Lusa had the control in that one. Let's see if Lusa could get a little more active in this one. How, how would we give a good account of himself? He's been in the with the best of the UFC. Yeah, Howard could lose, like, two rounds and come in in the third and win. Like, Howard's always, he's a dog, man. He's always game. But he is getting a little older here. He is always undersized. Let's see if he can get out of this one. A little advice from the corner there. That's a that's a nice thing to have your corner right next to you while you're trying to do some work on the ground. So Howard eating an elbow from the top by Lusa. Three minutes left in his second round. Lusa in control again. Johnny Boy. 
Lusa winning this round with takedowns is T-Rex. So T-Rex saying Lusa winning this round, and I would concur here. At the moment, Lusa is in control, and he should be winning this round so far. Plenty of round left. Let's see if Howard can try to get back up here. He's on a knee, trying to work his way back to the fence, and Lusa's just collecting the legs. Lusa's saying, I'm just going to try the smothering approach here. Is Howard going to try to go for a Kimura? Let's see. All right. Use the arm for some leverage, and Lusa pays the makes him pay the price with some left hands. Oh, there they are, hitting on the face of Doomsday, and Doomsday gets back up. An incredible rise back to the feet for John Howard, and here we go. Let me bang, bro. Nice head kick there by Lusa. Howard comes forward. Body shots, and here comes the vet. Hits him on the chin a couple of times there. Little insurance punches. There's a lay kick checked by Howard. Another one checked. So Howard doing a good job checking them kicks. Coming forward, walking in there with the jab. The veteran moving in. Remember, Lusa didn't really do too much with that position. So if Howard finishes strong, we have another question mark of a, uh, a round. Here comes Howard creeping in slowly. And Lusa backs up after he throws that right hand. Lusa just trot in place here, showing he's got some energy. Nice leg kick by Howard. Did you hear that? What, what am I listening for? What? Oh, I know what it is. Never mind. Hmm? Never mind. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the text meant. I don't know what anything's going on. Oh, no. I'm texting. No, no, no. Ignore those. I'm like making notes to myself, but I'm just using, I'm texting you the notes to myself. So you're texting me what's going on in your brain. Kind of, but it's just for me to remember for later on. I thought she she likes to send me messages during oh, the stream. but it's not for you. It's so just, I was like, okay, what no, the fuck? No, yeah, is it's, that? Not, it's not okay. for you. It's just for me. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Uh, back to the action here. <laughs> 45 seconds left in the round. Nice right hand there by Lusa. Slipping into the face of Howard. I'm still going to have to give this round to Lusa. Although Howard is moving forward. Close one. We need some more to uh, to take into consideration here. Here we go. Howard shooting in there. Chasing him around. Howard's coming in. Howard missing. Lusa, a good footwork. Escapes the attack of Doomsday. Yeah, I'm going to give this round to, to Lusa. Both guys are just throwing those punches out there. Lusa wants to get that takedown again. Whoa, here comes Doomsday. Charging forward, trying to finish strong here. Underhook against the fence. And spun back around. Yeah, I, I got to go loose in this round. I would say. All right. So a huffing doomsday. Hands on the hips. What do you say, Jess? How are you scoring this thing? I'm going to go Lusa second round. Lusa second round. Okay. So 1-1. One, 1-1? One. One, one? That first round is a tough one. They must have found the biggest asses they could possibly found, Jesse. The apple bottom. Is that what it's called? The apple well, bottom? Well, you have to remember, though, they're standing with their backs arched. That's not it, Jesse. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They have abnormally large. <laughs> let's be serious here. Let's, let's, let's not, let's not <laughs> sugarcoat it. I mean, I mean, gee, I don't even know how they get in the cage. How do they fit in the cage with those asses? Do they, <laughs> what do they, you know, this, the, the Vaseline that they put on the face of the fighters, that they put on their asses so they could squeeze into the cage? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I mean Jesus Ah, oh, super chat MMA super ref guru chat. coming back in Rumor has it Jesse is loose in the shoulders Loosey goosey <laughs> She's like one of those Floppity <laughs> uh, What's it called Those things in the uh, the car wash That actually hurts a little bit Okay here we go more. What do you guys say is it 1-1 one, one? is it 2 zip What do you score it in the chat let me know as we're in the third round, nice right hand by Lusa. So I, I think Howard's got to really turn up here. He's got to fight like he's down in this thing. Two zip. And here we go. Some right hands coming in by Doomsday. In the clinch. Ooh, the elbow on the break. Lusa, beauty. Nice body shots by Lusa. Trying to loosen up Doomsday. Doomsday feeling it and coming forward with the body shot of his own. Here we go. We got a more interesting round here. They're going. One ones, two zip Howard. Two zip Howard, really. Interesting. Well, with this wild judge is one crazy rogue judge we'll see how this thing plays out if it goes to decision nice body shot again right hand Lusa so so far on the main card if it keeps going in this direction two for two with the decisions as the preliminaries were non-stop fire 
Although the first fight was pretty good. Some lefts coming in by Lusa. See how this one plays out. Here we go. Howard coming in. Beauty. Both guys landing here as Luce is drilling him to the body, partially blocked by Doomsday. Doomsday coming to the body again. Nice counter right hand by Lusa to the face of John Howard. Back towards the center. Here we go. Working on that jab some more as Lusa. Look at Luce on the feet. Trotting around, coming in with the leg kick. Guys, if you're just jumping in, the main event is John Dotson versus Francisco Rivera. If you're here to see that fight, we got a couple more to get there. So hang in there, hit the like button, and Lusa controlling against the cage once again. 320 left in the final round. Howard resting his head and just pressing down. He wants to get off that cage. Howard's like, oh boy. I just gotta rest up and squeeze my body off this thing, but Luce is just holding nice and tight. Man, oh man, Luce is trying to level change. Stop by Howard for the time being. Not looking good for Johnny Boy. Let's go, Howard, unleash the doom. Yes, let's go unleash the doom. John trying to get off that cage. Nice elbow. Oh, boy. Here we go. Both guys landing, and they separate. Here we go. Howard coming forward. Now backing up a little bit. Lusa coming in with that jab. Setting things up nicely. I hear the baby going crazy. What's she doing? Yeah, now? I should probably go down there. So with 222 left, Howard letting him go, but missing on a lot of those as the head movement working out well for Lusa. Lucy's got this interesting thing the way he moves his head around and looks on the side, kind of looking around. It's like a, it's like a twitch. Yeah, it's his, I guess it's his, a timing thing or something. I don't know. I mean, pretty decent game plan for Lucy. It's, it's working out so far for him. You could have some debates in the rounds, but at this stage of the game, I would say he's up. Here comes Howard coming in. Oof, there's that combo by Lusa again. Putting three to the face of Howard, followed by a kick. Lusa just mixing up. Here comes Doomsday coming forward now. Back towards that center. Lusa's just keeping him coming. Doomsday's been blocking a lot of those head kicks. Now 120 left. And this thing... It's looking like a decision, unless we see some late heroics. Whew, nice one by uh, Lusa, that beauty. Right hand. It's got an answer for everything. Lusa right. bouncing around, very light on his feet. Doomsday slowly coming forward and then walks into a combo. John Howard, it, his, his losing streak may go on here if it keeps going in this direction. As Howard lands some right hands within the clinch. Lusa pressing on him, throwing him to the fence here. Looking for a takedown. Oh, a beauty, a biggie. Lusa lands one straight to side control. And John Howard looks doomed right now. As there are only 34 seconds left in this thing. Looking very frustrated is Howard. And another takedown by Lusa. This could be the solidifying takedown of the fight. As Lusa hasn't really done anything with him. He is controlling. 14 seconds left. Trying to hit Howard on the way up. But Lusa just draped over him. And that looks like it's going to be it here. Okay. So Lusa doing some good work. Controlling on Doomsday. Nice respect by both boys. I think it's obvious who won that fight. There'll definitely be a 30-27 by one of the judges. But what do you say in the chat? What do you think? Uh, let's see. Howard needed that takedown. 3-0 sweep. A fight like a pussy, though. 3-0 <laughs> Lusa. What a Lusa. Uh, Howard 30-27. Usman style worked. 3-0 Lusa. Shout out to the new people subscribing to the channel. Appreciate that. If you could hit that like button, that would help, too. Smash the like button as we are watching XMMA 4 on the MMA Holes. Lucy unanimous. Yeah, I think all three judges should agree on this one. <laughs> Imagine we if we see a split decision or a 30-27 Howard, then I don't know what to do anymore. 
I quit. Out of that right hand of the body quite a bit, but he just wasn't able to get his game going, and that's credit to his opponent. And also two really strong, you know, well-built welterweights. These guys are, are as powerful as it gets in the welterweight division. And uh, really evenly matched up physically. Ons just moved a little bit more and kept the uh, energy going and fought smarter. And let's throw it in the ring for Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for the official decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. Anj, the last ninja, Lusa. Very nice. That one judge is like, finally, they all see it my way. You just defeated an MMA legend right now. Is this the biggest win of career, and how happy are you? Absolutely. That's the biggest win of my career. I'm glad I was able to test my skills against a legend like John Howard, so I'm really happy about my performance. John Howard is known for being a complete mixed martial artist, but deadly on his feet. Was going for the takedown immediately part of your game plan, and is that what helped your striking excel even more? Well, I know you know I'm a striker, but I can wrestle too. We got G. Jones here, my wrestling coach, so we wrestle, we wrestle in Central, we're ready for everything. Excellent, you're here in the XMMA now. You just beat a legend, like we said. What is next for you, and who do you want to fight here in the XMMA? You know, like I said, I train at Sanford MMA. We train with killers, the best of the world. I'm ready for anyone. I just prove I'm ready for everyone tonight against a legend like John Howard. So I'm ready to compete. I'm He's ready, ready. To, to the biggest stage. I don't know. We'll see what's next. Ladies and gentlemen, Ange Luza. One more thing. I want to take you. I want to say a big shout out to Kirkliff Takedown, Send for MMA, Victor Leaf, Chef Sean Kitchen. Thank you for everything. Thank you for what we did for me. Shout out to my Send for MMA family. We made it. Let's go. Hey, there Give you go. Give it up for him, everybody. Great performance. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get into the final three fights on the card, we're going to take a quick break. Make sure you hit that Fukin like button, and we will be right back to take you home. I don't know what that meant. Take you home, take home stretch, something like that. I don't know. We'll be right back.
Let's be honest, when it comes to underwear, there's nothing more important than comfort. Why empty your pockets for generic underwear that loses comfort, quality, and style when you can slip into a pair of sheath and get even more out of your daily wear? With sheath underwear, you can treat your jewels like royalty as they are given their own private sanctum, keeping them secure and you in a state of bliss. Get 20% off sheath now using promo code MMAHOLES, that's M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S with the link in the description below. And for the ladies? Absolutely. Really sheep isn't just for men. Ladies my level can now growth. experience sheep I think it's going to come down to a really good technical battle that's going to get a little bit messy too. Uh, I'm pretty gritty, pretty tough, and you know, pretty long and lean. So I think I'm just going to have some natural advantages that I can use to my benefit for the W. All right, here we go. Here we go. And by the way, shout so to Sheath Underwear. Out is done up. Shout out to Sheath Underwear. Thank you. Shout out to Head Rush, MyBookie.ag, Undisputed Belts. Thank you guys for being our sponsors. Let's go into the next fight over here. As we are cruising, man. All right, so this should be Minus versus Boshniak. This is a good fight. Here we go. Carlton Minus is the first person coming out over here. Trotting through. Minus 11-3-0 who is a former UFC fighter. When he was there, uh, his last two fights were losses, Matt S S uh, Semmelsberger and Christos Jagos. His last fight was a win, though. He did bounce back at ace, and he collected himself a knockout over Skyler Schlazer. So here he is. Here he is. The man, the legend, Carl Carlton Clutch Minus. They're going to grease his eyes. Can't. Can't play that because of the music, unfortunately. Uh, if that guy was a legend, what is Dotson? A god. Um, Doomsday, yeah, but you have to understand this. When guys are veterans fighting in multiple promotions, um, like John Howard, when I mean, he did knock out Ray Cooper. You know how good Ray Cooper is. Uriah Hall, the uh, almost ultimate fighter winner. You know, he has some... Uh, Pretty nice highlights in his career. Anywhere the fight goes, against the fence, on the ground, striking. Um, he's a one-trick pony. He likes to jab cross. Um, he's got long legs. I'm going to eat it up. I'm going to take the fight to the mat and uh, bring him to deep waters. The longer it goes, the hungrier I get. The fire continues to build. And, I mean, I'm always looking to rock you, knock you out, submit you. But as the fight gets longer, I get stronger. So Bochniak, another former UFC fighter, on a two-fight win streak, crash has his uh, unanimous decision in both the Kyle Uruguay fight and Marcus Brimage. So now looking to get another one here. He says two fights ago, he was like, I want to get back into the UFC. And now he's like an XMA veteran. So let's go. Uh, Hall is out of his fight, by the way. What? No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is number one bullshit. That's what Cyborg thinks about that. Johnny Dotson and over the hill never has been. Well, he's been a ultimate fighting champion. I mean, it's not Bochniak versus uh, Dotson, no. Carlton Minus. Okay. All right, here we go. We're getting ready for Kyle Bochniak to get in there. All right, so if you're just jumping in, we're the MMA Holes doing a live stream. Free fights on a Saturday. No UFC tonight. But we have the benefit of having XMMA allow us to actually show the fights. Here we go, tail of the tape. He likes to break people down slowly. Let's look at the tail of the tape. 11 to 3 is a record of minus 10 to 5, Kyle Bokniak. Bokniak, seven years older and two inches shorter. They both came in at the featherweight limit. Bokniak is four inch shorter of a reach. And now it's time for Big Mo with our official introductions. Let's go, Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, moving right along towards our main event. This next bout on the card is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the XMMA featherweight division and is presented by America's Card Room. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145.2 pounds. He holds a professional record of 11 wins, three losses, and he fights out of Austin, Texas. Introducing Carlton Clutch Minor. Yeah, man. Clutch? 
Clutch, baby. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 144.6 pounds. He holds a professional record of 10 wins, five losses, and he fights out of Boston, Massachusetts. Introducing Kyle Crash Buckniak. Yeah. Our referee in Let's charge, go. Myron Godet. All right, Jess, give it to us. Hard and strong here. Bochniak versus Minus. Here we go. All right, Bochniak in the red gloves, Minus in the blue. Bochniak starting off with some pressure, Minus with a nice left landing on the face and then a right. It looks like he was trying to slip through the hands there. A left coming in again by Minus as Bochniak kind of circles around. Minus holds his ground. Steps forward on Boshniak as Boshniak comes in with that kick. Minus going for the left and misses. Someone say he looks like a mini Darren Till. Boshniak's been in the UFC. Uh, he was actually fairly decent. He was always in good fights. Nice one, two coming in by Boshniak. He's like, watch out for that right hand. Minus respects it. Steps away with already almost a minute into the first round. Nice kick to the leg coming in here by Boshniak. Minus lands that left. Yeah, he did fight to beat in Brooklyn. That fight was nuts. A right coming in here by Minus. A left by Minus. Looks like Boshniak's really trying to play inside the pocket here. Eats another couple of lefts coming in by Minus Ooh. and then throws a 1-2. This is a featherweight bout between the two. Kafka coming in by Minus as Boshniak lands a couple shots on the face. Boshniak really showing some pressure here. Not afraid to step forward on Minus. Not afraid to take some shots. Kind of Justin Gaethje style. He kind of like just dives in there. And throws what he can. Nice kick to the body coming in by Minus. Boshniak doesn't care. Brushes it off. Moves forward. Keeping the pressure as Minus circles the center. Here he comes. Couple lefts and then a right coming in by Boshniak. Oof, minus nice right. slips between the hands. Lands beautiful shots on the face of Boshniak. Yeah, minus looking all right. Minus staying quick out there. That reach is becoming a problem for Bochniak. Three minutes Ooh, and six seconds on the clock. A left and then a right coming in by Bochniak. Nice Beautiful left. Beautiful combination. A left coming in here by Minus. And then another left. Bochniak really eating some shots here. Stepping right into them. Comes in with some body shots. Calf kick by Bochniak. Here we go. Left's and the right's yeah, coming yeah. in by Minus. Landing on the body. Minus circles the center. Another shot coming in here by Minus. This one's way better than the last fight. Both guys trading equally now. Halfway through the first round. Oshniak is the one keeping Whoa. the pressure with a nice spinning back fist, but Minus is landing some, some good shots. As far as aggression is concerned and control of the cage, I would give it to Boshniak. But do not discount Minus's... Yeah, minus is landed. Yeah, Minus's strikes. Left and then right's coming in here by Minus. Boshniak steps forward. Two minutes left of the first round. Boshniak charges forward with a combination, trying to pressure Minus back towards that cage. Here we go. Boshniak throws a kick. Minus catches it and, and tosses him on the ground. Boshniak gets right back up, tries to throw that calf kick. Minus ready to swing. It is Left funny. Left coming in by Minus. Trent says every single fight tonight, definitely different weight classes. It is funny because each fight, they're not really comparable in size. It seems like almost every fight, there is a massive size difference. It doesn't really mean anything, but... It is funny how that wor is working out. Here we go. Boshniak ducking in, trying to drop that shot to the body. Now a combination... And then Minus throws that barrage counter. Kafka coming in by Boshniak. Minus comes in with multiple shots to the head. Whoa, nice one-two coming in by Minus as Boshniak delivers another calf kick. 58 seconds on the clock. Minus doing some good work here. Upstairs, Damn. but Boshniak is really chopping at those legs. Ah, oh, super chat. The ref guru. Can Jess maintain distance and outstrike Van Zandt? Absolutely. 
100%. 40 seconds left on the clock. Looks like Boshnak was going to try and go for a single leg there, but no luck as Minus was stepping back, so they just trade shots upstairs. Calf kick coming in here by Boshnak. Kick to the body. Minus with a beautiful overhand right. Landing on the temple there. Oof. Nice uppercut coming in by Minus, too. Minus is striking as... Superb, man. He really knows how to slip between those hands. Even when Boshniak oh. is moving. Here we go. Boshniak coming in with that right, landing on the temple. Minus felt that oh, one, but man. still moving forward. Boshniak with a calf kick. Nice combinations coming in here. Kick to the body coming in by Minus, and that that's a, the end of the first round. That was a good first round. I'm going to give it to Boshniak. That was a good first round. That was good, man. What do you guys think in the chat? By the way, we hit 60,100 subscribers. We unleash the dragons. So 60,100. If you're not subscribed to the channel, we'd love to have you join the community. Here's some cabooses for you. And who Caboose. do you have? Boshniak or a minus? Pretty good fight. Boshniak. Boshniak. Well, I tell you what, it's close. I might give a slight edge to Boshniak, but uh, minus had some pretty good moments out there. Very good round, though. Yeah, minus is striking. Looks amazing. Yes, dragons. We have grown this channel on raising dragons and every time we hit a subscriber goal dragons fly across the stream uh screen and the stream and uh um, and your face you're delighted you're delighted by dragons it's the only mma channel with dragons been doing it five years strong we raise them we breed them and then we let them fly in front of your face <laughs> all right here we go getting ready to start the uh second round over here So a couple of minuses. It looks like a lot of minuses, actually. The dragons are going to fly out of the rain girl's ass. <laughs> Just going to soar out of their ass. All right, 15 seconds into the first round. Minus going in with that left. A one two coming in by minus. Mean Bochniak. By minus. Minus? Yes. Oh, I looked up, I saw Bochniak throw. But hey, who, what am I watching, right? Head kick by Bochniak. Minus tried to throw that left, and then a calf kick by Bochniak. A little stuttering on their stream. Bummer. Here we go. Bochniak shooting for that single. And Minus with a good defense, keeping himself on his feet. Oh. Whoa, spinning elbow landing on the face of, of Minus. Whew, he never stops, man. Boshniak just constantly keeps coming forward. This is what he's always been doing. Nice kick. Whoa, both of them trading some shots here, landing on the face of one another. I want to see a knockout, though. With as good as these guys are striking, we got to see something here. Don't worry. We're going to see one soon, Jess. I don't know if it's going to be this fight, but we're going to see one soon. A minute and a half into the second round. Two shots Oof. and then a right coming in by Minus. Landing every single one on the face. Boshniak trying to deliver that beautiful overhand left. A right coming in by Boshniak. Nice oh. calf kick by Minus and then a right Boshniak with a right. Landing on the temple. Minus felt that one. <sighs> He's a tough son of a bitch, Boshniak, man. Oh, my God. He can get cracked. That Boshniak is starting to huff for air a little bit, though. Yeah, I don't mean shit. Woof. Boshniak, is, he's turning up. This is where he shines, man. What's weird is he's letting his guard down quite a bit. Yeah, he don't Getting care. Getting a little, little too confident out there. That one leg, though, that leg kick that came in. See that in, breathing? You see that? That doesn't mean shit. Yeah, if you watch I don't a, know. If you watch a Boshniak fight, he's always like that. Halfway through the second. This guy's relentless. A left and then a calf kick coming Beautiful. in by Boshniak. Another left, rights. Whew, minus trying finishes. to deliver some counters, but yeah, minus is getting a little rocked. I love how he's finishing those combinations, with those kicks. I think Boshniak is gassing a little. He's starting to slow down with the strikes. You got to remember the guy's throwing all his volume over here. I mean, yeah, we, he's, he's not yeah, gonna... but it could be his worst enemy. Nah, this is Boshniak, man. Come on. Oh, Moss, I wish I had your level of confidence in fighters. Well, I mean, I've watched them fight multiple times. Yeah, seen the same story every time. He as the fight progresses, he becomes more of a savage. It's kind of wild. Nice left coming in here by minus. 
Boshniak trying to step forward, coming in with that calf kick. Another left by Minus. Minus Ooh. delivering some good shots here. Minus is, you know, his chin's holding up nicely, though. Body Ooh. shot by Boshniak, and then he comes in with some shots upstairs. Body kick by Boshniak. Oof, Minus just eating some. <laughs> Someone said Minus is the sinus. <laughs> what does that even mean? Why is that funny? You don't even know what it means. <laughs> minus is the sinus? <laughs> you don't say. Right. Biozone. Bison, excuse me, Bison 187. Tell me more. Why is he the sinus? Because it rhymes? A minute 25 left on the clock. Oh. Right and then a left coming in by Minus. Boshniak delivers a left. Boshniak with another left. Calf kick by Boshniak. Head movement by Minus as he ducks under the left. Now Boshniak lands a one two. These guys are just trading. You can't keep up with it. Ooh, Boshniak here we go. giving Minus some breakfast, lunch, and dinner over here. He looks exhausted. Kick to the body coming in by Minus. <laughs> and Boshniak uh, delivering some kicks of his own. 56 seconds left of the second round. Crazy, Boshniak huh? pressuring Minus towards Oof. the outside. Kick upstairs coming in by Boshniak. It's that volume, man. Beautiful knee coming in by Boshniak, too. That pressure oh, up on the chest. And here we go. That was a beauty, Did that Minus, uppercut. Minus held his mouth. Did he lose a tooth? That freaking mouthpiece almost flew out of his face. Yeah, he, he held his mouth out after that <sighs> one. Yo, that uppercut. I'm telling you, that shin by Minus is it's something else, But man. he felt it. That doesn't mean he didn't feel it. All right, coming Damn. in by Bo Oh, and then a knee to the face by Boshniak. You know that one did some damage. This scrap has, has not stopped. It's been just nonstop action. A left coming in by Minus. That was a nice jab by Minus, but <laughs> Boshniak just walking through this stuff. Calf kick by Boshniak, still pressuring forward on Minus, threatening that knee, coming in with some more shots. Minus delivering the counters, though. Don't, don't, uh, what a don't round. sleep on Minus. Yeah, that round was fire, man. That round, they never stopped. They didn't stop at all. That uppercut that came in, I mean, <laughs> Minus was like, whoa, Sweet. bless you. That really got his attention there. But credit to Minus, just, you know, consistently keeping the fight going. Yeah, I'm going to go Boshniak 2-zip, though. I'm gonna, I'm, show me that uppercut again. Let's go. Let's see that thing. Where is it? Where is it at? Give it to me. How's that blocked head kick? That's not the one I wanted to see. I think they're just showing a random thing here. They, they don't even give a shit. They're just like, here, just watch this. This happened. Give me it. Okay. That's he gonna give me? Give it to me. Here Come it on. is. Give me the. Oh, oh wait. What it was the right. Fuck? Yeah, that happened right after the uppercut. Ah, dude, you didn't even show it landed. They show it after. Like, how right. dare you? Third All round right. about to begin over here. Yeah, we're gonna see more of that in this round. It's gonna be literally copy and paste. If you're minus now, what do you do here? You just keep on. He's got to get a finish. Or like, what do you, like what the hell are you do? I don't know. How's minus's groundwork? Do you see. know? No, I don't. No, these guys got to stand and bang me. Yeah, there's a reason he's not taking him to the ground. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Boshniak looks like he stumbled back a little bit after a couple shots by Minus. Whew, yo. <laughs> Stunned them. Still standing in the center oh of both of them God. trading. Both these guys, tough dudes, man. Eating what the other has to throw. Willing fight. to take the beating. Willing to take the damage in order to throw their shot. Damn. Nice body shot coming in by Minus. Four minutes and 25 oh, seconds on the gosh. clock. Minus steps forward into the range of Boshniak, and Boshniak unloads a combination. Calf kicks coming in, chopping at those legs. Boshniak going in for the head. Now Minus with a beautiful left hand coming in. Boshniak shooting for the double leg. No luck. Minus still standing on his feet. Eats a knee by Boshniak back towards the cage. You ready for this, Jesse? What? When do you think Kyle Boshniak's last finish was? Um, I don't know, four years ago? 2016. Oh, I was close. So six years ago. 2016, rear naked choke. And then he got punches before that. But wow, 2016, CES 32. So Bochniak throws a lot of volume, but, you know, decision seemed like his method of victory. All right, three and a half minutes left on the clock. A right coming in here by Minus. Oof, a left by Bochniak. Calf kick coming in here by Boshniak as well. Oh, nice elbow. elbow slicing in here by Minus. 
Bosniak felt that one. Still moving forward, though. Oh, he got swelled up his cheekbone a little bit there. A left coming in here by Bosniak. Minus just trying to keep focus here as he eats another left hand coming in by, by Bosniak. Oh, nice body shot. Yeah, Minus showing some damage there on the nose. Looks like he's is he bleeding? That's what it looks like. A right coming in by Minus. Bosniak going for those legs again. Now Bosniak circling the outside of the center. Trying to keep some sort of position here. Good head movement by both guys. Ducking, ducking under a couple shots. Man, oh man, they have not stopped since round one. They just consistently been going back and forth. Rock'em, sock'em robots here. Both guys looking really good, but I, I honestly have to give it to Boshniak. I really don't think that Minus did enough to win. He, he did great, but I don't think it was enough to... But then again, we got Babyface Judge who's given, um, you know... 30, 27 rounds. Oof. This guy's going to have a headache tomorrow. Nice over the top right hand by Minus. Here we go. Minus is turning up. Now Boshniak comes right back. Man. A minute 50 left on the clock. Boshniak kind of backing up a little bit, but still keeping within the range of Minus so that he can throw those shots. Minus stepping in to whatever Boshniak has to throw here. Boshnak showing a little uh, damage, a little exhaustion. Eats a nice knee by Minus. Thank you for the likes here. We hit 500. We're looking for 700 likes. Smash them up if you're just jumping into the stream. Couple rights coming in by Minus, doing a great job on the head of Boshnak. <sighs> Man, look at this. Just back and forth. These two are just tied. They're just throwing everything they got. Yep, this is a typical Boshnak fight. Not surprised. They've utilized their gas tanks, and now they got their Ooh. backup generators in motion, Moss. <laughs> this is their backup generator. They're just throwing whatever energy they've got left. Cars have backup generators? I didn't say car. Well, you said gas tanks. What has a gas tank with a backup Homes. Tank? A home runs on gas? Well, your gas in your home runs on gas. But the heat... <laughs> what the... the... The heaters are... They used up the gas tanks and uh Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, we'll maybe just go with maybe it. they're they run on both gas and, and electric. <laughs> Does anyone Was the joke how bad it was? Is that was that what is that what it was supposed to be? Like there was no well, you joke. Well you went all the, semantical on me. I didn't expect to go into the, the you know my well, nudging details. me like I'm supposed to know. We got a fire fight here, but boys. Let's uh let's let's get let's finish this puppy up. All right, ten second warning on the clock. Bosch and Yak circling the outside, minus eating a couple shots to the face. Mine is throwing in a couple shots now. What was that? Uh, he's coming in like a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Minus is trying to he's trying to charge in. Oh god. Well Bochniak got that dub. That's what I'm saying here. Right? Are we all in agreement? That was a good fight though. Good scrap. Yeah, Never stopped. I'm gonna go Bochniak three zip. If you wanna fight Bochniak, be prepared for three rounds of consistent punch face. Yeah. Punch face? Yeah, get it? Like a backup generator? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes you need a punch face. All right, what do they say? What do they say? I tell you what, you know that fight here. Let's look at some of the replay here. Let's get into this. But um, yeah, that could have been fight of the night. You know, it's weird, man. The main card, it's like a, it's completely opposite of what we've seen in the prelims. Prelims like quick finishes, one decision, just lights out. Take you know, finish. Let's move on to the next. And this card here. Three for three with decisions, but that one was fire, man. That was that was a pretty good fight. No complaints watching this fight over here. How can you complain on an XMMA card, Moss? Never. I never complain. At least when XMMA is on. I complain about other things. Like, you generate a joke. Oh, ouch. Ah. You know, I had to complain about that. Yikesers. Okay, amazing fight, but that was very close. Bochniak, 29-28, 30-24. And I think Big Mo has the, uh, has the score. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judge's scorecard for the official decision. Judge Allen scores a 29-28, Bochniak. Split, Split decision. Judge Sherman scores a 29-28, minus. And Judge 
Barahona scores it 29 no to 28, declaring your winner by split decision, Kyle okay. Crash Bachniak. I tell you, if there's any fight that we saw tonight that could have gone either I'm way, that go after is the one. Judge there. I mean, every one of those rounds was really, really close, especially that last one. And Carlton minus, you know, uh, even with the loss on that one. Uh, definitely earned everybody's respect. I respectfully period. disagree, to be honest Imagine. with you. I think Bosniak won that. Cage but uh, with Gilbert regardless, Bolognese. he won. Yeah. But. And Kyle Bosniak. What's the issue? Hey, come on. Let's go. Let's get the interview. Oh, they, the lights what a off. performance, Kyle Bosniak and Carlton Minus. Let's give it a hand for both these gentlemen. <laughs> Kyle, that had to be one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. I was here front row, and I got to check that out. What amazing performance. You seem to thrive in the chaos. Tell us why you're always getting in these kind of fights. I don't know. I'm a sicko. I just love it. I get stronger when the, the fight goes longer. So it is what it is. And uh, props to... I don't know. Fuck, what's his name? Carlton. <laughs> he forgot his name. He's a beast, man. He puts me to my limit. I love those types of fights. <laughs> he that draws the name? best out of me. I love tough opponents, new tests every single time. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank my, my wife. I love you, support. Uh, and my son, Boston. KJ, he's eight months. And uh, my head coach, John Clark, man. Find someone like this in your life, man. You'll be all set. My teammates, Tateki, Enrico, and everybody brought in with Jiu-Jitsu. Thanks, guys. It's for you. Well, in the second round, it looked like you were starting to run away with the fight, attacking the calf, landing some big p punches, switching the... Uh, Sal Paul landing some big rights. Were you surprised how much he performed in the third round? Yeah, yeah, uh, he No quit in him. He came forward. He didn't back down. He came out blazing the third round I knew he was gonna do that I, fe I felt like he was down two rounds and I could tell there was no quit in him He was smiling in between rounds staring me down. So I knew it was gonna be a tough fight Well, Kyle Bokniak, you've been super impressive in this ex-MMA cage We'd love to see you back here who do you want to fight next, and what do you want to do here in the XMMA cage? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what's next, but a title will be nice. Uh, I don't know. I'm opening the gym in the summer. I got a lot going on. I got my kid at home. So wherever the dominoes fall is where I'll go. I'll tell you what. When Kyle Bokniak fights, I'm tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Bokniak. I want to give a shout out to my sponsor, Marshall Inu Token. They do a phenomenal things for the martial arts community. Uh, Boston. Chain mine. You guys are the best. Check them out if you want to get wealthy in crypto, all right? Let's go. Give it up, everybody. <laughs> Kyle Bokniak with the win. Split decision it goes. So Kyle Bokniak, we have two more fights left on the card. John Dotson versus Francisco Rivera is your main event of the evening. The return of the magic man, John Dotson. The return of Francisco Rivera. Francisco came on the show. We learned a lot about him. This fight is going to be a banger of a fight as we have two guys ready for war. Here's the next fight on the card. Mr. Millinder versus Jared Gooden. And this should be a sweet one right over here. The co-main event. Mr. Millinder and Gooden. So Millinder is on a two, uh, three-fight losing streak from the PFL and uh, Bellator. His last fight in Bellator was a win. That was two years and two months ago. So it's been a minute since Curtius has gotten a, a W. There is his record. But check out who he lost to. Magomed Magomedov. can never say that guy's name, but that guy's a beast. If I'm not mistaken, he's a millionaire. Uh, Roy McDonald, we all know who Rory is. Sabah Hamasi. So there we go. Some names over there that are very easy to catch L's to. Aaron Hubbaugh is the last win on the record of Jared Goodman. That came one month and two weeks ago. So he is, you know, fresh, fresh off a fight coming in over here. His last loss was in the UFC to Randy Brown. Now, Randy Brown is a gentleman that is from Brooklyn, New York. He is a prospect that looks like he is going to be a future star, in my opinion. I think he's very good. So losing to Randy Brown is not a bad thing. And then one Nicholas Stoltz uh, knockout. So the former UFC fighter versus a former PFL Bellator uh, fighter. Two men all over the world 
in fights. You got the last time he was in the UFC was the Bilal Muhammad fight in 2019. That aged well. Bilal looks pretty good. So here we go. Which UFC former fighter will get the W as we got some violence about to go down in the co-main event of the evening? Let's see what the chat has to say. How you doing? You having a good time? Are you hanging with the Fugin boys? Hanging with the boys! We'll find out. There was a 10-pound weight difference before. We'll find out if there's some bizarre weight difference here when the uh, Big Mo lets us know. But right now, I'm not quite sure because we're on Tapology. Millender was supposed to be the next UFC star, but Uriah Hall ended him. Yes, Millender actually was a dangerous son of a bitch. Uh, he could be. Uh, he could be win the title f for being. Hold on, a mega B word. I don't even know what the hell. I don't even know what, what language is that. Great time. I bet they don't test the fighters, says Sober Carl. We'll ask the next time. Actually, no, they don't test the fighters. I think that's what Doomsday said. One of the either Doomsday or Francisco. I can't remember which one of them said, but they don't they don't test these guys. I think it was Francisco actually now. I'm thinking about it. Definitely a big responsibility to uh, represent my team, my body shop, and also myself. He's big, strong, but me being faster and more methodical with uh, my, my striking, my movement. What's going to make a difference in this fight is going to be the speed. Um, my speed, just capitalizing on how he moves and the way he moves, just me watching uh, his fights and just how he's moving is, is perfect for me to set him up with. Tonight, first round knockout, head kick, anything flashy. And Here we go. That's, 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 how, that's how it's going to go. Okay, Curtis Millinder is about to enter the cage the xmma cage over here pacing back and forth ladies and gentlemen in the chat where are you all from i want to know where everyone's from in the chat right now we are streaming this out of the phoenix arizona area let me know in the chat right now let everyone know where you're from where's your location send me location in the chat as we have 600 people hanging hang with the boys with the boys free fights baby free fights hit the likes if you want more free fights Seattle up in here. Maybe. Yeah, I could do it. Sorry, Jesse was talking to us. Uh, let's see. New Mexico up in here. Toronto up in here. North Carolina. Oregon, Seattle, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Vancouver, Nepal, Georgia, Texas, Calgary, uh, Lowell, Mass, Atlantic City. Oh, I'm losing some of you here. Seattle, Phoenix. What up, Phoenix? I'm from South Africa. Vancouver, New Zealand. Look, people from all over the world here. Ontario, Canada, North. Uh, hold on. California, Al Albert and Prince. I'm losing you. I'm sorry. Where was that from? Iceland. Wow. Iceland in the chat. We got Ireland in the chat. We got Eng people from all over the world watching XMMA, baby. <laughs> on the MMA hold. Let's go. We're coming together, watching some fights. Let's go, people. Let's go. Thank you for joining us here on a Saturday night. No UFC fights tonight. XMMA was nice enough to let us stream their events live. So we got something to do. You know what I'm saying? By the way, we're going to take some phone calls after... The events as well. Like I said, we had like 12 or 13 former UFC fighters on this card. There's a lot of eyes on this card, and I'm just glad to be a part of it, man. Can't wait to shine and see where it goes after this. Tonight, uh, my grappling's going to make the difference. Like I said, I'm just going to take him down. I'm going to beat him up. If we go back up to the feet, that's cool, like I said, but the ground game's going to be the huge difference tonight. Can't wait to go out there and just exploit and show his game and show my game and show that I'm stronger there. First round finish, I get in there, get in, get out, and go home with a bag full of money. You know what I mean? Whoa, a bag full of money. I know what he means. That means he wants to get in there and get get rich quick or die trying. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm throwing a little 50 cent at you. Here he comes. Jared Gooden, the night train, about to make his XMMA appearance here. As he is feeling it, man. He's he's dancing away, having a good old time. And here he comes. Gooden's on his way to the cage. Any Russians? Where's Rush at? Uh, California here. A black man can't drink? A black man can't drink. Thank you, John Jones. 
John Jones saying he's ready to go, by the way. He's ready. He's waiting for the call. He's going to keep himself in shape, and he's going to fight at heavyweight in the UFC. By the way, next week, we're going to be live for UFC 273, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You got the notification bell properly run rung. And let me just say this. William Knight, UFC fighter, is fighting Devin Clark, the brown bear. It's going down April 16th. They're going to be live on this channel Monday night, going back and forth on the mics. We're going to have both fighters on at the same time, going back and forth. They're going to feel the questions from the chat. They're going to feel the questions from the host. And what kind of zingers are we going to be prepared for on Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time? Tune in. Well, every single uh, fight has had great, great uh, talent, great matchups. It's really a credit to our matchmakers. The tail of the tape, 19-7 versus 18-8 and eight for Curtis Millinder. And Jared is six years younger at 28. He's two inches shorter, though. They both came in at the middleweight limit. Uh, Curtis Millinder a couple of pounds under. And Curtis Millinder is just one inch reach advantage over Jared Gooden at 78 to 77 inches. And now it's time for our official introductions. Let's say hi to Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the ex-MMA middleweight division. This fight is brought to you by Head Rush. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 183.2 pounds. He holds a professional record of 18 wins, eight losses, and he fights out of San Bernardino, California, Curtis, Curtis Millender. And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. He holds a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses. And he fights out of Gwinnett, Georgia. Introducing Jared Nitrain Gooden. Our referee in charge, Myron Godet. All righty then. You're ready for some fights. The co-main event of the evening. Let's get it popping over here. Let's go, baby. As round one's about to get started, Gooden versus Millinder. Who will get the job done? Gooden in the red. Oh, man. Gooden's coming out quick here. Red wrapped Gooden. Blue wrapped Millinder. Right off the bat with some leg kicks. Gooden's coming in with the jab. Millinder trying the jab himself. Millinder has, you know, one win in his last five fights. My man, he's, he's due. As Gooden gets tripped a little bit there. They tangle their feet. Here comes Gooden coming forward. So Gooden Millinder. Who is going to get the dub in this fight? Gooden just jousting in with the jab. Whoa. Spinning head kick over there. And Gooden's showing a little showboating as he's like, what? He did the Cody Garbrandt. Nice leg kick there by Gooden. Stepping away from a leg kick by Millinder. Gooden charging in with that left. Ooh, Millinder's trying to catch him with that head kick. And Gooden's just talking some more smack. There's another leg kick by Gooden, followed by a light hand. Gooden's definitely doing some Cody Garbrandt over here. <laughs> Is he going to start doing the robot next? Here we go with the left hand. He's feeling himself. But Millinder does not care. This man's been around the game for a while. He's slowly creeping in there. Whoa, just missing again. Gooden gives him a nod. And what do we got here? A little nut shot. Okay. A well, pause of the clock as Millinder adjusts the cup. So, what do you guys think so far? <laughs> they get knocked out. <laughs> Steroid and Chauncey Phillips. <laughs> the only reason why I know that is I'm a Piston fan. I think a lot of people probably don't know that reference. Uh, right in the back generator. It's a nice change. Millinder will win. It really is weird showing the fights here. We only do it for XMMA. I'll do it for more promotions if they want to jump aboard. But um, XMMA, do we do it for? And then UFC, we go back to our fight reactions. But it's bizarre, like just kind of sitting here and enjoying the fights like this with you guys. It's cool. Go Pistons. He said, uh, Curtis, Curtis, Millinder. Instead of, Cur oh man. So the... <laughs> I think uh, Big Mo might be a little off tonight. I don't know. It's okay, though. The guy's been working like crazy. <laughs> They're like a roided Chauncey Billups. 
Okay, here we go. Gooden coming in with that jab some more. Milinda absorbs it. Gooden dances a little bit. Gooden's got it. He's got to chill though. Milinda could catch him while he's celebrating. Gooden showing no respect here. Just coming in. Leg kick coming in. Backing up Gooden. Threatening to like go for the takedown there and says, no way. Milinda does not. That Spinarewski over there does not pull the trigger with the head kick. So Roy to Chauncey. <laughs> now I can't get that. Th Thanks a lot. Now it's stuck in my head. <laughs> Big Mo's wearing shades because he had too many hurricanes. I like that he brought the shades back. I think he didn't wear it in his last. I'm not sure, actually. I think in the boxing thing, he didn't have them on. There's a nice left hand by Gooden. I'm a fan of Big Mo. He's an MMA hole. So we're a Big Mo fan for life. Go Big Mo. Coolest guy, coolest guy in combat sports. More celebrations by Gooden over there. He's got he's to do throw more punches and celebrate, though. Here we go. Here he comes. Throwing that jab out there. Good footwork and head movement by Millinder. Resetting. But Gooden's looking comfy out there. There's another one. That's blocked by Gooden. And here comes Millinder. I like the way, even though when, when Millinder feels like he's starting to get going, Gooden just stays on top of him. He's just too much. Gooden, oh, Gooden sees he has something here as he has Millinder in trouble. Now down on the knees. Left hands come in. What hit Millinder? I have no idea. Gooden now with some rights. Gooden looking for the carnage. Millinder on his knees begging for mercy in the first round with I don't know how much time left. Gooden is looking to unload the gas tank here. Millinder still covering up, and Gooden's hammering him down. More lefts coming in by Gooden. Millinder surviving. And when they stopped the clock, they didn't put the graphic back on. So we have no idea what time is left in this round. It's a guessing game, but I got to think that it's limited. Here comes Gooden again. Let's see if Millinder could, could survive this. Gooden might want to go for a choke here. I mean, he's content with just hitting him on the side of the head. Can Gooden collect a neck? So, oh, his right arm is tangled up by Millinder. So there's the problem. So Millinder's doing a good job. So Millinder's right eye looks like it's a little banged out. I want to see what hit him when he kind of wobbled. And good, and good on Gooden noticing, you know, Millinder being in trouble. He pounced on him. He wasted no time. So Millinder looked like he recuperated here, but he's got Gooden on his back. So he's got a little bit of a problem. I have no idea what the time is. So we're the first round is ending up here. It's got to be seconds now. Gooden just letting him go. I mean, we can go 10-8 now, in my humble opinion. I mean, how many more shots to the side of the head would you have to give him for a 10-8 round? Okay, the ref steps in. So that one's over. Gooden... Definitely made the best of it. And I noticed that Gooden was picking and choosing his shots at the end. Yeah, it's still his right eye. So what happened? What what clipped him? 10-8? Headbutt? Maybe. Oh, man, they might not continue this. So Millinder can't see out of his right eye, it looks like. Let's check the eyeball of Millinder, see if Let's he can see continue. See, uh, He's not going to continue. Let's, see, look. Can we Let's look at these asses. See to... if we can see the shot before he went down. That'd be nice. As we take a look at the X MMA ring girls, and they want to see, look in his eye. They want to see the replay. That, that would be nice if they could see. It's going to be tough, man. If he cannot see, he cannot continue. Nothing no, they're going to stop this thing. Yeah. My my. Uh, he's going to have to call the fight. Cannot tell. Cannot he's not, they're not going to. Like they're not going to continue this. The first, his the referee's number one job, the athletic commission's number one job, is to protect the fighters. We heard the whistle. Has that already been a minute? Good. All right, he's got to get out of his corner. Does Millinder continue? Okay. Wow, the no check by the doc, Millinder huh? Millinder hanging tough, still okay. in this fight. I guess that was the uh, the doctor creeping down there, talking to him. I guarantee Millinder still can't see out of that eye. But what they you got to show us a replay, man. Like what happened? Was it a headbutt? What was it? What hit him? So Millinder, you know, showing some toughness here. He's fighting with one eye. Well, Bisping did it right. Uh, so I'm I'm thinking, oh boy, just stop this fight. What are we doing? What are we doing? My man's twitching on the ground. <laughs> what 
Wow. Okay. Well, let's give Gooden the respect he deserves. I don't know what hit him in the eye, Millinder, but whatever it did, it, it messed him up. It was nasty. It messed him up. Millinder goes down and Gooden puts the nail in the coffin. He says, hey, you want to get up off that stool? I'll make you eat the canvas. And Gooden earns himself a massive carnage. Carnage. Lick the carnage. Embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage. Make babies with carnage. Play jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Propose to the carnage. Enjoy pancakes with the carnage. Celebrate the carnage. I see uh, people saying he needs to retire. 34 years old. It's been a really rough run for Curtis Millinder. Uh, it is weird. That, you know, the person that said he was kind of like a prospect back in the day. High hopes for him. It just didn't turn out right. Kicks and, I would know, love to see the replay. Hopefully we get it. Enough to take you out. And it looked like that was the story tonight. Let's throw it in the ring to Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Godet has called a stop to this contest. At 16 seconds of the second round, declaring your winner by TKO, Jared Nitrain Gooden. Beautiful. Jared Gooden is excited. As he should be. Now let's get Gilbert Melendez in there with him. He's checking his phone. Jared, such an impressive performance. You just beat Curtis Millinder. That was a huge fight for both of you guys, and you delivered. Were you happy with your performance? Is this what you expected? Hold on, hold on a second. First, hey, New Orleans. How y'all like that fight, baby? What y'all think? Yeah, I love that shit. Hey, I love you guys. I love being here. This beautiful city. Thank you for having me. Yes, Curtis Miller is a hell of a fighter. I want y'all to know I was nervous back, like, fuck backstage. Took about three shits. But, man, I'm just happy to be out here and, and just <laughs> put on a great performance. Thank you, guys. You seem very hard to read out there. A lot of head movement. Beautiful jabs. Tripling it up. Is this something you work on? You also dropped him in the second round. You hit him in the eyeball. What, what happened there? Uh, real quick, first, I also want to thank my sponsors, uh, We the Colony, uh, <laughs> Barry the Hatchet. I want to also thank 100% Chiropractic. I want to thank the crypto t uh, crypto team, Marshall and you. They've been helping me, my my team, uh, finance stuff, man. Thank you, guys. But, yeah, man, like I said, I'm always in the gym six days a week working with my team right there, man. I got the best coach in the world, Kelly Davis. You know, I got my boy Flo in there working with me, man. We got Kelly Davis Kill Squad, baby. We're here to kill you all. Shoot you, motherfucker. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Gooden. <laughs> uh, Marshall Rogan, the uh, the dog of Joe Rogan. There is a coin that's going out there, and oh, let's see if we can. What hit him? It's right hand. Those were punches. No headbutt. Those were punches. Good on Gooden. Completely clean. And then the leg went out. So the leg went out. So, oh my God. So a leg kick happened and Millinder's leg went out. Well, there you go. W for his record. There you go. All right, here we go. Get ready for the main event. If you have not hit the like button, do so now. Put them in the box down below if you want to see more free fights on this channel. I can't urge to you enough. How important it is to hit the fucking like button because the more likes we get on this stream, the more chances we get to give you guys more content. It's very simple. That's how it works over here for the XMMA events. I appreciate everyone that hit that like button. It's completely free. Just smash it up. Uh, the main event is two guys, or two guys, that are um, former UFC fighters as well. You got a man in Francis Francisco Rivera Jr., who was on this show and put on a very good interview. Actually, go run it back on this channel. We have it on our MMA Superstar playlist. Go check it out. His interview, very interesting stuff. Guy's got heavy hands. We've seen him scrap with some of the better guys out there. And John Dotson, a guy that won the Ultimate Fighter, a guy that defeated TJ the Snake Dillashaw, knocked him the fuck out. John Dotson, about to go down over here. Very excited by these two fights. It's been a really fun card. So, love doing this. Love doing this 
each and every event. We are going to take phone calls after this. So jump into our Discord. It's on themmaholes.com. So when the fights are done, we're going to take some calls. I want to talk to the people, see what they think about this event, what they think about UFC 273. Whatever you guys want to chat about, we'll, take, we'll open up the lines. A big, big shout out to the people getting us closer to our goalie goal of 60,100 subscribers. If we get to that goal, we will let dragons fly. Let's say hello to the chat. Uh, if you aren't subscribed to the MMOs, you're an idiot. That's correct. That's, that is correct. That's correct. Dawson got this fire. Uh, what the marshmallow died? Uh, marshmallow with the DJ? I don't think so. Uh, need 17 more subs. Who do you think is going to win? Well, that's a good question. Who is going to win in the main event? I don't know. You know what? I, I wanna, I'm going to say the underdog. I'm going to go Francisco Rivera. I don't know. I'm going to throw it out there. My man's 40 years old, but he's got heavy hands. The thing with John Dotson is he's not easy to knock out. That is one thing about him. But I don't know. I'm going to go with the bigger guy. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Dodson probably will win. Dodson is the favorite, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna be biased, and I'll say Francisco Rivera. Let me know in the chat who you have. Wonderful, wonderful. Black Magic Roberto coming in. Wow, that's some tremendous cheeks. I tell Romantic you what, face. Biggest cheeks in the game over here. XMA got those cheeks flying tonight. Big Mo's about to roar for our pleasure. And thank you to all the donators coming in tonight. Appreciate that. A lot of cheeks happening. Wonderful, wonderful. Here is Kai No Toe. Why do all half black, half Filipino people look the same? Just look at Chappelle kids. They look like Dodson's twins. Moss, what were you saying about Marshall? Uh, oh, yeah, I got interrupted. I got interrupted uh, again. Hold on. You know, he, he, he knows he, he's jujitsu, wrestling. His stand-up's good, so, but I don't think he's ever faced someone explosive like me. My training was more of about, you know, the conditioning, the output, and, you know, he's fast, he's quick, but we also have a f bunch of fast, quick guys in my gym that I spar with and I'm used to. He'll get frustrated and kind of, you know, force his way in, and I think that's when I'll catch him. Okay, the Cisco kid. Getting ready to enter the XMMA facilities over here. He is undefeated as an XMMA fighter. And let's see if he can keep it going here as he is coming off a loss, loss from Combate. Before that, he was on a three-fight win streak. And here he is once again, Francisco Rivera Jr. Never really in a boring fight. That's one thing I got to say. Never really in a boring fight. So, yeah, the Marshall Rogan thing. Uh, a lot of fighters are getting hooked up with the money. My question is, where's all this money coming from? Like, how are they funding this? It's weird. I saw, like, a, a little thing on YouTube about them. I don't know much. I got to learn more about it. I'm curious because it's great that they're helping fighters out. But um, I hope no one's getting screwed. Do you think Colby could uh, take Masvidal and Will Smith at the same time? Oh, of course. I mean, he's got the bedroom cardio. Of course. I mean, what kind of what kind of silly question is that? For Francisco Rivera Jr. <laughs> the money comes from Joe's dog. Joe's dog pays them. Maybe Joe's pretty pretty well off, right? I'd like to screw the ring girls. <laughs> How many people are pleasuring themselves to the uh, ring girls? Let me know in the chat. Here's Francisco Rivera Jr. pointing up and trotting inside the cage. Surprisingly nice guy. You know, you see these guys that look so scary when they get in the cage. Surprisingly nice guy. Treat me well. They sat there and done phenomenal things for me for this organization, and I'm just happy to be here. And my last fight against Cody Gibson didn't go the way I wanted to. I didn't get my hand raised, so this time I'm making sure that I'm not going to leave it in the judge's hands and put it, my faith in these hands. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to go out there flying like a bat out of hell, zooming through the air, and he's not going to be able to see me. I'm just going to be like that anime character flashing everywhere. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Flash stepping every chance I get, and then as soon as he realizes what had happened, he's going to wake up on the mat, looking up at the ceiling, saying, Why? Oh, why is Midja hitting me still? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> why is this Midget still hitting me still? All right, there's John Dodson. 
Man, I, when he knocked out uh, T.J. Dillashaw, that was some moment. I was so happy. And he fought Mighty Mouse twice. The first one competitive. Second, not so much. But he did fight for that bell a couple of times. <laughs> Why smidget still hit me? He said, all right, so Dotson now getting loosened up. Getting ready to enter the XMMA cage. Here he is. John Dotson's last fight. He kind of got a little nullified. Against Cody Gibson, man. Gibson uh, looked really good. Then Gibson went over to Eagle FC. Didn't work out for him. But Gibson kind of had an answer for everything. And Dotson, I don't know. Maybe it was rusty. It was. I think that was his first fight since the UFC. It was, yeah. So maybe he just, you know, had to shake it off and get one under his belt. So I do feel that this fight over here is going to be a complete banger. I, I do think that this thing is going to be a lot of fun. Fast 135ers with heavy hands. Let's go. So awkward watching them take their shirts off. <laughs> Why? You have to think. Let's take a look at the tail Why? of the tape. 14 and 8 versus 21 and 13. Francisco Rivera, 40 years old versus 37. 5 8 versus 5 foot 3. 5 feet, 5 inch height advantage. <laughs> as well as a big reach advantage for Francisco Rivera. Both coming in at Bantam weight. Let's sing it in the kick. Big Mo for the last introduction of the evening. <laughs> Come on, Eric. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your XMMA main event of the evening, scheduled for three five minute rounds in the Bantamweight division and presented by Chain Mine. So I need everybody in the arena from the rafters to ringside and those of you tuning in around the world to get up out of your seats. Raise your drinks high and get wild! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. He holds a professional record of 14 wins, 8 losses. And he fights out of Buena Park, California. Introducing Francisco Cisco Rivera. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 135.4 pounds. He holds a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses. And he fights out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, introducing John the Magician Dodson. Our referee in charge, Byron Godet. Okay, here we go. The main event. Any questions? All right, I expect you to protect yourself at all times, have a good fight, and, and, and obey my instructions. Okay? All right, good luck to you both. Okay. All right, here we go. Round one's about to get going. Welcome to the MMA Holes. This is your main event of the evening. Everyone, let's get fucking wild. Dotson Rivera, round one about to go down, and here we go. John Dotson touching the gloves or slapping the glove of Francisco. Francisco Rivera. Let's see if there's going to be respect or are these guys going to go out and let him fly. Here comes Dotson with that. Whoa! Head kick just grazing across the head of Dotson. Dotson greets him with a big smile. Dotson has been always a super frisky fast fighter. Oh! Walks into a left hand by Francisco. Dotson's got to be careful there. Does not want to walk into many more of those. Francisco just taking his time moving forward. The man is 40 years of age. Some body shots by Dotson. Here he comes with the blitz. Ste steps in the pocket. Throws the left hand. And then a left hand by Francisco greets him. Dotson's got that little smirk on his face as he backs up and Francisco threatens to come forward. Just right off the bat, you can tell a clear speed advantage for Dotson. Dotson comes charging in there. Here he comes. He's letting him fly. Francisco's trying to counter and they're standing in the pocket and throwing. Dotson backing up. Francisco. Oh boy, man. It just has that feel, man. This fight has that feel. This is a three-rounder. And Francisco throwing that leg kick, coming forward very slowly. Let's see if he tries to use that size on Dotson. Dotson versus Francisco Rivera. Here we go. Here we go. The magic man, John Dotson, throwing the left hand towards that face of Francisco. Rivera slowly walking forward here, just kind of hunting down Dotson. Damn, man, he looks a lot slower. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Francisco throwing one there. But Dotson just too quick. 
Nice kick to the body by Dotson. 315 left in the first round. Cisco just missing with that head kick. Just a little too slow. Step behind Dotson. There's a nice left hand. Woo! Dotson showing some flashes of his old self. Dotson chopping that kick to the belly. Dotson looking pretty good in his first round. Is someone going to get slept, chat? Let me know. Someone going to sleep. As Francisco's coming forward, Dotson backs up. Look at, oh boy, here we go. Both guys slinging the leather. 240 now left. I tell you what, 135s across the board in the UFC and other, it's just fun, man. It's become fun watching these guys fight. And a little blood on the nose of Francisco. Francisco's a pretty big 135er coming in at 5'8". But Dotson so far not having too much of a problem with him. Looking to close the gap is Frisco. Cisco, I should say. Oh, man, Dotson coming in with those counters. Beauty. Whew, that body shot. The way he just leaps into him. Throwing everything into those things. That's going to start slowing down Francisco. Now Francisco coming in with a couple of hooks. Damn, Dotson looking like lightning out there. Looking like the flesh. Here he comes to the body again. Flurring him to the belly. Whew, look at that head movement by the magician. Francisco trying to clip him. And there he goes. That right hand lands. And shooting him for the takedown is Dobson. Dotson. Excuse me. Let's see if he can get it. Oh, Francisco was holding on a little bit over there and separates. So Dotson could not get taken the takedown. And now greeted by a right hand by Rivera. Nice left hand by Dotson, followed by a right. Here we go. Fun stuff here in the first round. It is definitely what I expected. Nice left by, ooh, two of them by Dotson. Dotson let them fly. Yo, the ultimate fighter winner, the former one, has hurt Rivera. Rivera looks like he's a little stunned here, and Dotson's coming in for a kill shot. Lefts and rights coming in, stumbling to the ground, Rivera. Here comes Dotson with the lefts. Dotson over and over again, looking for the finish. Francisco trying to survive with Dotson hanging off the back. Left hand's coming in some more as Dotson drilling him to the side of the head of Rivera, trying to drive the nail into the coffin as he slings more left hands in. Francisco trying to shake him off here. And has he survived as he's still eating shots, bouncing off the fence? Dotson still trying to come in for the kill. And Francisco's still in it. Rivera still somehow is in this fight. The blood, the chin is strong. And man, oh man, is it being tested as left hands and head kicks are coming in by Dotson. Francisco is on wobbly legs. And he gets bitch slapped to the ground by Dotson. Rivera on the ground. And Dotson with side control, looking for a mount, gets it. John Dotson on top. Not only did he mount him, but he has the left arm compromised. Left hands coming down. John Dotson with a dominating first round. Wow. 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 Holy yeah, My man just bitch slapped him. Dotson just bitch slapped him. <laughs> Francisco is tough, but boy, oh boy. I wish I could I wish they could give me a strike stat right there. A competitive fight until the I don't know what the last minute and a half, two minutes. Jesus. That was wild. Give me that replay. Feed it to me with an IV. Damn, look at that. Over and over again. Boom! That head movement. There's the wobbled legs. Look at Dotson. How do you not miss him in the UFC? crazy look at him go okay we're getting for a round number two that was fun he bitch slapped him i'm not gonna lie i mean listen i, I, I call it like i see it we all saw a bitch slap one's in the chat if you saw the bitch slap everyone see the bitch slap professional commentary over here on the mma holes how many bitch slaps did we see let me know at once all right here we go round number two can francisco bounce back it's tough to see a guy that comes on the mma holes you know have such a rough round there but listen, at the end of the day, I'm just a fight fan. Okay, so a mutual touch of the gloves. Francisco's head's got to be in the clouds. All right, we saw a bitch slap. It's okay, good. I thought it was the only one. Nice kick to the body, Dotson. So a three-round fight here. Francisco coming forward, and he <laughs> he looks like he's 
He's been through a rough round. Here we go. Over the top. Oh, that counter left hand by Dotson. Damn, man. Francisco got uh, Will Smith over there. Here we go. Cisco comes in with a nice right on the chin of Dotson. So Francisco. Oh, and then he eats one back by Dotson. <laughs> this is fun, man. This is fun. This is exactly what I wanted. Francisco, though, you got to give him credit, man. He's not going anywhere. He's coming forward, trying to walk down Dotson. Dotson trying to laser in with that punch. And we're going to get Jesse right back in just in time. So Francisco Rivera versus John Dotson. And Rivera is just coming forward, man. He's walking him down like the Terminator. You can't stop him. Oh, nice left by John Dotson over there. Landing on the bearded face of Francisco Rivera. The blonde head moving forward. Francisco trying to swipe away some punches on the way in. Dotson looking to counter and again. Look at how he light he just lasers punches in there. Dotson so fast. 328. Whoa, Dotson just missed. Good head moving by Fran Francisco. And he's feeling it now. Oh, Rivera's fired up now as he moves forward. Francisco looking for some carnage as he's moving in, saying, hey, you didn't hurt me. There's the left hand lasering in by Dotson. Was that a left or I don't even know what the hell that was. All I know is it came in fast. All right, so Jesse came in just in time. This fight I, has been pretty wild. I rushed through that battle. <laughs> <laughs> nice head kick by Francisco Rivera. Dotson leaping in. He's got to be careful, man, with those wild punches. Francisco, Francisco can catch him on the way in. 250. So in a round where it looked like Francisco was going to get finished, he's still hanging in there. No quit. And Cisco comes a nice left. And they, oh, there we go. Dotson just waits for the opportunity. Woo, that is fast. What do you think about these, these laser punches by John Dotson? Oh, crisp. Nice one. Speaking of crisp, there's a nice crisp right by Francisco. Like how I like my bacon. Oh, Frisco moving Dotson back now. Frisco finding success. <laughs> oh, here comes Francisco looking for a fire fight. He's feeling it. Walking down the smaller man. The nose of Frisco broken up. Cisco Kid coming forward with the right. Francisco Rivera now finding a, a second life here as he's creeping forward. And Dotson just charges in and walks into a right hand. Dotson's got to be careful. There's another right hand. He hits like a truck, Francisco Rivera. Oh, boy. What a momentum change here. As Dotson eats one to the body, the 40-year-old bleached man coming in with the left. Oh, the right by him. Just battering his son. This is child abuse right now, Jesse. What's going on here? <laughs> so Dotson won the first round then? Yeah, just was mutilating him. But I mean, oh, there's a nut shot. And Frisco is coming in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ref a little slow to stop this thing. And Dotson eats some insurance ones. Ref, you got to get in there, bro. You got you to gotta get in there. If you don't, what do you think this guy's going to do? My bad. He wants that advantage, Moss. Now, if I'm John Dotson, I take all every bit of five minutes. Because the momentum's changing. This could be a blessing in disguise for J Dotson. The momentum was sw swinging in the other direction. So now Dotson has a second. I mean, unless the nut shot was bad. I, I would like to see that again. Can we see this again, XMMA? Can you give it to us? The refs got to do a better job. So good on Dotson, man. He's a tough dude, man. He just, he's, he's laughing now. <laughs> it would be funny if Dotson just drills one right to the balls. Damn it. Here we go. So Dotson had a time to recoup. Whoa, here we go. That was a beauty. A trip down to the ground. Oh, boy. Dotson's whispering sweet nothings to him. They're, they're, they're mouthing off out there. <laughs> what, what do you think? Let me know what Dotson's saying in the chat. What do you think? Dotson solidifies the half guard from the top. Let's see what he could do with this thing. I could only imagine what he was whispering to him. You know what would be funny if he whispered in his ear? That didn't hit my nuts. <laughs> that, that, missed my, that missed my balls, buddy. That would have been funny. Hey, psst, by the way, that wasn't a nut shot. All right, so Dotson finishes the round on top. I still got to give that round to Francisco Rivera. But let me know in the chat what you guys think. Isn't the round over? What happened here? The clock just vanished. I guess it's still going. Oh, because of they didn't stop the clock because of the nut shot. Okay. So Dotson still has a chance to win this thing. 
We gotta work on that clock, XMMA. We gotta we gotta pull that together. Okay, Dotson might steal this round. Let's see if he gets some work done. I mean, the the hands are tied up, so Francisco's doing a good job just keeping him at bay. There's a strike from the top, a little too close to see what it was. Okay, there's the round. Did Francisco win that round, or did John Dotson? What do you say? The takedown, little control time at the end. Hmm. <clears throat> Ten nine Dotson. I have your Netflix password. I know what you did last summer. Uh, one one Zeus. One 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 one. Yeah, I, I think I would have to go. Here's the problem. I, I I would go split. I think I think I think Rivera won the second. Even though Dotson finished dom in a dominant position, the the question I have that first round had to be a ten eight, right? So Dotson might be up two two to one. Really. Curious what you guys think. Keep them coming over here. I want to know what you're scoring this thing. Free fights, hit the like. Hit the like button if you want more free fights on this channel. We need your help. Smash the like and share the video. At the MMA Holes on Twitter. Uh, just retweet our tweet. Just share it out there so more people can check it out. Here we go. We're going into another round here. The third and final round, which has been a very entertaining fight. I think it's delivering very nicely. A lot of one ones in the chat. Okay, hey, we're six subscribers away from hitting our goal of 60,100. So if you want to make dreams come true, now five away. Smash the subscribe button as well. We'll let dragons fly, for God's sakes. Here we go, back to the action. Now an eye poke. Oh, boy. There's a pokeage of the eye. Oh, boy. Oh, I just did load up my eye pokes. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Oh, Francisco goes down, and oh, boy. I hope that's... Oh, no. I hope that's not a bad one. Drop Aljo's in the chat if you think he's faking it. I don't think he is because he is a tough son of a bitch. But, oh, yeah, you can see it right under his eye. Yeah, you can see it under his eye. You can see it just swelled up, like, right underneath. Ah, oh, boy. That's not good. That's not good. Millinder got hit in the eye as well. It, it could take minutes, right? But that's why we're going to give him five He's, minutes. He gets five minutes to make this decision whether you can go or not. You can yeah, see look, that mark right there. Yeah, look at the damage under his eye. Shut up, Gilbert Millender. It's time for me to talk. You can see the damage under his eye over there. I mean, even if it's underneath right there, like pushing up into that eye. No, thank you. Okay. Francisco's corner saying, take your time. It looks like he's got it together. Respect to Francisco. Yeah, there's no reason for the rush. Lesser men would stay. Damn. Okay, here we go. Wow. So both guys. So so Francisco gets hit in the eye. They're talking. They're, they're having a little fun with each other. And um, Dotson got kicked in the nuts earlier. Both guys don't use the five minutes. They're like, let's finish this fight. I hope that XMMA can get the clock back on the screen. That would help us tremendously. But here we go. Oh, a beautiful left hand by Dotson. There's that leaping punch. It could really come down to this round right here. I do have it split. Thank you, XMMA. Shout out to XMMA getting that clock back up there. Nice right hand by Rivera. There we go. Dotson with a left. Woo! It could come down to this, baby. See, you guys are watching the clock. You guys know what's up. Nice kick there by Dotson. Dotson backing up. Both fighters having their moments. Dotson had a pretty dominating first round, though. So it's something that does you do have to take into consideration. Here comes some subscribers over there. Thank you, Isaiah. Appreciate that. We're one subscriber away from 60,100 here on the channel. If you want to see more free fights, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Whoo! Dotson charging forward nicely. Then back and back. Oh, here we go. Look at these guys scrap. The crowd's liking it. Francisco's trying to walk down Dotson. Nice right hand. Oh, trying to counter in there as Dotson charges forward. Dotson doing a lot of bumping on his face with his glove. Fixing his imaginary headgear. Oh, that left hand by Francisco. Dotson just eats it and comes forward. Dotson does have a chin, huh? 
Francisco has put people to sleep with some of them punches back in the day, and Dotson just absorbing it on his face. Good fight here in the third round. We have officially lost the clock again. So that's a bummer. We still love XMMA, though, for giving us free fights. We hit our goalie goal, people. Thank you very much for that. Francisco walking down Dotson. Dotson backing up. Dotson doesn't want to take go 0 for 2 in XMMA. That wouldn't be good. But with that first round being so dominating, I don't know. And some people say he won. Oh, nice left hand there, Dotson. This is close, man. I wish I knew how much time was on the clock so I can kind of gauge where we're at. But we're going to have to guess it here. Dotson coming with the leg kicks, followed by a left hand beauty. Here we go. Going for the single, Dotson. It worked before the takedown. We maintain control, but Rivera stopped. Now Rivera looking to trip him down. So a battle for position here as Dotson slowly pushes him to the cage. Thank you, XMMA. Putting the clock back on the screen. He did it. He did it! We got 125 left in this main event of the main card, XMA4. Dotson with the control against the fence. Johnny Dotson holding him there strong and firm and throwing some knees into the thighs. And you know what? If he just grinds it out here against the fence, Dotson could clearly win this one. But Francisco spoils the party and spins Dotson to the cage. Using that bigger body. Just grinding on Dotson. Dotson trying to put the underhooks in. And whoa, sweeps away from the fence. Back to the center. Here we go. John Dotson backing up. And here comes Francisco coming forward with the right hand. 50 seconds left in this. Who will win this fight as Francisco tries for the head kick? It grazes across the face of John Dotson. Francisco moving forward. Trying to defeat the ultimate fighter winner. Coming into the body shot. 35 seconds left in this thing. And Francisco is hunting him down. Sense of urgency coming in by Cisco. Cisco with the jab. Damn, can he pull off? Oh, the head kick by Cisco. Coming in on Dotson. Followed by the right hand. Dotson winging haymakers as he resets. Spinning him around Francisco. Charging in with a knee. Oh, that right hand by Francisco. A bomb of a right. Backs up Dotson. Dotson missing punches there as he is showing the head movement. Backing up to the fence. Eats a right hand. Francisco trying to finish strong. A head kick again. It looked like it was going to be a flying knee. Francisco with the head kick. Dotson looking to collect a takedown late in the round as Francisco is just holding on here. The round, the minutes about to expire. And here we go, friends. That clock was wrong, apparently. <laughs> the clock, I think, was wrong. By XMA, they threw it up there and then they took it off. There we go. It's so it's over. It's over. Mass confusion. Wow, man. Wow. Yeah, time is just an illusion here. What a fight though. That was a good good scrap between the two. Who won? Who won that fight? Let me know. Great event by XMA. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, this. Ah, super chat. Silverback, thank you for the donation. He whispered, I'm going to, I poke you. Francisco Rivera. <laughs> thank you. John Dotson. What? what? Did a really, really good job. Incredible, I'm gonna incredible oh, main oh, event. He whispered, I'm, I, oh, got the eye poke, gotcha. There we go. I was like, wait, wait, hold on. He was hit hard. He was wobbled. He was out of his wits and he came back strong in the second round landing a lot of good straight right hands great great boxing for both men that was fun man that was fun i tell you what francisco we all thought he was done comes back in that fight and ladies and gentlemen after we'll three full rounds of main event action we go to the judges scorecard for the official decision all three judges scored about 29 to 28 it's gonna be declaring Dotson. your winner Easy. by unanimous decision John the Magician Dodson! There he is. And his daughter. There he is. Unanimously gets it done. What a fight. John Dodson, what an impressive performance. My goodness, some of that boxing in the first round in the pocket. I see you being very elusive, but man, you were staying in there dropping huge bombs. Man, I was trying to come out with a new game plan to make sure I can stay in the pocket, mix in a little bit more takedowns, and be able to do some groundwork. So I was taking your advice last match. 
Yes, you, you had you lost your very first fight in X MMA, but you turned it around here. Again, very impressive. Uh, tell us about your turnaround, your mental state going into this fight, and how important it was for you, for your family to be here watching you. Man, the first time that I came out here for X MMA, I actually got in a car accident, and I still shake the fight. I had messed up shoulder, messed up back. Coming in there trying to fight Cody Gibson, nothing taken against the guy. He's a great fighter, great athlete. I just want to make sure I can give him the same type of respect as I did for Francisco. And it was us. A war between them, man. He's a tough veteran and very crafty. His heart. Look at my face. I ain't look that pretty no more. Uh, at least my wife says that. <laughs> well, there's no champion here for X MMA in your weight class. Is this something you want? What do you want next for your career? Look, I want to take on anybody, anywhere, anytime. If they want to give me a title, more welcome to take it. I fight anybody. John Sweeney looks amazing in this fight. And we and him could go ahead and have some fun. I definitely put a Hollywood versus Magician any day of the week. I like that fight. I was thinking the same thing. John Sweeney was impressive tonight. Is that someone you can see yourself fighting for the XMMA championship? If it comes down to it, of course I can see myself fighting John Sweeney. That man is a man. He's a legend. And I want to make sure I can make sure I can test out his ability. Well, I wish John Sweeney was here right now mm. so we can see him. But ladies and gentlemen, the Magician, John Dotson. I want to thank everybody for coming out. United Fit, Jackson Wink. Jackson Akima, everybody that loves me, love you guys too. Thank you my sponsors too. Uh, Chain me, Chain Mine, and, whoo, sorry. Combat Corner, they got my back. Thank you guys. Let the bar, love you guys. I'll be there soon. Give it up, guys. Give it up. So, what do you guys think? I see some people saying Eagle <laughs> FC and all this stuff. Um, John Dodson, I would like to see him stay with XMMA. Yeah? Yeah, I actually would. Like, I can't believe I missed the fight, man. Like, watching how that fight went down, right? Um, I'm okay with it. Like, in the beginning, I was like, damn, he should still be in the UFC. But as it progressed, um, I say stay with XMMA or, you know, like, I don't know. I look at it He's this way. He's the face of a, an organization, you know? Uh, yeah, XMMA is only going up, right? This is only their fourth event, and they're doing fucking spectacular. So there's only, like... There's only one way to go for XMMA, and you're currently at the top. Why wouldn't you stay there and rise with XMMA? You know, that that makes the most sense. Well, I mean, money talks. You know, he's got to feed his family. But, I mean, if XMMA is paying him right, you know, it would be cool to see him stay there and be the face of it. I like watching Dotson fight, and it makes sense. That last fight, he was, you know, you could say he was making excuses. He did get into a pretty bad car accident. Um, you know, it's uh, when you see a healthy Dotson, he's... He's always fun. He's a lot of fun. I want to get to some comments from the chat. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And we're going to take some phone calls. Yeah, baby. It's my favorite part. We're going to take some fucking phone calls tonight. Hey, appreciate it. Hey, you guys are coming in with donations over here. Look at this. Let's say hello to some new people subscribing to the channel. Victor! Victor Vector. Let's go, Victor! Double V. Subscribing to the channel over there. What do we got? Who else is coming in? Uh, old Metalhead. Let's go, baby. Still the top fucking dog is B-Man. Thank you for being our top fucking dog. Whoop. What else do we have over here? Subscribes to the channel. Let's see. Let's see them. In the oh, my God. It's the king. The king. Make sure you welcome them in the chat. Welcome in the chat. A uh, welcome knowledge 609 to the stream. Appreciate you jumping in. Uh, Lou leads 93. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. We're going to be talking more XMMA, some UFC. You know, when we take the phone uh, calls. Oh, super chat. Zeus with the tent. Wow, what a card. Thanks again, Mos and Jess. This was a great time. Good night to all of you MMA holes. Love and blessings to everyone. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, super chat. Silverback. Zma is two levels above Eagle and Smellator. You've then Zma. I'm with you on that. I'm with you. This is better than Eagle FC. Think about this. Eagle FC has been around. This is They're on their 40th event. Now they have Habib for the last couple of events, right? So he's getting things going and flowing over there. But XMMA is only on their fourth event. Think about this. This is event number four. Mm -hmm. They had 14 ex-UFC fighters on here. We saw a prospect. Let me pull this guy up really quick. This kid over... There's one guy that really stood out to me. And his name... 
is fake Tony Ferguson. No, uh, <laughs> that's how I remember him. Here, this guy Adley. over here, Adley Edwards. If you missed this guy fight, do yourself a favor. When the stream is done, go back. We're going to timestamp all the fights as well because the, the grind never stops here on the channel. But if you, uh, you know, if you get to it before the timestamps, watch this guy fight Adley Edwards. He fought a guy that was 10 pounds heavier than him. 10 pounds. And got the job done. Got the finish in the first round. So Adley Edwards, a gentleman who is on a nice win streak. You will see. I would love to see him stay in XMMA. This guy's going to the UFC. There's, there's not a doubt in my mind that this guy will be at least in the contender series with limited experience over there. So very cool stuff by that man. Let's see what we got in the chat over here as the poll is going. This is your first time watching XMMA and 72% of our audience said yes. Yes, bitch! Think about that. 72% of our audience, first time watching XMMA. So from those people in the chat, that's what I want to know. Good card. Now, we did the rating earlier. Let's get it right now. 1 to 10. Now that it's completely went full circle. We had a little dip on the main card, but it kind of slowed down, and then it picked right back up again. Yeah. So a lot of ups and downs. A lot more ups than downs for me. I give this card a... 7.5. I think this was one of their better cards. So I'm going to give this card an easy 8.7. Wow. 8.7. <laughs> Let's see what the chat says. Now I'm hard with my scoring, but I give it. Wow. These, these are pretty high. Look at this. That is very impressive. The community is impressed. This is a tough crowd to please. Look at this. Now, if that says anything, XMMA should feel pretty good about themselves. Looks yeah, like those the are people pretty good scores, more. man. It's great. I tell you what, we got to get our asses in the building. I want to work with uh, Eric Apple. The guy sounds like he's drunk in every broadcast. Well, I just like him because of his, <laughs> his sarcasm. Like, he has like yeah. a weird sense of humor. It kind of like m matches the MMA holes in some weird way. Yeah, he'd be fun to work with. Yeah. But look at those scores. That's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. So the people have spoken. We're going to take a quick break. And then after this break, when we come back, we're going to open the phone lines. Let's, let's, let's talk to the people here. We'll take the patrons first. We'll roll into the regular calls. Jump in on our Discord. We're going to take some phone calls. A couple of calls to finish up the night. I want to know what you guys and gals thought about XMMA Black Magic. Let's talk UFC 273 as well. Let's get it popping here after these quick Messages from our sponsor. Hickey. <laughs> because it wouldn't be a stream. Well, I'm playing Fuka Friday now. Oh, Mastigals. It's just the life. It's a life as an MMA hole, Jess. This is a day. Oh, I'm just going to do it again. Watch. See? What are you doing? It's not me. It's not me. It's, trust me, it's not me. We'll be right back.
Let's be honest, when it comes to underwear, there's nothing more important than comfort. Why empty your pockets for generic underwear that loses comfort, quality, and style when you can slip into a pair of sheath and get even more out of your daily wear? With sheath underwear, you can treat your jewels like royalty as they are given their own private sanctum, keeping them secure and you in a state of bliss. Get 20% off sheath now using promo code MMAHOLES. That's M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S with the link in the description below. And for the ladies... Absolutely! Sheath isn't just for men. Ladies can now experience Sheath's style, comfort, and functionality too. Sheath for Women is crafted using a signature modal elastine fabric blend for form-fitting breathability that will not affect the natural pH environment or the microclimate of the skin while producing that long-lasting, unimpeded comfort. Use promo code MMAHOLES, M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S, for 20% off at sheathunderwear.com. Take some phone calls. Undisputedbelts.com. Customized belt. Is that gluten free? Yeah. Oh, Jesse brought some gluten free fries for me. All right, let's sing along, baby. Here we go. I'm going to eat some fries. We're going to take some phone calls. You guys fired up? Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out. Yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can have me douse, not what I'm about Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound Go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now Hit the like! You don't wanna fuck with me a slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can 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 Cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool Wonderful, wonderful What do you guys rate the XMMA Angels Rumps? What do you rate that in the chat now? As uh, they have been walking and trotting by the entire stream What would you give the XMMA Angels over here? Top notch Now these are 10 out of 10, Jess In my personal, my humble opinion, I give it a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10, for God's sakes XMMA Angels all right, here we go. So in order to call the show, I knew that two joints was... Guy alone. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I, I had a feeling. Did you ever get that? Nothing wrong with that. A little bit. Um, but I did I did, I did. did get that feeling. No wonder. He, hmm. Little floaty toes vibes. Yeah, two joints. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, let's take some phone calls. Discord is how you do it. Go to the MMAholes.com. Find our little MMA Holes icon. Give us a ring. And we will take the calls tonight on XMMA Part 4. Also, we will do... Talk about UFC 273. Why not? That's next week. Alja. 
versus Piotr Jan. Korean zombie training with Henry Cejudo is interesting. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Uh, Sinosi, you're live. You're live, you're alive. It's alive. I turn this off over here. Sanofi, you're alive. Do you hear me, Sanofi? Can you sing to Sanofi? I don't think we have a Sanofi in here, Moss. All right. Let's see. Voice video. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sanofi, you hear us, bud? Go in once. Go in twice. Let's yeah, read the chat head. while I try to figure this out here. Uh, I'm not on. sure if you guys are familiar with Cage Titans, but it's live on TikTok right now, streaming the fights. Nice. Uh, yeah, I we've heard of Cage Titan Titans. Is what's his face fighting? The former Ultimate Fighter. Can't remember his name. Got kicked out. I think he might be. The former Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, I forgot his name. Uh, Sanosi is a humble and soft spoken king. Burns in trouble, but I have a hedge on him. It says Ice Viking. All right, we'll take Sanosi off. How'd the call go? Terrible. Meh. It went terrible, Discord. Terrible. All righty. Here, we'll try him again. Let's see. I think it's on his own, Ross. Sanosi? Hello. There we go. We yeah. got him. He's here. Sanosi's here. <laughs> He's alive. All right, Sanosi. How's it going, buddy? Wonderful, wonderful. Nice. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so what did you think about XMMA number four? Well, I'll be, be honest, I didn't see the whole thing. I was busy today, but I did see the main of the couple of the main of the main card. Okay. It was it's better than I thought. I thought it was better than it's, you know I'll put it upper scale for some of the like compared to some of the past ones, at least to me. I think the main event could have easily been a UFC fight night. Yeah, the main event was fire. It really was. I tell you what, check out some of the prelims. All finishes except for one fight. And we saw a prospect. There was someone that I definitely think could legit make some noise. Oh, I'll have to check that out. You know, one thing that I will say, Bar Man Bantamweight, my favorite is always Ben Johnson. I was sad when he left the UFC. Because, you know, the guy always showed up and, he, you know, when he knocked, he knocked, he was one of those few people that actually knocked people out. Mm -hmm. in the division. Yeah, I think. At least to me. Yeah, the problem was, I think he ended on a couple, a bunch of decisions. But one of them was like Marab Devalishvili, for God's sakes. Let me see. I'm going to look at Dotson's resume here. But if I'm not mistaken, it's been a while since he's actually knocked someone out. Let's see. The last time... Oh, actually, no, I'm lying. It was Nathaniel... H I forgot about this. Nathaniel Wood. So before Marab. So it was in 2020. So two years ago. So yeah, it's, it's been a kind of a minute, if you think about it. You know, he's a beast, though. Dude is still not, I don't, he's never been finished still. Yeah, it's that crazy. These... It's coming closer, though. I have a feeling it's going to happen in XMMA. He got, that, he... that change blew up so long. Yeah, he got zinged a couple of times there. He was caught, and um, yeah, somehow he stayed on the feet. It's pretty wild. So, I just want to go to UFC 273 real quick, and then I'll let you guys go. So, the fact that I heard about Korean Zombie getting Suhudo, it's like, oh my fucking god. That should, people should be throwing more bets right now, because, you know, he's on a good streak right now, Suhudo as a coach. Mm -hmm. If I was, um, you know, if I was the champ, I'd be a little worried. Yeah, I did notice that that was happening there, and Henry Suhudo actually, I think he put it on his Instagram. Let's see. Uh, Henry... Oh, Henry. Sejuto. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, read the caption, Jess. What did Henry say? He are coming for your oversized head, Alexander the Average. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, coming from a guy with another big head, that's funny. Yeah, right? But can we just talk about the big pointy golden thing between his legs? But they, they said, they said, why are you wearing that gold, uh, that diaper? And his response, it's because it's gold. That's his response. Yikes. Yeah. Oh, Henry. But anyway, well, you see the odds? The odds spiked up. I think um, Burns went even, it's even higher now. And so is um, Korean Zombies. A couple of people actually went up if you're looking for those bets. 
I want the Korean Zombie to win really bad. I like. I'm a fan. I'm a legit fan of the guy, but I would not put my money in that way. I mean, unless you want to have a little fun with a parlay or something like that, throw a couple of bucks. I did two things. I did a par. I'm doing a parlay and a separate bet for him because he has a chance. I'm sorry, it's like people don't think it, but it's like he's not a. He's not. He's not like he's a slouch. He's at least legit top five. And now you're getting Sahuda to help you. I mean, he just literally helped someone become a champion. Mm-hmm. If it happens twice, he's got to get coached a year, 100%. Yeah, and Zhang looked a lot better in her rematch over there. So that's something to talk about. But um, yeah, Henry Suda is a decent coach. He is. He's got John Jones hanging out over there, too. So people are going to him for a reason. That's for sure. So, I mean, anything's possible, but I'm sorry. I, I, Volkanovsky all day. Like, it sucks. I want uh, the Korean zombie to win. I would go ape shit if he does win. I just don't see it. Don't see it, but you know that's what that's, that's what MMA is for. And after the Otega thing that almost happened to him, Korean Zombie can almost do the same thing. Okay, Sonosi, you're a very oh. opt- you're very optimistic. I, I like that. Very optimistic. Well, I'm, on a, I'm a Korean Zombie fan, so okay. Yeah, there you go. All right, Sonosi, thank you, my friend. Peace. Sonosi coming in. Phil Star. Do it. One, two, three, four. Charles Oliveira's got a mouthpiece in his mouth. Come on. Mouthpiece in his mouth. Charles Oliveira's got a mouthpiece in his mouth. Look at my mouthpiece. Charles Oliveira's got a mouthpiece in his mouth. Show me all limbs. Got a mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece in his mouth. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece in his mouth. Open the gift box, please. Great commentating. So much fun today. Thank you, guys. You guys rock. You rock, Phil Star. Phil. You fucking rock. Thank you for the... Um, can you pass this over? You want to open them? Let's open them now, then. They're right, yeah, because... They're right next to you, bro. I'm plugged in, though. You're not... Plugged in. Lazy. Um, Thank you, Phil Star, man. I appreciate that donation. And we do have some stuff to open. So before we get back into the phone calls, let's open some stuff over here. If you want to send anything, uh, go to... The MMA Holes description underneath. Fill out that, uh, put that address down below in your shipping to section, and we will receive and open on air. Uh, thank you very much to those that do send us some goodies. And look at Phil Star's gift. That's a that's a doozy. That's quite a doozy. Um, no, she's your teeth. Um, I do have something to take care of right now. If you look behind Jesse, we hit sixty thousand. 100 subscribers. So like we said before, we hit the goal, we let the dragons loose, let's let them fly. Actually, no, I don't think he can. Shit. Let me drop a link to the Discord because I see a couple people asking for it. So give me a second. Yeah, if you go to the MMAholes.com, you can jump into our Discord. The MMAholes.com. We have a link in the description for that. And uh, I'll show you. This way you can call the show or discuss with the people. Here's our merch store over here. Let's scroll up. And if you go to our homepage, you not only know who is live. Post fight press conferences, fights, 
fight reactions, MMA news, like pretty much all types of YouTube and Discord channels. We even have UFC fighters on here when they're gaming. Anytime they're live, it pops up in this container. Right now, Sean O'Malley's gaming. Uh, but anyone that's offline, when they're online, bang, there they go. If you want to jump into Discord, you just click on this little button down below. It takes you right to our Discord. So you can either chat from our website or you can download the app from there as well. Okay. Let's open up the first package. You got it, Moss. Okay. Here's a package over here from... I think it's from oh, D-Rest. Okay, maybe D-Rest. It looks like a D-Rest uh, thing. Let's see. Oh, it's a large. It's nice. It says... Drum roll. It says Mystic Moss, and it's got a big MMA Hills logo on it. Yeah, baby! <laughs> wow! Look at that! A Mystic Moss shirt. I'll be wearing that. Thank you, D-Rest. Appreciate that. Look, you know what I like about this logo being over here, Jess? What? It enhances my belly. It could be right on my belly. Big um, old circle on it. Nice belly MMA holes logo. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you, D-Rest. Appreciate that. That's really nice of him. Look at that. D-Rest sending us something over here. And I so happen these sees. I wear them on the stream a lot, actually, these shirts. Yes. Okay. All right, Jesse. This one over here has more to do with JBM. What company yeah. is this? So they actually told me they were sending this out. So um, I don't know how many of you guys remember, but back in February, I was in the hospital because we just found out that I have POTS, which is a tachycardia syndrome, which basically means that I don't get enough salt in my diet and my blood doesn't rush to my heart the way it's supposed to. So they told me get more salt in your diet. And I found this company called LMNT. And um, we had sent them an email and they said okay we'll send you product they, they just completely offered us product for free and now I have hold on let me see if I can open it so anyone who's like even if you're just working out and you're trying to get a little extra salt in your diet this drink it's it's salty it's it does have a salty taste to it but it's a really good electrolyte drink can I have that um pen again I don't know if that's gonna work use a sharp side or I could just run and get you a knife should have got. We should got a knife for this yeah. segment. I'll just. Where did that pen go? Just gonna use a pen. You wanna use this one? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Just gonna open a box with a pen. The magic of Jesse. Okay. Here we go. The dramatic pause before she opens this box. Actually, should whoop I put whoop. something? Oh, that's a lot. Holy crap! They sent a lot, Moss. Here, take this. That's awesome. So Look it's called LMNT. You can find it on Amazon. They also have a website, and it's an electrolyte drink mix. It's got. A thousand milligrams of sodium, two hundred potassium, potassium, and sixty milligrams of magnesium, and they're freaking amazing. And the guy who created this actually has health issues of his own, so he—that's why he made them. And it doesn't have all the other extra shit that you find in, in electrolyte drinks. So if you're looking for an electrolyte drink, this is the way to go. I drink it all the time. It's amazing. Okay. Elementy. What flavors you got? I got. Uh, they gave me orange. Raspberry, citrus, and watermelon. Yeah, look at all this. this I haven't tried a, the watermelon yet. They give her a lot. Look at this. This is the whole box. That so was pretty nice. Huge shout out to LMNT. Thank you guys so much. By the way, Thank you. can we talk about what it says in there? This box is salty as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty. How do you miss that? Yeah, they're, they're a pretty cool company, and they're super nice. There you go. So yeah. shout out to the company called LMNT. All right. Shout out to them. Thank you very much. Yes. The flavor you want. Okay, now we're gonna go to this doozy behind us over here. This is Phil from Phil Star. Star. Can we drop this on the uh, chair, maybe? Here, we'll move over like this. Okay, I'm gonna move into this scene over here. Oh my God, this is crazy stuff over here. Here comes the box. Oh my God, look at this thing. Phil Star sent something to the MMA holes that just looks quite interesting. So let's open this thing up. See what's inside the box. Guess in the chat, and then after this, we will take some phone calls. We promise we will. I'll take some patrons first. If you're a patron, just jump into. Uh, this better be worth it. If you're a patron, just jump into our Discord and just type, "Hey, I want in," and we'll call you. <laughs> Man, this thing's a monster. I got popcorn, mom. Oh no, not popcorn. And another box. And another box. Is a box and a box. It must be fragile. It says fragile on the top. Oh boy. Man, you 
maybe we open another box. <laughs> Two boxes for the price of one. It'd be funny if it was just a bunch of boxes. Could you fucking imagine? No. Here I, Phil boxes? Star would do that to us. This came all the way from Canada. All right, you're gonna have to a giant Chia pet, werewolf. Oh, boy. Who's cleaning it? Hold on a second. All right, if you're just jumping in, Jesse's opening up a box from Canada. Hope it's not bacon. It could be bacon. Canadian bacon, maybe? Let's see. Shout out to Phil Starr. Very thoughtful of him to send something of this size. I could only imagine how much the shipping might... This must have been pretty expensive. Okay, Jesse's cutting now another piece of tape. We should probably, maybe we should just open boxes beforehand and not look. That might be the best bet. Or bring knives to unboxing experiences. Okay, here we go. It's another box. Can you give us your best Valley Whoa, Girl hold on accent? a second here. Like, oh my, my. god. My god. My god. My oh my god. god. Donation. I had to do it. Ha ha. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. All okay. Right. What, the heck is this? what could this possibly be? What could this possibly be? There's boxes everywhere. Now there's a bunch of little packages. Okay. Is this a. No, what is this? Oh, moss. Is this a drum? <laughs> is it really? What the heck? All right. Oh, you got something for Ellie. Let's open Ellie's first. Wow, look at Phil. Oh, is this it's that customized drum. drum? He made like a customized drum. Is Here. there a way, like an order that you want us to open this in or do you want us to? For anyone. All right, so Jess is gonna do some opening. Well, that's very nice. Okay. Oh, gonna... how cute! What do we got here, Jess? <laughs> it's a little, it's a little Phil Star onesie for Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there we go. That is hilarious. Phil Star onesie. Oh, we got the right size, so she can wear this for the next six months. <laughs> Look at that! That's wow. hilarious. A Phil Star. <laughs> it's got Canada. It's got the Canadian flag on it too, Mom. That's cool. Let me see. All right, this is uh oh, this is for Jess. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> Phil Star onesie. Wow. She's gonna look great in that thing. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. All right, let's see what we got here. Hold on. Wow, you put a lot of thought into this, Phil. He did. Oh heck yeah. Okay, let's see, Jess. What do you got? Is this? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Tim Beeves, Tim Hortons, and Justin Bieber. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. I saw it was a beanie. I was like, oh, this is great. <laughs> and then I saw this is Justin Bieber on it. It doesn't really Are you say calling it? me too young, Phil Star? <laughs> Justin Bieber. Are you Let calling me, me a child? <laughs> Tim Beeves. Tim Beeves? Yeah. No, it's Tim Hortons. Oh, Justin Bieber and Tim. <laughs> Tim Hortons and Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, Tim Beeves. Yes. Look at that. Guy oh, oh, I mean. <laughs> All right, this is we should send this immediately to two joints. He wears it. I know he wears it. <laughs> Tim Beeves. Wow, Phil Star went all out, man. How did he know we were big Justin Bieber Size fans? large. This has got to be for you. And it's a Phil Star shirt. Oh, yes. There it is. Phil Star. <laughs> nice. Nice. Look at that. Phil Star. Beautiful. Every week, subscribe to Phil Star. There Phil we go. Star, oh, it's baby. Got a little Phil Star in the we bottom. We should do a show where we're both wearing our yeah. Phil Star shirts. And then Ellie's wearing her little Phil Star onesie. Beautiful. Thank you, Phil That's Star. That's great. Go subscribe to Phil Star's channel. 
All right. Moss, I think this is for you. Okay. Because you're the uh, musically inclined here. Wow, sticks and everything, huh? Drumsticks? Look at that. Drumsticks as well. Oh, bo oh! Wow, that thing's cool. Whoa. Wow. What? Oh. I don't know if I want to hit that thing. Is it safe to hit? I don't know if Is I want to hit that. Is he going to ruin it if he hits it? We might have to, we're going to have to hang that somewhere. That's pretty Try cool. Try it. Give it a shot. I don't want to hit Moss it, man. Is, uh... Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to. Moss is gonna be playing this with Ellie. I know Ellie's gonna be pounding on it. Look at that. When we yeah. put this down. Ellie will be. Fun. Ellie would be having a blast with this thing. Ellie hiding that thing. That's cool. Look at this. That's awesome. A Phil Star drum. Hello, hello. Look at that. I'm assuming I can play a little butt bongos with this thing, right? Keep it safe. That's cool, man. Wow! Shout out to Phil Star. That's a pretty cool gift. Look at that. That's awesome, man. That is really neat. A little Isn't drum. It? That's that cool. is pretty freaking cool, man. You can actually, so that's cool. It has a little hook on it, so you can hang it up on the wall. This is not meant to be played. It's not? All right, no. Phil, is it meant to be played? Like, no, is this you gotta safe? hang this up. You gotta hang this up somewhere. I tell you what, I'm definitely hanging this up. There's no doubt about that. What do you want to hang it? Yeah, could you imagine if we ruin it just by, by yeah. freaking playing it? Yeah, I would, I would definitely hang this up. That's cool, man. That's a cool gift. Put it up um, where we can, put it up like on there or there where we can see it every yeah. day. Hello. Hello. That's cool. <laughs> Phil Starro, another round of applause for the people sending That is freaking cool, man. Thank you, you so much, Phil. I'm going to I'm gonna plan a day where we're all wearing our Phil Star shirts. Even Ellie. Wearing her Phil Star onesie. And she can bang on the Phil Star drum. This is, I'll clean it up. Don't worry about it. Popcorn everywhere. Look at that. You see it? You can't see it. Uh, can you see it? I don't know. That's because the black thing's annoying. I can sort kind of, of. You can kind of see it. The Phil Star drum. That's pretty wow. cool, man. Look at that. Turn you put into a lot a of freaking thought into that, yeah. man. I'm glad it didn't get lost. I was like, oh, man. I know. Could you imagine? That that would have been sucky. That's a pretty cool case it comes in, too. Yeah, it's nice. All right. Now that we made a complete mess of the studio, let's take some phone calls over here. A big thank you to Phil Star. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Thank you. Let's go, baby. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Oh. Gonna smash. Oh, shit. He's coming in again! Gonna smash. I'm gonna beat everybody. Wow, that's really cool, man. Look at that. I'm gonna finish everybody. 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 I'm gonna finish everybody. I'm gonna smash everybody. The Hamza train. Come on! You're welcome. I'm so happy you guys like them. They're awesome, man. Yeah, Thank it's you really so cool. Much. Really, really cool of you, man. That's awesome. Phil Star, what a cool gift. Wow. That's going to be a, a good conversation starter over there. When people come over, they see a big drum hanging on the wall. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it's pretty neat. We should put it in the background here. I would like it here. Like but on the green screen. But then it would... <laughs> Smack it right on the green screen. If we had the like, orange wall, we could. And this is how it's floating drum. <laughs> I don't know. I got to figure out a good spot for it. I do like it. It's really neat. Yeah. It's cool. If it's <laughs> Sean wants me to poke holes in it and put arms and, and numbers on. <laughs> He's like, it should have been a clock. All right. Uh, let's let's see who we got here. If anyone would like to call the show, let us know in our Patreon Discord first, and then we'll roll into the regular calls as well. Uh, let's see, let's see. We got to send uh, Tropic Tom his gift. That's so one thing I got to say. Like, that. the people who send us stuff, like D-Rest, Phil Star, like everyone who sends us things, they always do something custom, like yeah, to the cool. show, which you can't really say about many shows. Like, a lot of people don't get their audience making freaking custom stuff like that. That's yeah, awesome. It's amazing. Like, you, you can't take that for granted. We have something on the door. Actually, where is it? There's something that this, the this guy carved... When we had, like, legit, I'm not even kidding, we maybe had two or three hundred subscribers. That was about it. And uh, some guy carved into wood the logo and sent it to me from Canada, actually. So Canada's got some really creative people. And he, I was like, I was blown away. Blown away. We didn't even have a thousand subscribers at the time. You know, D-Res so, could be a valuable asset as, as our merchandise designer well, yeah. in the future, yeah. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing that out there <laughs> So we don't have to do it anymore It's okay man It's okay It's okay um, 
Yeah, that's who it was, drunk. That's exactly who it was. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's see who we got. Who wants to call the show? Give me a ring. Hello, Knitter. How you doing? What's going hey. on? That was some pretty cool gifts. I fell star there. Hey, yeah, right? Was... How thoughtful. Yeah. That is so cool. That drum. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to play it naked later after the stream. I'm going to get... I uh, bet you are. I'm going to go pantsless. Yep, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I'm going to put on <laughs> Phil Starr's shirt and then no bottoms. Man. No bottoms. I, nope. I, I, yeah, no doubt. I can picture that now. And Jesse, <laughs> you watching? Yep. She'll be throwing the money. She'll be throwing the money out to you. That's right. And what kind of bottoms do you have on tonight? <laughs> red. Red bottoms. Very nice. Red panty knife. <laughs> it's a red panty night. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo wonderful, wonderful. wonderful, 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 wonderful. Um, and what did you think about XMMA tonight? I thought it was great. It was a good fight. Right, not better bad. Bellator. I think they're putting on a better production of Bellator. Believe it or not, I mean, it looked a lot better, except when the clock disappeared a few times. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, that was, you know, that was kind of, kind of weird, right? Yeah, the they the fights. I mean, the the guys they get the fight. They just they fight. I mean, you saw that in the car. Most of them are KOs or chokes or what you know, submissions. You know, they're not fooling around. And even if the decision is not a boring, it wasn't a boring fight. So, yeah, the main event, Dodson, he looked mm -hmm. totally different. Man, he's going right at him. Got a little tired there at the end, of, you know, third round, but almost looked like his old self. But that first round, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Well, yeah. Hold on, hold that thought. We got a Come donation. Come on, get loud, MMA holes in the crowd. <laughs> Come on, get loud, MMA holes in the crowd. Got MMA holes in the crowd. Yeah. MMA holes in the crowd. MMA holes in the crowd. Oh my no. gosh. Trop I don't care what the sign looks like. You are repping the holes and lending is the dulcet tones of your gay lord. Sean is. An MMA hole. There you go. Gaylord, <laughs> thank you. Gaylord's Gaylord. in the chat. <laughs> thank you, Tropic okay. Tom. Appreciate that. And back to you, kid. <laughs> what yeah, you I'm such a kid. You know, I'm just <laughs> younger than anybody. That's right. You're the you're the darling um, of the MMA holes. You're the knitter. Yes, the knitter, the old one. Hence why I got the knitter. <laughs> old people knit, I guess. That's <laughs> ah, all right. It's okay, Ann. We all get old. As long as we get there. Right? You know, that's the thing. Some people never even get there, right? So at least if we can get to the old age, that's that's a win for us. Yep. That's right. If I live past, you know, get up to 80, I'll be happy. That's what 80's your cutoff? That's where, that's your, where you're going to check out? Yeah. <laughs> you know, my, my aunt always said she has an expiration date. I think it was in her 70s, as she was saying. Um, Jess, you yeah, ever... she'll probably go past her 70s. No. She'll get past, you saying? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the chat, what's your expiration oh. point? Uh, mine's going to be like 150. <laughs> go, okay. go around there. I'm going to torture Jesse for an extra... I'm okay with that. 150? Mm hmm You want me around for... Could you imagine, once I get, like, into my 70s and 80s... Mm hmm could you imagine the the horrendous like you're not gonna want to be around me? Of course I will. You're gonna want to. You're gonna have the ditch di digged already. I Dug love already. being around you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You'll be like, eh, you have that cane, and <laughs> I'll be all cranky. I'll be more cranky than ever. Um, more cranky than ever. <laughs> but yeah, the fights were awesome. It was great. I I was getting out there on Twitter. Hopefully, some people viewed and got some views for that. Hopefully. Well, thank you. I was in the private chat rooms too, trying to get out there too. So that's very nice. I hope so. Hope somebody is watching because it looked really good. I mean, you got you know with the bigger room that you got now, it looked really cool on there. Yeah, I can know, actually see it pretty good on my phone too. <laughs> nice. That's good. That's good to know. Well, you know what it is? It's like anytime we show these events, um, this is where we have to we have to get some decent numbers. You know, to uh, so 
these companies would want to still continue to do this. You know, if, if we're not getting the right numbers, then we can't can continue to do this. So that's why we always say, hey, you got to hit that like button. You got to share the stream because giving out free fights is amazing. It's fun. It's so much fun to do. It's a lot better than just yeah. sitting here and talking about it. You could actually see what's going on. So um, more yeah. likes, more more times we could do it. Yeah, and when people say, show the fights, I am showing the fights. You can't say anything now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you can show the fights. You're not going to get in trouble. That's yeah, right. Yeah, because what? This is the fourth time, right? Yeah, because I've seen it four times, right? Four fourth times, time, right? yep. Yeah, four X of Maze. That's correct. So see, you must be doing something right for them, so they like you guys. Yeah, so far, so good. People have been uh, very supportive with the likes and the shares, so so far it's working well. MMA holes are gonna take over the world. That's right. You tell them, man. We're taking over the fucking world. Over the world. That's right. <laughs> Woo yeah, take over Facebook too. That's right. Take over <laughs> Facebook is is oh, it's such a mess. We have an amazing uh, neighbor that hooks us up, but there, I mean, Facebook is just yeah. I, there's it's like it's like the the bottom of the barrel. Like people are just like ugh. Like, I don't know what it is with Facebook. In order for someone to like a post, it's like them giving up their firstborn. You ever notice that? Like, what's up with Facebook? People? Well, I think it's, uh, you have to remember, like, Facebook and stuff like that is more for, like, all about me, 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 me kind of thing. So, yeah. Look at me. Look at this. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's not about them. They don't care. You yeah, know? Like, weird. They have no interest in Yeah. If it's, I mostly got it with, you know, friends and family, of course. That's what I got mine for. I don't have it on, you know, public. But Mike has his on public for the, for his, uh. His business. He there can you go. go there and give a like. Yeah. And he's got the web page too. There you go. And give it give a shout out real quick, Ann. Mike's power washing and more. Woohoo! You gotta say it in a sexy voice though. Okay. Be sure to check out Mike's power washing and more. Woo. Got chills. <laughs> <getting chill>, <laughs> <laughs> All right. One Mike's one. power washing and more. There you go. Thank you, Ed. Google, it's on there. You know, it's everywhere the regular businesses and get some likes and you know stuff like that and some good reviews that would help out with us. So there you go. But we've got some good jobs lined up. So fingers crossed. Hopefully he lands them. Gave him the quotes, and I don't think anybody can beat her around her. I'll kill him. <laughs> if they don't sign it, he'll kill, kill him. No. You're gonna see. You're gonna murder people. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, and well, Mike, have a fantastic night. I appreciate the call. I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you too, Anne. There you go. Ann H calling in. If you'd like to call, give us a ring. Discord is how you can do so. Slide into our Discord at the MMAholes.com. We'll take a couple of calls tonight. I mean, we went long in the stream. Heck yeah, man. But, what a um, great night for XMMA. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, right? Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. Yeah, see? Let's yeah. see what's going on in that chat room over there. Let's talk about Alex Volkanovsky swimming with sharks for once, says Delton. Ah, see? Ah, I'm jail sonin'. How did I do? See, I, I thought he was in the room. Dang. I'm getting good, Moss. Yeah, it was like I'm he was I'm jail sonin'. Perfect. And I'm here to talk to you about the woman I beat up in the hotel hallway. If it's if I close my eyes, I could actually... <laughs> yeah, I, I believe he's here. <laughs> Okay. Anything in the chat or no? You, we we zoning out. Do the wiener copter <laughs> again. It's a strange highness. Uh, I can't do it because we got a strike the last time I did it, so I can't do no no helicopters with my peen, unfortunately. Uh, Texan chill. I'm chill zoning. Comsat will make some burns jerky with beer on it and pepper and mustard. Wonderful, wonderful. I saw as Sean said uh, if if there was sound with the punches, yeah, that would be great. Like. <laughs> It's kind of like, weird, but like um, Donnie Brasco sounds. Well, yeah, we could, we could actually hit things like like a, a movie. <laughs> that would be great. So basically, what they're doing is they just want promotion. They want people to to watch their stuff. Ah, drunk savage, what's going on, drunk? Yo, yo. how's it going? Yo, yo. so uh, pretty decent card. Yeah, I mean, man. Pretty good. I mean, for a second there, I was thinking about Dodson going back to USC, and then, like thinking, oh, the fucking guy's at one thirty-five. <sighs> nah, he, he get killed. Yeah, the first round it sounded like a great idea, and then as the fight progressed, he was like, yeah, you know what? Stay over here. <laughs> yeah, do XMA, maybe Eagle FC. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There's so many options out there for a guy like John Dodson. So, you know, sky's the limit. He is still with Jackson Wink, which I was positive about. So that that's a, a true statement. He got his first win outside of the UFC. So we'll see what happens. Did he win his uh, last one, Jackson and me? No, no, that was a loss, a decision loss. Hmm. But that fucking uh, Tony Ferguson look like, dude. I can keep my eye on him. Yeah, right? How good did he look? I was thinking, like, isn't Tony Ferguson fucking adopted? Maybe that's his actual fucking younger brother or some shit. I mean, his smile is the same. The way he talks is the same. Even his fighting style, I kind of I get that that feel of him. Like, the guy is like a clone. Oh, uh, maybe he'll move up to 155 and we'll get him versus Islam Makachev because we never got Tony in that Khabib. Or it could be like the Spider-Verse and we could have Tony versus Tony. The, uh, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> the multiverse. The multiverse? Is that what we call it? Yeah, well, the multiverse. It'll be t Tony, Tony from this one against Tony from that one. Seriously, I hope Dana fucking saw that and snatches this kid up quick. Yeah, he'll be in the Contender Series. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that this kid is... He's, how old is he? He's, oh, he's, he's 32, um, but, you know, he's still I young. I the Contender Series, then. Just grab him. Come on, we, we got time. Just no bring time him over. Shit. Okay. All right, Drunk says bring him over. It's a nice win streak he's on, so why not? The universe is trying to give us Tony and Khabib again. How about this? We got he, his bone. So, by the he way, he, he was supposed to fight Terrence McKinney. Little fun yeah. fact. It was a canceled bout. Look at that. In yeah. 2019, this man was supposed to fight a gentleman that's in the UFC right now, and boy, would I love to see that fight. Holy cow. Yeah, probably would have been something. Yeah, this guy's good. Uh, what else we got over here? We got something. We got a donation creeping in here, drunk. Let's let this one slip through the cracks. It's from a, a Ross from the Super Chat. This guy right here. Anytime. Ah, Super Boom. Chat. There he goes. MMA holes watch parties show that fight fans are flexible about promotions and having options is beautiful. Yes. Brands change. Fans are forever. There you go. Slamcha. It's so true. I concur. I hope that like organizations like XMMA understand that, you know, I mean, there's got to be a way to do it. They're showing that they can pay fighters with advertisements. I'm assuming that's the way they're going and um, give it for free. With people on the internet stealing streams and pirating and doing all this crazy stuff, XMMA is showing you, BYB is showing you. The only difference is XMMA is actually allowing us to stream it as well. They're the only yes. other company that I know that's doing that. So it's pretty cool. I think it could be the future. Anyway, back to Drunk. Yeah, we should get more promotions do that shit. Like, what fucking uh, Triton fights? What are they doing? Come on. They're a pay-per-view. Well, they're flex now. They're doing actually some pretty cool stuff over there. But they haven't figured out, because we've discussed it with them, they haven't really figured it out. Broadcasting for free, how do they make money? Somehow, Sponsors. XM, I mean, yeah, sponsors. Well, Head Rush is helping XM make tremendously. They're yeah, a major get sponsor. A, get yourself a good sponsor that believes in what you're doing, and boom. You're set. You're yeah, I, I think flex could do it, but they, you know, they're more on the pay-per-view side of things so that's just their thing maybe in the future Dude, i don't like that flex fight name you <laughs> must have came with a fucking high as hell in cocaine or something <laughs> well they're all in they rebranded so you're gonna have to take it up with machi i don't know when you get back on the show <laughs> yeah i do i do I've, I've been slacking on that he's he's willing to come on we just gotta line up the schedules you excited about monday night william knight versus devin clark live on the channel yeah, this should be good. The throwdown is going pull down. Them up on stream. Mm -hmm. They can't see nowhere else. They look like an asshole. What's that? that? I liked how you called him on stream, so he couldn't say no unless he looked like an asshole. Yeah, I had to hold him to it. <laughs> I had to hold him to it. I think he would have done it, but uh, you know, I got a quicker answer with him knowing he was on air. So that helps. But it's a good guy to know, right? If you're in, in a pickle, call up William Knight. <laughs> hey, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, by the way, I know William Knight. He's going to show up. And You think he would do that, Jesse? You think he would swoop in like a superhero and save my life? 
No. You think? No, you don't think he would do that? Absolutely not. Why not? Uh, he what? Does, no. What? He'd be like, White. sucks to be you. Oh, my God. Jesus. But I'll swoop in. No, nah, William Knight would save me. I'd be like a damsel. You hanging don't from trust a me to save your life? No. <gasps> I, I trust you get me into the Well, trouble. fuck you then. I'll never try to save your life. All right. Anything else? Uh, yeah. I didn't really care for fucking Gilbert Melendez as a Cajun viewer. Come on. Get the glove touch in there. Walking <laughs> up there, it's all awkward and shit holding the microphone. You would rather the glove touch do it? Yeah, come on. Okay. Uh, Frank Mir was doing it, and then it shifted over to Gilbert Melendez. He seems like a cool dude. Um, it it looks like he needs to warm up. I noticed as the the fights progressed, his interviews got a, a progressively better. In the beginning, it seemed like old choppy and stuff like that, but Gilbert pulled it together at the end. Was it your normal haircut, dude, or no? Yes. Why? Just wondering. Why? No good? No, it's fine. I'm just wondering. Say what you were going to say. I was just wondering if it was him <laughs> or not. That's all. Why? He did do it quick, though. Did he do a bad job? No. Okay, don't lie to me. You can, you can tell me the truth. No, it's okay. It I looks just, like shit. Tell me. It looks fine. I was just I'm wondering. I'll go in there. I'll drag him out of the barbershop and say, fix it. I got my tattoo with Jesse's old shitting on my tattoo. No, his tattoo haircut. looks good. I found a mistake that the, that the artist made, and it kind of pissed me off that the artist let him walk out like that. So, fun fact, the um, they put this tape on with your tattoos, and it kind of stretches the skin. So you think something's a little warped. So Jesse saw it. She was having a heart attack. So she maybe text this guy, and I felt like a fucking yeah, idiot. Yeah, he he's a professional. He shouldn't have let you but walk out like that. we took the tape off. It's not as warped anymore. But it's still warped. And now I'm like, oh, my God. I'm no, the dick that went in there. No, it still needs to be fixed. It still does. Yeah, Jesse. No matter what, she's got to stand. She's got to stand her ground. But anyway, that's a little side story. Um, yeah. So well, I think one of your tattoos should be a little off hmm? when it comes to you know, making holes, because you know you guys always have those production problems. So it's kind of perfect. Yeah, it's we have, we've been having this issue that I can't fucking fix. It's driving me crazy. It literally is is like I'm having like nightmares about. It. I shake in my sleep, thinking about this. I quiver at night. <laughs> You do? Yeah, you don't see. Oh, me? I never noticed. And I, and I, I let out a sound. I'm like, ah! and I start <laughs> oh, shaking. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah, it's me yeah. thinking about this. These freaking graphics. <sighs> it's nice. Jesse on fire comes in, and, Je and Jesse goes, "Get the fuck out of my show." You see that drunk? Well, what do you think Jesse about that? Jesse on fire show. It's the MMA holes. <laughs> the fuck? I'm trying to. The guy drops to, a ten dollar donation. Up in here. Get the fuck out he of here. He wasn't. He drops a ten dollar donation. Jesse's like, "Get the fuck." Hit yeah, the you road, know I right? did that so that people <laughs> can see Jesse on fire. I don't want to talk about together. What's that? Then you all could collab together. I'm good. Jesse had to go and ruin it. I'm like, good. There's only one Jesse over here. <laughs> yeah, That's right. You Jesse's, know, drunk. Jesse's pissing on the fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> She's starting wars that I can't get to. I didn't start a war. I like to do whatever, you know, but do your thing. I'm not over here. you saying he's cloud chasing? Is that what you're saying? I'm just saying it's a little weird. You pop up during XMMA of all times to a drop $10 a $10 donation. It was, it was a $10. So you're saying he should have dropped that donation before? Get... Get the get the the fake the fake money marker out so that we can see if it's if it's real. So so you so you, are you saying he's real now or no? Because you're it's saying he's fake. promoting his channel. It's all fake, Moss. So what? Wait, wait, but if he's promoting his channel, he's fake. It makes no sense. He's both. Okay, so Jesse believed it was real. Jesse on fire. <laughs> she was trolling apparently. Oh my God, he's gonna ask for a refund now. All right, uh, back to drunk. What do we got? Will you stop payment. What's that? Uh, so one more week to Aljo versus Jan. That's right. That's right. Piotr Jan. Is Aljo going to get if, the dub? If he does, I foresee him going off like fucking Jesse with fucking Alessandra and Whitaker. I fucking told you, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No doubting me. Fuck you. Hey, He's... it was an emotional moment. All right. Everyone's oh, that was one of on the greatest me. moments in the history. Yeah. You see the shape Aljo's in right now? This guy is yoked. He's shredded. My man's taking it serious. So when he takes that knee oh, again. He probably <laughs> stinks right now. Look at all his sweat. Yeah, he probably smells. Smells like what, though, Jesse? What would he smell? Like would he say? onions. Like <laughs> <laughs> Onion sterling? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? You think he smells like onions, right? He's got the real funk going on. <laughs> the funky master? <laughs> So that's why he's called the Funk Master? Don't get duped by black muscles. Yeah. What do you think, Drunk? Does he smell like onions in this video? <laughs> I want to just sniff his pits. 
<laughs> I'm like McGun Rachel right there. Right now. <laughs> I just want to just rub my nose against his armpit hair just to get a good whiff, you know? Man, oh man. You wonder why he doesn't want to come back on the show. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't come back. Why? Well, maybe he shouldn't smell like onions and he wouldn't have to worry yeah, about it. Maybe he should take a fucking shower. <laughs> Bro, before you flex and hit the showers. It's an onion trail on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Dude slithered in like a slug. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Poor Aljo's getting roasted for no reason. Oh, God. Onion sterling. Beautiful. All right, anyway, he what are we doing here? The fucking MMA, or MMA locker room smells like after a day of training. His, his oh, fucking awesome. teammate is coming on Wednesday, Jesse. You gonna smells say, like Alfredo. You gonna say, <laughs> did he say he's... Are you going to tell his teammate on Wednesday that uh, do you, does Al Joe smell like I'm gonna onions? I'm going to ask him. I'm going to say, listen, I got an honest question. Does he or does he not smell like onions? <laughs> We've hung out with him. He doesn't smell like onions. When, we actually hung when out. When he's working out and all sweaty, does he smell like onions? When he works out, you saying onions? Yeah. Okay. This is going to run the room with Ellie on her arm and ask it real quick and run out. Onions or no onions? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> okay. We'll find out. We'll find out Wednesday. Well, when this week's going to be an interesting week. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, you got anything else on your mind, uh, Drunk? I don't know what's going on here. We're all uh, no, that's when I was calling. Later, so all much. right. Thank you, Drunk. Look at that. Drunk Savage calling in. All right. One more call. I'm getting tired. I got to eat dinner. Onion Sterling almost made me throw up over there. <laughs> <laughs> Onion Sterling. <laughs> Oh, by the way, we can still hit our goal. We can still hit goal, our 700 goal. Goal, goal. Goalie goals. All right, 700 likes. Hey, if you didn't do it, let's do it. We'll do one more goalie goal song. I didn't think we were going to hit that. I'm getting closer. So if you haven't hit the like button, do so, please. Uh, let's do a sub goal for this. It would be 60,200. There we go. It's cool, man. All right, who would like to call the show? Let us know. If you're having problems. You got one over there. Who is this? Naughty oh, Pie. Oh, this is the guy that went to the event. Yeah. Oh, hey, Naughty Pie, you went to the event. How'd it go? It was awesome. Nice. Who'd you go with? Um, I went with a couple of coworkers and one of my buddies that's like a music friend. Heck yeah, and, man. Um, it was awesome. It was like at this cool venue, the Fillmore, and... Um, it was just we felt like we were all VIP treatment, you know. Awesome, and, man. Um, well, they treated you well, so so they gave you good seats. They gave us really good seats. I mean, we were in this area where it was like the the cage was like ten feet away, ten fifteen we feet away, and my, one of my friends that came, he knew somebody else that was sitting like in like right in front of us, and so we all just like hung out with the people that were all around us. The people were next to us were cool. Oh, that's cool, man. It was just, it was just like really cool, you know. Um, you know, me and my friend shared a gummy edible, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, it was just like because I watch a lot of these fights and stuff on my TV screen, so to get to see it in like real life scale, it was just amazing, you know. So and was this the first just, MMA event that you went to? The first MMA event ever I've been to. Wow. You know, I've been to all kinds of events. I've been to concerts and um, I used to work as like a like at the local stadium, the Smoothie King Arena. Okay. And so I used to work like um, I don't know what they call stagehand work for like wrestling events and stuff like that. So I've been behind the scenes of like wrestling and I went to like a WrestleMania press conference where they announced that we're going to do it in uh, – in New Orleans, I've been to like the Super Bowl. They had the Super Bowl here one year, so I've been to like background to all these things. Like, but get to be uh, in the audience at an MMA event, Something it was else. really sick, you know. It's awesome. And all, this was the first for all my friends actually, and they were all just like, "Thanks for." They were like so thankful for getting to come, and we just we had like the perfect like boys' night out, you awesome. know. Well, did you and, have a good um, view? Of... I'm really grateful for y'all. Hey, thank you, man. That's hey, listen. It makes us feel really good that viewers of the show can actually get these perks. This is fucking cool, man. The glove touch. The last event was sitting cage side with Kendall. We got you going to the event over there at Black Magic. This is fantastic. It makes us feel amazing. 
Yeah, yeah. And I'm just I'm glad to be to um, you know, be the receiver of it and <laughs> I would like to, you know, show my appreciation to y'all um, you know, I ha I'm a visual artist myself and I uh I have some some art that I made, some MMA art. Nice. So I'm going to send y'all something. Hell you know? yeah. Let's go, baby. And, and, and you know, um, I just, you know, it couldn't be more grateful, you know. If you, I also make beats. I do, like, music stuff. So, you know, if y'all ever want some, like, custom beats for y'all show, you, you know, I do, like, uh, video stuff too. You know, check out my YouTube channel. Yeah, what's your uh, YouTube Nine channel? Pie. And, and I make beats and I just like make videos and like, you know, I'm like a creative person, but I'm into MMA because I just like, like the, it's just interesting to me. It's like a newer sport hasn't been around that long. And just to see something like a, like a subculture grow mm -hmm. and, and, um, it's like, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm old. But I'm, you know, I've been around a while. So to just get into something new is like in your older age, you feel like you've seen things. You've seen everything after a while. So you have to just step out of your comfort zone and and get interested in something new. So that's what MMA has been for me is like I get away from like the creative artsy fartsy scene and this and that. It's like totally different than other stuff I'm into. So that's why I love it. And you guys have really helped me like get into it in a new special way, and uh, you know, let's collaborate. You there know, you and like, I want to be part of the community in a different way than just you know, uh, as a spectator. You know, I've always been behind the scenes, hands-on type of person. So like a fluffer, you know, right? I, I gotta say, I, I respect <laughs> this guy's hustle. Like, yeah, yeah he's, he's pitching. Yeah, what's I like your YouTube it. channel? I'm into it. Yeah, it's just Naughty Pie. You know? Naughty Pie, that's the same thing? Okay, Naughty Pie. How'd you come up with that name? Well, it's actually um, some friends of mine, um, you know, gave it to me just uh, randomly. And it's like, that's the best thing about that nickname is like, I didn't have to make it up, you know? Naughty and pie. because I, I'm, I'm like a carpenter, I do like woodworking and stuff. So I used to have a YouTube name called Naughty Pine, you know, uh -huh. which is a kind of wood. And then I don't know. When your name is Chris, there's always in a circle of your friends people named Chris. That's so right. to me distinguish too. me, they're like Chris Naughty Pine, and somebody else was like, "He's not Naughty Pine, he's Naughty Pie." And then I don't know, that just became my nickname. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Okay, you just here we stick go. With it, you know. All right, Naughty All right. Pie, we have subscribed to your channel. I mean, can we at least get him to a hundred subscribers yeah. for God's sakes? Let's go, baby. Um, yeah. So the real burning question now, if you're just jumping in, we got Naughty Pie here who went to the XMA event. XMA was nice enough to uh, provide some tickets. And uh, we want to know what were the what was it like to get a close look at those behinds with the numbers, the P, the girls that were trotting around in that cage? What, what was that experience like? Well, it was it was pretty mind blowing. Uh you know, I've got some video of that that I'll share in the like Discord and all that stuff, you know. And I, you know, me and my friends were just like, our jaws were just like dropped, <laughs> you know. Like, we, we, the seats were so great. We were right behind them. So we could see them just kind of hanging out or whatever and all like the candid moments. And then after the show, they all went up and took like a group picture. And we just, we enjoyed every moment of it. And like, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe like it was a little bit like I wanted to be in the moment and I also wanted to document it to share it with y'all. Mm -hmm. And so it was like one of those things where I was like constantly like picking up my phone and trying to like take pictures of it and stuff like that. And I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be too much of a pervert. You know, I have a girlfriend <laughs> I'm trying to be like loyal and all that stuff. But yeah, the there was some donk action in there, okay, and it was totally different than like the MMA, the UFC girls. You know, these girls had like the backseat going, right? And yeah. like the, the UFC girls, it seems like they're a little bit less. I don't know. What, they're more what front seat. Like a, yeah, they got more. Yeah, more like silicone. like the hourglass shape was more the X MMA. They had a little bit more of like yeah curvature going on, and I can appreciate that. You know, that's right. Me too. We all can. appreciate that. Right. Absolutely. And and so, you know, I, I just it was great. It was really awesome. 
You so know? two and thumbs up. What would you say to the people out there, uh, the experience for XMMA? A plus, they should go check it out? A plus, yes. Nice. Yes. All my friends that went, they weren't, you know, uh, they've never been exposed to this before, and they loved it. And, and you know, they were competing with the Final Four and WrestleMania this year, you know, for this event. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot going on in New Orleans, right? And, like, to just be able to just go see something different and have fun, that's a unique thing, right? In a city this great. And I just – I feel, like, blessed to – be in the right place at the right time to get to experience it, you there know? You go. Um, so, you know, I think that this event has a lot of potential. Let me put it that way. As an artist and somebody just like getting introduced to something new, right? This is fire event, right? I, there's no other way to put it, right? To go see something live that you just uh, kind of experience in one way on a little screen to see it live. It was amazing. Like, like anybody that's an MMA fan at all to go see it live, just whatever opportunity you have, just take it, you know? Okay. There we go. Those are, those are some impressive words coming in from naughty pie. Thank you for the call, man. I'm glad you enjoyed the event. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I would, I am grateful that it was free and this and that, but I would have paid money for that. There I would go. go check that out anytime. Like I would pay for the $10 beers and the like, like ten dollar like uh, sliders and chicken wings like for that right and the seventy dollars to get in there you know there you go but thanks to the MMA holes I didn't fucking have to nice so God bless all right God bless the MMA holes thank you Naughty Pie appreciate the call my friend wow. Wow. Sounds like he had the time of his life, on. That's cool, man. That's cool that XMA did that. They didn't have to do that. Yeah. You know, send some peeps over there. Um, listen, if we get the hookup, we're going to send them your way. We're, that's, that's how it's going to work over here. So whether it's free tickets, memorabilia. You know what's funny? Hold on. Let me just double check before I say anything. Should I say anything? No. Why would you do that? Don't do that. I'll update you guys. Something weird happened. But anyway, anything that comes our way that we can do giveaways or um, whatever, help out this community in any way, uh, trying to help out like Glove Touch and Kendall, like with the media stuff or fans wanting to go to events that we're working with, we're going to just keep on pushing them in your direction. Any hookups we get, we're going to throw in your direction. That's what we've been doing since the beginning of this shit and then once we hit the streets again come out there mingle with the people go to the events do our media stuff as well we're going to be going crazy in the near future so let's go baby the future is bright for the mma holes shout out to x mma shout out to head rush shout out to sheath underwear shout out to mybookie.ag our sponsors that help us keep going and flowing and shout out to those x mma ring girls right heck yeah the hand bottoms What's someone said ham- <laughs> someone said like two hams in the chat. Ham uh, bottoms? <laughs> people Wouldn't raving. Wouldn't it be more like chicken leg? About like, the ham that, bottoms. Like, because it goes up. I don't know if ham, ham bottom is. The ham? No ham bottoms? You don't like that? <laughs> I guess. Whatever works. That, that's what they call it. They should call the girls. The ham bottoms. Ham bottoms. Yeah. All right. Bunch of ham bottoms. Yeah. Little hammy bottoms. We'll take a couple of comments from the chat, and then we'll get the hell out of here. Thank you guys again. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, Matt Marshall says, MMA holds stock. One day, man. Ross says, Ann is right. Uh, rump dumps, junk in the trunk. Uh, let's see. Uh, is Moss wearing a hat? Yes. I am. I'm wearing your uh, your mother's pussy as a hat. I like ham bottoms. That's <laughs> drunk savage. Wolf says, LOL, oh, Jess, hotter oh, than ring girls. Super chat. Super, super chat. chat. Get me a smoke off with Nick and Nate. They duck and me. <laughs> a smoke off with Nick, Nick and, and Nate. Nate. All right. We'll set that up immediately. Uh, check the Discord. What do we got in the cord? Ugh. We got over here. A hand bottom? What is that? What is, what is that? You're not all the way down. You got to scroll. What is it? So there's a picture in. Well, uh, oh, here's Naughty Pie. Yeah, here we go. So here's a. Uh, a naughty pie. Damn, that's a event. pretty good freaking seat, man. Good seats. 
Yeah, got the Axum, table there good. and everything. What the Look hell? It. They gave him a table. Look at that table. Damn, they treated him good. Yo, that that's this. I tell you what, I hope that XMMA that's like keeps this party shit. going. They are so. They are probably listen. We've worked with really. We work with CES and and Flex fights that were Triton fights at the time. All have treated us so freaking well, so well. But I don't know if we've. Did we get? I mean, XMMA has been doing things. They've been really good to us. They've been really up in the ante, man. Yeah, it's crazy what they're doing. So shout out to XMMA, man. Look at this. Hopefully we can get, you know, get some more events, different uh, events as well, where we can provide this. Who knows? Maybe BYB. BYB seems like they're pretty open, you know, with yeah. their bare knuckle stuff. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All promotions that we've worked with have been great with us. Yeah. It's crazy. I like everything about XMA. Like, just as a, a spectator alone, I, I like everything. Yeah, but, like if you weren't doing the show, if you were just a fan yeah. of XMMA. I like Big Mo. Big Mo is fun. Like, Big Mo, baby! Seriously, he's fun. Big Mo! Couple of fuck-ups here and there. Who cares? Like, listen, not everyone is Bruce Buffer. Bruce Buffer has been doing this Wait, for many years. what did he years. mess up on? Well, a couple of stumbles here and there. But it, what did he do? It is what it is. It, I mean, reversing a couple of things and stuff like that. He's human, for God's sakes. Why do you got to point that out, man? Because, listen... You I, couldn't just say, I like Big Mo. No, you got to be like, people oh, were mentioning it. No, people were mentioning it. So what I'm saying is, it's okay. He is so good at what he does that even when he stumbles... Bruce Buffer stumbled, too. It's not like he doesn't stumble. It, even though he stumbled in some of the stuff tonight, I got he's you, been Mo. fantastic. But Big Mo is one of the reasons why I like it. It is because I get excited to see Big Mo in there. He's bigger than life. He's got the voice, the whole deal. He's got his own shtick. I like the sunglasses. And then XMMA's matchmaking tonight's been great. Yeah. This was this this matchmaking tonight was way better than any Eagle FC card that I've seen when it comes to just pure matchmaking. I thought that it was great. Legit fighters going at it. XMMA. I gave it a 7.5 before I'm going to stick with it. Someone made a great comment before saying that, hey, it's free, so it's a 9. Yes, if I take that into consideration, it's a fucking 10 because it's free. But I would go, if I'm just saying, if I'm comparing it to everything, pay-per-view, you know, whatever, I give it a 7.5. I think it was that good. Anyway, oh, he wants me to show Logan Paul. That's what you wanted me to show? Okay. This is what Drunk wanted me to show over here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at. Is this like, what is this? This is why I don't watch WWE. I just, this is not me. Oh, it's one of the Paul brothers. Yeah. It's just not, it's not for me, man. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. <laughs> like, what is this? Why does he have a press pass on? Isn't he part of the event? How do you know it's a press pass? Because it's around his neck. Like, what is he wearing? Oh, is that a, oh, maybe that's his Pokemon card. That's, yeah, it's probably his, oh, God, this guy. This guy's nosy. I mean, what are we doing with these guys? Why Why is this even happening? Put me in there. Put Mystic Moss in there, Jesse. In WWE. With my belly. Mm -hmm. You know? that I should be there, not this my guy. My belly needs some food, Moss. I should be there fucking hitting someone over the head with a chair. You know? Yeah. And I don't even like WWE. But put me there anyway. Okay, now that, now that you ruin my night drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. Thank you, guys. Seriously. Hit the like button. All right. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to XMMA for um, working with us and allowing us to show their fights on YouTube. Hopefully we can continue this partnership um, long thereafter. We had a lot of fun tonight. Thank you so much to our sponsors. Head Rush, Sheath Underwear, MyBookie.ag, UFC on ESPN Plus, and Undisputed Belts. Wonderful, wonderful. Drop it down. The Angels had the best seats in the house. Comfy Wumpy. Comfy Wumpy, that's right. Speaking of Comfy Wumpy, promo code MMA Holes, that's MMA H O L E S, for all of your discounts on all of your favorite products. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We will be live again on Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time for the MMA Holes Hour. We are also going to have Devin Clark and William Knight on Monday night as well, and you're not going to want to miss that because they've been matched up for a UFC fight coming up. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and as always, don't be an a hole. Be an MMA hole. Yeah!